right now we got to do the fucking Mike from PA debate. And that means I need to go to a different channel than I usually go to when I'm trying to. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. It's right here. Now, wait. Does this important question, does this debate, oh, this footage doesn't, oh, does it? Yes, yes, it has everything. It has everything, okay? It's time. It's time. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I, I, oh, oh, yes, I can imagine. I can imagine it was very funny. Listen, sometimes the best thing that you can, you can do is enjoy watching people that you don't like yell at each other. In this case, uh, I like Vosh, and I have some problems with Mike from PA politically, but Mike from PA has always been kind. But I want to see this one first, and then we'll twitch over. Now listen, we're going to watch Vosh's first, and then when it starts... I have heard about that cinch. I have to actually do a thing on What's it. What's up, Emps? By the way, Mama, did you see all of the crazy commune slash cult stuff happening on TikTok? No, I haven't seen all of it yet. But thank you very much, Cinch and or Chinch, and I will spoon, spoon. hopefully learn about that in the future. I thought Mike was okay until this debate. To be honest, I lost all respect for him after. Well, let's watch the debate, and we'll come to our conclusions. Okay, let's do this. Let's do it. I gotta turn Vosh up. Redact from Redacted, Mulding About Vosh, Part 1. Oh my goodness, we got wow. we got multiple parts to Wait this. Wait a Let's second, go. I'm hiding the Vosh. So, I want to be perfectly clear from the get-go, okay? Let's go up in the um, corner here. I've never had a particularly high opinion of uh, Mike from PA uh, for a number of reasons that are probably going to become incredibly evident as we listen to him talk. Hmm. But um, I, I didn't really engage with it. Because even though my impression of him is low, I generally don't believe in, like, starting shit unless a personal slight has been directed against me in some way, you know? I, I think that's... Well... I think everybody feels that way, right? But, nonetheless. I mean, if we're talking, like, a Nazi, then obviously, like, I, I, I don't need them to wrong me to disagree with them but in the lefty community i don't want to go like like if they haven't done anything to me then whatever chat is um, full of numbers True. but anyway so oh, because I, the it looks broke. like he's done something so all right let's see oh let's Do see. you guys remember that now there were other people for example vosh uh, this this vosh this goes straight out to vosh hey what's up vosh was one of those people who spent mm -hmm. most of his time punching left yeah. Uh, I mean, we have a bunch of other irrelevance, but mostly Vouch. I really Vouch. want to point Why out does to he Vouch. Change? Why? Why does he change to calling him Vouch instead of Vosh? Hmm. Here. Vouch, Vouch is the number one Curious. candidate. And I'd be Vouch. happy to talk to him. And by the way, chat, we had some DMs. Uh -huh. I continually challenged Vouch. Uh-oh. I uh -oh. continually said, hey, man, you want to come on? I'll have a conversation. Um, <laughs> Could be. Uh, uh -huh. I said, I heard you've mentioned me on stream a few times. Want to have a chat? Uh -huh. Oh, God. There's a problem here. Chat is going to become difficult to read. How the fuck am I going to manage this? How the fuck am I going to manage this with all the chats on the screen? Hmm. Whatever. Are we okay? Wait, I hey. got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. Watch this. I've got an idea. Um. Um. Nope, not working. It's not working. It ain't working. It ain't working. Hmm. 
Whatever. Don't care. Said, you come up because you're related to Destiny's anti-left arc, I think, like Hassan. Was there something in particular you wanted to talk about? Uh -huh. This is April 27th. He says, I said, arc? That implies it'll ever end. The primary is over, and yet the left is still the target. We can discuss applying a pressure to establishment politicians and why it is bad to just capitulate without making demands. I think it's just his style. Uh -huh. And then this dickless coward. That's me. Played a clip of mine out of context. So wait, hold on. Okay, this is one thing I don't understand about Mike. And I get there's a lot of aggression. There's a lot of aggression. Um... Oh, good faith actor. This is the time for you to stick around. Now, this is what I don't get. Like, I don't think, at least to my memory, I don't remember Vosh ever going super hard on Mike, but Mike is being super aggressive here. And I get it. Like, aggression is one thing. If you want to get a debate, then that's the thing. But I don't really understand the level of aggression. I don't really get the reason for it. Ex I, I don't. Let's, uh... Let's... And I think they go over the DMs let's get into it, you know? pretty right uh, away, Once right? we get into dickless coward territory, I think we can lay in a little bit. Because calling someone so, a dickless coward is Do you is notice how thing. he described a DM interaction and then didn't conclude it? The reason why I didn't have Mike on to discuss, like, political strategy is because I think that Mike is an idiot. I think that Ooh. his idiocy is actually okay, secondary spicy. to a larger character flaw that he has, which I'll get into shortly. But um, I would rather grind my ears down against a uh, sand belt than hear him discuss his opinions on like political theory, uh, like to me in like an informative way. I would but actually why? rather. But why, Dango Bangle? I don't get it. I don't get why he, he's so mad. Like, what did Vosh do? Um, Vosh as far as I know, has, for the most part, been pretty neutral. In fact, we play games with Mike from PA. So, oh, that could be it, Mixed Dizzy. That could be it. You think it's the VDS stuff? Maybe. Or argue with him on this, uh, then I would hear his opinions, like, given in earnest, because I would feel the need to correct him constantly. But Donald Trump, like, okay, maybe. Yeah, but Destiny hates my guts, and like, just because Destiny hates my guts doesn't mean that I have to fucking hate Vosh. <laughs> you think Vosh woke up this day to start shit? Well, hey. I think if you, listen, I'm just going to say, if I, I think that if you call someone a dickless coward, like that's, a, that's, that's firing a shot. You know, like if I was just like, if I was just like nuts, you dickless coward, don't you think that would be kind of like, that's a lot, right? That's a pretty major thing. Like, I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, but it is kind of a lot. Like that's a that's a big shot across the bow, right? Can we focus on why they started it? Well, I don't think we can know that, right? I don't think that we can know why they started it. I mean, again, I don't recall Vosh like particularly hating on Mike from PA. I think he's maybe said a few little things, but I guess let's continue. So the reason why I haven't really engaged... Context of the clip. Vosh took issue with Atlanta Twitter account calling Destiny a Nazi when he isn't. Well, so did I. He also talked about Mike spite donating to Destiny's choice in candidate's oppo opponent. Vosh promotes me a lot, but it's okay to criticize him sometimes on his mistakes. Wait, I agree. I agree. I've, I've, I've done an entire video. I did a drama mama on Vosh. Uh, 
Okay. Wait, has Vosh gone hard on Mike various times in the past? Oh. Windleby, do you have evidence? Do you have evidence of that? If you got clips, I would like I'm not I'm not calling you out on it. I'm just saying if you have it, we can investigate it and we can find out what sort of things were said in the past. Well, see, I can't remember. I remember, I do remember Vosh saying that, like, he doesn't super like, um, like Mike from PA. But, again, we just played, like, a few weeks ago, I played uh, Among Us with Mike and, Va and Vosh. So, like, you know, I know it's a no-drama zone, but if it's this bad... I can't imagine people wanting to play games together. Amogus. 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 Anyway, let's continue. I almost, I did, I almost fucked up and said that. Amigus. Aged negatively with him that much, um, apart from the fact that he hasn't been like super aggro to me, is also because Mike's entire modus operandi is shit talking larger communities oh, okay. and making a fool of himself. See, I watched some of this, but I was really distracted when I was watching it. So some of this is going to be uh, fresh because my brain doesn't uh, remember everything. And then obsessing over them forever. If you go to Mike's stream, he talks about destiny more than destiny does. If you ever want an update on what Destiny is like or what he's up to at the moment or like when he last breathed or sneezed, you can go over to Mike from PA's stream and he will that you'll get that that live update. Oh yeah, he recently got into some beef with Destiny's community, his most looked at subreddit according to his Google autofill results is Destiny's subreddit. Okay, that is a little cringe. Like yeah. He is just completely it's funny because I know, I know this for a fact, because I saw other people saying it. Down the line, he's going to say, I'm the one who can't detach myself from Destiny's community. This guy is latched on like a leech. And he's going to do the same thing with okay. mine, too. Now I will say calling someone a leech is pretty aggressive. But in this circumstance, Mike did say Vosh was a dickless coward. And I think a leech is about the same as a dickless coward here. Vosh is malding. Well, pickle and croissant, if someone, uh, if someone that you call, that called you a dickless coward, I mean, you know, I don't think Leech is nicer than dickless coward. Anyway, let's go. Now that I've spoken negatively about him publicly. Oh, okay, pickle and croissant. Publicly, he will never let me go. Ever. He will never let me go. He will bring me up every single stream. He will repeat, he will regurgitate every bad faith criticism ever levied at me. Uh, he will uh, f forever, his entire career will be in part defined by being the anti-Vosh guy. Um, so like Caleb Maupin, yeah, remember how Caleb Maupin, I talked to that guy like a year ago and he still tweets about me with no interaction on my end. Like I don't engage with him. I don't quote tweet him. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That shit is really fucking weird to me. Like when when people become essentially obsessed with you and they want to drive you out of the internet, even though you don't interact anymore, that it's just like a permanent mark. I and I gotta say, having had some experience with that myself, um, yeah, I find that shit pretty fucking weird. Like I find that shit pretty fucking weird, you know. Well, gay fesh, that's your own personal war. I don't respond to, but he still constantly makes memes about it. It's like high effort engagement too. Um, so I'll get to his primary character flaw soon. Uh, it'll probably make itself really, really clear with time. Um, but we'll see, I wanna lead into it, okay. Next, where Lucid- One of Vosh's modus operandi is calling people leftists when they're average people, centrist Nazis, starting to accept leftism. Wait, what Nazi? was starting to accept leftism. I'm, maybe I'm gonna guess that was a miss, a missed speak. 
I think it's, listen, I'm going to be completely honest. Lots of people are broad with the term leftist. The, le the term leftist is a catch-all. I don't even think we have to, I don't even think we have to talk about reformative justice. Missed speak. Did I mess up? Maybe I missed, misspoke, missed speak, misspeaked, misspoke, misspeaking. What? Fuck you. Whatever. Fuck you. We're not, shut up. Fox and I were having a conversation and I said, and he said, we should stop talking about national politics and we should just talk about local. Oh, oh shit. Okay, Grime Dango. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, Grime Dango. Ah, delivery. I've got a tweet delivery. Thank you. I will check this out. I will check this out afterwards. I don't know what it is, but it sounds amazing. A, a 10 out of 10 tweet. Thank you. Miss Spookith. I'm not running Linux. I just use, um, I just use uh, uh, Sublime Text. And I said, that's fucking stupid. The audience for that would be very small. We cannot stop Can't talking do about it. national. Do you know how hard it is to stream on Linux? Do you know how fucking hard it is to stream on Linux? Oh my god, it's horrible. Yes, it is. It's absolutely OBS is, but everything else I use is not. It yes, OBS is, but no, nothing else that I use is. I can't. I'm sorry. No. Politics. That's an organizing principle. And he, he played a no, clip. No, I'm not comp. Listen, I love you all, but I am not making my life more difficult than it currently is so that I can use like FOSS stuff. I get it. I, I know. I know. But no, not now. Someday. FOSS, I said. FOSS. I know Linux is great, but oh, do you know how hard it would be? Oh, if you have issues gaming on Linux, that's a you problem. Oh, you're tempting me. <laughs> do you know how hard this job is? Do you know how many, do you know how many issues I have already? I know Chad Grime Dango versus Virgin Demon Mama. I know I get it. I'm being tortured alive right now. This is my destiny. Am I really trans without Linux? I guess not. I guess I'm cis. Shit. Sucks. Got a rebrand. I mean, uh, on his stream. So not only... So what Mike is leaving out here is that when I played that clip, I actually... Yeah, I'm a, ci I'm a cis non-binary. ...defended him afterwards. So the context of that clip... I was born and assigned non-binary birth. There we go. Clam Crowder? Where the fuck we got the... Where's the... What is the... Was no. Mike was saying he didn't want to focus too much on local politics because local politics draws a smaller oh, oh, audience. Oh, oh, which okay. is true. That is a true a statement. Then. And while that does come off a little bit grifty, I understand that these are our jobs. And also the ability to leverage a large audience influences the extent to which we can affect other types of politics. So I actually defended him after playing that clip. But Mike is a very um, bitter and very fragile person. So he remembers only a perceived slight. He does Shit! Fighting words. Doesn't remember the fact that in the context of that clip, I was actually one of the people who was on his side. But, you know, go off. Was he being challenged by me in DMs? This little rat fuck then rat went fuck. and talked about me on his stream. About this very, very topic that we're now dealing with right now. Where I said, we have to pressure these people and we have to have real concessions. You rat fuck. And then he said the one in Vosh also tried to smear Chank and TYT. Listen, uh, with all due respect to the to 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 this ch simpin daddy, simp daddy. Um
Peng, well, look, I just saw this, and I'm just like, it's not hard to smear Chank and TYT. Like, TYT and Chank, like, Chank has really embarrassed himself, right? I mean, Chank had that whole tweet about how we should just let the South die from COVID because their leaders are bad. Do you remember that? Like, that was, he put his foot in his own ass. Yeah, Which the you union buster, right? said you didn't do streams on direct action because it would hurt your audience i said yeah that's totally out of context to the point of being an outright lie you know what actually really quick i'm not uh uh the leak dms type of person but this is my message so i think i'm okay to share this let me see if i can find the thing that i responded with there just a second um wow that's embarrassing dango bangle oh yeah you do know that I defended your position, right? We all have to make compromises between the content we want to do and the content we're financially incentivized to do. Yeah, like in DMs, I mean, right? true. That is a fact about streaming. Anybody, listen, anybody who is selling themselves to you as a movement via a stream, unless they're telling you the movement is to build their channel, is full of shit. Now, just so I can say... I do think lots and lots of good things can come from channels. The same way that I think really good things have come from channels like Good Mythical Morning and uh, The Majority Report. I think these things are good, but you're not, it's not a religion. A streamer should not be selling you a fucking religion or a movement or, or that donating to me is direct action. That is... Be careful, please. Right here, I even tell him that I actually defended the, like, I, like it was, I actually defended him. Like, in like, by the way, this includes myself. This includes myself. Like, I am never going to pitch myself to you as some kind of political savior. I will never be that. However... I would love it if you would help me build my channel and I will try to do good things with that channel. But that's it. I can't, I'm not a religion. I never want to be and nobody should. There you go. I want to do good things with it, but for good, for God's sake, I'm, I'm not, a, a, don't fucking turn me into a cult leader for God's sake or anybody for that matter. Mike opposed an actual progressive candidate simply because Destiny supported him. I guess we'll find out about that, right? Thank you so much, Blinzo. I really appreciate that. I I do try to be a good actor. And listen, I will say, if you're interested in helping me make a fucking awesome show that 10 years from now is going to be the most amazing show in the world, then you want to donate to me. Because... I, my ambition knows no fucking bounds. I am going to take this shit to the stars if I can. So if you want to do that, support me. Because I'm going to make a fucking amazing show. And it will be lefty entertainment. It will be fucking uh, socially conscious entertainment. But it will be entertainment. So I'm not going to save the world. But I can make a damn good show. And unfortunately, shows cost money. So there you go. And thank that you. context, but I mean, he's looking at the the logs right now because he's repeating them verbatim. So I don't know if he just missed that or if we're having a bit of a literacy issue, but hold on. And then, so anyway, so anyway, this little rat fuck mm -hmm. and Vouch really is a rat fuck. Just he keeps so saying that he has. Nuts, I really appreciate that. You have no idea how much that means to me. Seriously. Uh, that means the world. And, and that's the way I approach other, uh, creators, by the way. Yeah. Hexton actually, actually mentioned anything negative that I've done yet. Understand this. Not only does he know, he doesn't know his ass rat from a hole in the ground. Mm -hmm. He's a rat fucker. Uh, then he went and talked about me again recently, saying how I was being petty for not supporting Destiny's candidate in Omaha. No, that's not what I said. You guys remember that video, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nibiru. Uh, here. Nibiru. I'll, I'll, here, I can DM it to you. Wait a second. Nibiru, I'll DM it to you. Here. 
Wait, I don't know what your username is on Discord, Nibiru. DM me on Discord, Nibiru, and I'll send you the image. On Destiny's Omaha thing? Uh, Mike from I know PA, Paul, right? despite donated money to the opposition of the candidate that Destiny supported. So yeah. I oh, God, yeah, I know we have 250 plus viewers. It's fucking Pog. Smack the sub button and the like button. If you're enjoying this content, I do more awesome content than you can imagine. You think a debate review is awesome? Wait till you see me debate. I have been told by my audience that I am severely underrated and I believe it. Wait a minute, that's a terrible pitch. Follow and like, and it's gonna be awesome. And by the way, just so you all know, just so I can boast a little bit, did you know that we pulled over 250 during the Waco debate and they stuck around for hours? That's right, we broke through the February plateau. I'm not kidding you. I'm, I'm not kidding you. <gasps> Hello? Yes, you're amazing, thank you. Oh, pizza. Thank you. Oh, can, I have a, can I have a drink? Yeah. Two. Thank you. Thank you, Fawn. <gasps> pizza time. It's just a uh, stuffed crust pepperoni pizza from, uh, from Pizza Hut. And guess what? You know what's bullshit? I tried to get one of their Detroit pizzas yesterday, and they were sold out. What the fuck? How does... How does how does Pizza Butt run out of fucking pizza? How do you run out of pizza at the Pizza Hut? Uh, somebody, please, if anybody could please help Nibiru find the Mama is Sus image. There. That's, the, I don't, I can't do it right now because it would require me to upload a bunch of stuff. But, yeah. It, it's on the, it's on the, I think it's on OK Buddy Mama somewhere. Anyway, let's continue. I said was, I don't like it when people get involved in politics because Ow, of spite. That's my hot. number one criticism of destiny, too. Uh, so donating to True, a candidate exclusively because they're the opposition of, an, of a streamer that you don't like is very weird to me. That's just like the priorities that you have to be engaging in. And by the way, at the end of my video on that, I think I engaged in what must have been the lightest criticism I have ever Thank levied you. at any human being wow. ever. I mean, we can go and find it if we want to, real quick. Um, Thank you so much, Busy Bee. At the end of this Whoa. video. Shh, 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 shh. Whoa, Vosh. We have a uh, timestamp, Arenos? Like from Pierre. Oh, go. and, and, and I, uh, it, you know, at my behest, I mean, I have to bring this up. What and the get ready fuck? for it. Okay. There's a Vosh inside of a Vosh, inside of a Demon Mama stream, inside of a Mike from PA stream. Okay. Get ready for the lightest criticism that I have ever given a human. Mike in chat. Oh, good. Mike, you can watch. That's cool. Anyway, get wow. ready. Pickle and croissant. That is a very good uh, onomatopoeia of the, the sound. Philosophy tube, contrapoints, Lindsay Ellis. Damn. Damn, Vosh has got, Vosh got trans on the brain. Yeah. This is how, this right here is revealing. I'm sorry. This right here is revealing of whether somebody cares, like this is a small note, but I think I think this reveals that Vosh cares about trans issues. If you watch, like if you get, if you're, if you've watched so many videos about trans people that that you get recommended five or no three out of your four videos are recommended videos about being about either trans by trans people or about trans people, it's pretty good. This one is capital punishment by Philosophy Tube. Oh fuck. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot. There you go. Yep. They're all watched too. Hours. I gotta say, it's a good sign. Doesn't? It's not a surefire shot, but just saying. For the just lightest saying. criticism that I have ever levied at any. Just saying. A human being. For from me, this is like the gentle like breeze of a of a you know like the summer wind upon the cheek of a baby. You know what I mean? Like this is this is about as light as it gets. You know. Apparently, Mike from PA, a, a lefty Twitch streamer, I'm sure many of you uh, know him, hmm? was quite spiteful about um, Destiny being dropped from Mark Cudgel's uh, campaign to the point of donating to his opposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so was the new Lindsay Ellis one. The tracing the roots of pop culture transphobia is so fucking good. It's so fucking good. The name of... Um, 
What's her name? Something Snipes. Somebody in ch chat said it earlier. Uh, um, what's the... Um... Pan, why the fuck didn't you put Papa Murphy's on there? Kimara Snipes. I looked into her and she seems like a good candidate. Yeah, she, sure. She's not she's not like a Republican or anything like that. But Papa Murphy's anyway, awesome. that kind of behavior. I mean Papa Murphy's is the best pizza. What are you I oh I can't handle this. Stop! In, we're watching the debate. <laughs> Our little pizza thing where we're all uh <laughs> Not We're in all Seattle. Seattle here, local know? pizza kind of That sucks. was the criticism. Did you see that? Did you even see the criticism? That was like that no, that's it. Yeah. That's That's it. Yeah. This is the meanest thing that I have ever said Have about Mike night, from Dango. PA publicly. This is what prompted Mike tomorrow. from PA to do this little like meltdown right here. Like I have ne like I I I know that Mike is like a very yep. sensitive person, yep, so I was very careful it. here out of respect for his feelings, but man, you know the effort I put in sometimes. Jesus. They say, say I'm tearing apart the left. I literally couldn't have handled this with, with you know, more, more kid gloves. But, all right, anyway. As if this brain, and brain dead fucking moron can't look at a race and realize that oh, that is the pizza. centrist right wing candidate in a Democratic primary. Yeah. Uh, so, according to Mike from PA, Mark Gudgel is a... Uh, centrist right-wing candidate so if we I, I don't know what exactly motivated this perception on his part but if we go to our platform policies right here on his website um decriminalizing marijuana uh in spite of the state having it criminalized a sustainability plan um yeah a lgbtq plus bill of rights like including trans people like city and urban like renewal oh, for sure dango, dango um i don't know what country oh thank you this Pickle is center Kassan. right maybe that. like rojava or something maybe like over there mark would be a center right but i'll tell you why mike thinks that mark gudgel is center right it's because destiny supports him because mike doesn't know anything he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about it is Damn, just spite-based politics. That's it. That's all he has, okay? He doesn't know anything about this except for the fact that Destiny is involved. That's it. I'm not going to support the centrist right-wing candidate like, look at, in the like, Democratic primary because they make id-poll statements. Id-poll statements, like supporting queer and trans people and sanctuary city and marijuana decriminalization and dealing with the police and defunding like what, what, what? yeah what mike from pa's class reductionist no 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 we'll get to mike from pa's central <laughs> hey i remember that drama i wonder who looked into that one <laughs> Damn, this 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 bitch, this demon mama bitch. Damn, demon mama bitch getting around these days, huh? ...character flaw shortly. Class reductionism isn't it, though. It's not class reductionism, okay? We'll get to what it is shortly, okay? We're doing like a biop, okay? Imagine this, we're like, we're going inside the mind, all right? The nice thing about Mike from PA is that he's not smart enough to be opaque about his thought process. He's very, very open and forthcoming about all of his character deficiencies. So when you watch him and you see him get mad, like it's all there on the table. You know what I mean? It's very, very easy to pick that apart. You're good. Oh, shit. People were bringing this up in his subreddit yet, calling you a grifter yesterday, no, defending cute. Destiny's incest and N-word. That's because Vouch is a coward. He only likes to punch people that don't know how to debate. He's scared of- This is a very common criticism, by the way. Uh okay. That is, okay, this this criticism is stupid. Like, I'm sorry. Like, that is such a stupid claim. It's so blatantly false. Vosh has debated so many motherfucking people. Like, Vosh has debated, ac like, academics. Vosh debated Destiny. Vosh has, has debated everybody. Who the fuck hasn't he debated? Who's a good debater? Mike from, or not Mike from PA. Sam Cedar? Sam Cedar doesn't debate anybody who's on the left, ever. Uh, 
I don't know what that is, but that sounds cool. It sounds awesome, Dango Bangle. It hasn't debated me. But listen, if I want that belt, there's going to have to be a debate in the future. But I don't know what we would even debate about. What would we debate about? I don't know. We'll find something, I'm sure. Uh, I've seen Mike debate Destiny. He is in no position to impugn my debate abilities. He is, uh, he is of the, the, the school of thought that loud. <laughs> wow. Thanks for. <laughs> Outer equals writer. Yeah, it's jelly um, cooperation. That's cooperation about true. all. That's pretty much what he's got. Also, I've debated pretty much literally everybody. So I don't know where this is oh coming from. Oh my God. From. I should but debate it's a very King standard, Kong versus Godzilla. Like, I would have to brush up though. I'd have to do a watch party of all the King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, that's awesome. That's in, that's wild, Dango. Bad criticism. Now to be- I think Vosh has reductive takes on the agency of children that are counterintuitive to a leftist perspective. That's what I debate uh, with him about. The agency of children? Wait a minute, Kyle. Is this about the? Is this about the? Is this about the discipline thing? Oh, I already talked about this once. I already did a whole thing on it. I reacted to that. Kyle. Kyle, do you not want to do your homework? Is it about not making your bed? Anyway. Fair, by punching at Mike here, I am in fact punching at somebody who doesn't know how to debate. So this actually does speak to his argument just a little bit. Of me. Listen, democracy and education is a real thing, but it's not as simple as some people would make it. It's not literally that like children run a schoolhouse. Um, there are like, for example, Noam Chomsky went to a democratic schoolhouse, like a democratic school. I'm not kidding you. I can't remember the name of the school. We watched the movie recently. Noam Chomsky literally uh, literally went to a school that was like that. So they, they do have successes, but they're not as simple as people make them out to be. He's got a little I do bussy. agree that, there's, that school reform is deeply needed. Yes. And... That's just a little weird, by the way. He makes a lot of comments about, like, my dick and ass and stuff. I don't know. Wait, was this the bussy Mike. comment? Oh, this is the bussy one. Clean up. Hold on, let's replay that. A lot of comments? This actually does speak to his argument just a little bit. Of me. He's got a little bussy, and... Okay, this part I do remember, and this kind of weirds me out. Like, I don't get it. Yeah, first of all, isn't a isn't a tight a little bussy implies a tight bussy, which is a good thing, right? Oh wait, unless they're into the donut thing. You know that vermin hands. You know the donut thing. You know what I'm talking about. You all, some of you furries know what I'm talking about. Maybe it's the donut thing. That's just a little weird, by the way. He makes a lot of comments about, like... So this is about earlier in the stream. I know that feeling of debating trans stuff with multiple PPL and yourself. Yeah. I had a discussion with my GF, her best friend, and my brother-in-law about gender. Those conversations are fucking wild, aren't they? Thank you very much, Ela Divine. I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, Vermin knows what I'm talking about. There we go. Thank you so much for that pog dono, Ela. My dick and ass and stuff. I don't know. Mike. Clean up a little bit and we'll talk, okay? He's stupid. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Posadas John. I would love to look for your comment, but... Vosh's chat moves at 10,000 miles an hour. What do you what what do you think I have? Fucking like peregrine falcon eyes? Do you think I can just be like, there it is? It's like how am I supposed to even catch that? What the fuck? 
There it is. As the fucking... I see it. I don't see it. I don't see shit. Oh, I hate that. I hate that, Ela Divine. Now I just attacked Vouch. Ah, uh, right. that was an attack. Vouch, you're dumb. You're a little rat, and you're a coward. Wow. Keep keep sucking Destiny's cock and humiliating. Hey. To be fair, listen. I can't really get mad at Mike about this because the other day I did tell someone to stop licking Destiny's balls, which is about the same thing, but it was a much different conversation. So I'll defend myself a little bit on that. Yourself. Eventually, I, one you know, day, whatever. one day, Senpai will forgive you. Wrong meme, dude. Wait. So this is what the um, the professionals call projection. Um, Mike has, uh, it's actually incredible. You give me the gay pass. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, wait, what, what do you mean you give me the gay pass? D motherfucker. Excuse me. What, what do you mean you give me the gay pass? Sorry. Oh, I guess I'm not. I guess I'm straight now, too. I'm both cis and straight. Well, when I like got my start, I actually didn't think it was possible for a career to be more dependent on destinies than mine. Not I notable cis straight person. I actually thought that I would be kind of like at the the apex of that. You know what I mean? Like maybe up there with Mr. Mooten and stuff. Like you know, like but but Mike from PA has actually managed to supersede me in that respect. He thinks about Destiny more than I could ever dream of doing. I mean, I've seen clips of his stream. It's actually incredible. Um, is this guy even worth the attention? He's pathetic. Well, believe it or not, he gets around two k. Re remember the 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 stellar meme. Forgive me, senpai. That's my favorite line in anime. Is um is uh is is forgive me senpai hey um uh 2k average viewers on twitch yeah uh and i'm okay trashing him a little bit here because and i'm Thanks, gonna be perfectly John. honest if you're the type of person who watches mike from pa you're probably not capable of like understanding the arguments that i make anyway um so i Mike from PA is literally a dude that has the same mode of argumentation of a conservative frat boy in college making no sense in any argument. Okay, I will say that, like, I I don't like the hyper-performative toxic masculinity thing. That is just, I don't, it's not my style. I don't like it um, a whole lot. I, like, it's funny because, like, Vosh does do a, a lot of the... Okay, I, I'll put it this way. Vosh does, like, play up his own masculinity, but he doesn't, like, do the, like, your dick is small, my dick is huge. Your dick is small, my dick is huge. Like, Vosh is confident in his own masculinity. He plays up his own masculinity, but he doesn't do, like, the, the performative, like, you are a cuck. I will... Uh, except for that one time about Alex Jones. That one. Oh no. Mike has low key and cell energy. We got an okay buddy me. mama. No, okay buddy Vouch. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck is this? It's a rat. Rad. Thank you so much, 85D2D Derek. Yeah. Thanks for the generosity, everyone. Let's continue. Like, there doesn't need to be an overlap here. That's totally okay. Or maybe I maybe you've um You've watched Mike a little bit, and you don't, like, know what he's like. You know what I mean? Uh, but we, we can get to that. Don't worry. Um, he's leaking DMs on stream right now, so you can show them if you want. Ah, Ooh. Mike, you know, that's a little bit of a social faux pas. That, that is a social faux pas, by the way. Leaking DMs is fucking weird. Yeah? It's fucking weird. Ha. Huh. Um... Wait a sec. There is a time and a place for leaking DMs, and the time to leak DMs is when somebody lies about what was said in DMs, like explicitly. And that's that's when you could and it's actually gonna affect you. That's when you can leak DMs. And I agree, Mike did, but Vosh didn't leak the DMs. Mike leaked the DMs. See you soon, Blinzo. Thanks for coming by.
Second, didn't Mike once get really mad at a person for leaking DMs or something like that? I remember one time Mike said that somebody was like a. Mike said that somebody was like hey, a. Um, happy to see you soon, Blinzo. Like a scab for leaking DMs. He got really mad at somebody. Who was that? Well, who's the person that he was mad at? And it was for leaking DMs, right? Well, that's okay. Anyway, keep going. Mike is reading oh, yeah, your DMs in the stream. Oh, there's literally Sorry. nothing there that I'm concerned about. That's fine. Uh, leaking DMs is incredibly embarrassing for him. So I, I don't know why. But he wants to preempt it. But that's okay. Anyway. Um, so anyway, just in and, and, and here, in case you think that I am, uh, in case you ever think like, oh my god, Mike from PA would never go and debate. You think this is career ending for Mike? Nah, I don't think so. Mike seems like he's trying to be Vosh, but he just comes across as loud as annoying. I don't know what he's trying to do. I actually don't know. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it will even hinder his growth. I don't know what sort of overlap there is. Now, we'll talk a little more about this. That was your destiny. We'll get there. I mean, slap these fuckers we'll get around. There. They're scared. Embarrassing. They're scared. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Listen. That that's the sort of thing I would do, okay? Listen. Vosh and I, I don't know who invented it first. Probably neither. It's a it's a double thing. But the uh the the just simple, embarrassing, that sort of thing, it's a good move, everybody. If you can nail it, it's good. I did it against, I did it on Saturday. You heard me do that on Saturday. It was good. And I have tried, I've bent over. Like when I was like, this is idiotic. You're a literal child. And then I just was like. <laughs> Backward. Hold on. <laughs> embarrassing. Um, Vosh, how come you You're right, it is an anime thing. It's from anime. I learned it from studying anime. Hate him. <laughs> um, he's never asked to debate me. N at least not within the past year or so. He says he's challenged me in DMs. He hasn't. Like, I have at the all. power of anime. The only time he ever God shows up in side. my DMs is when he's desperately trying to get on my side in some wedge issue versus destiny. Every single time he talks to me, or every time he talks to me past. Wait, 10. what's the couch clip? Wait, wait, what's the couch clip? What's the couch clip? Someone needs to give me the couch clip right now. If there's a thing that is titled the couch clip, I need to see it. I need to see this like ASAP. It was some pathetic effort to try to pull me away from destiny in the hopes that he could get on my stream to leech some of my viewership. That's it. Oh, no. that's, the, that's the extent of his engagement with me over DMs. He has never come in there and challenge, like debate challenged me. To to my memory, maybe if he did, it was like a very long time ago. I think one time I invited him to come on my stream and he said no. But what would I debate with him? The problem Wait, isn't his it's political in this video, then I'd, The problem I'd not is that he's it. a fucking moron. He's screaming on his stream. Is it this one? Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Hey, Adam. Thank you. Let's take a look at what you got to say. My thing is that if you are obnoxious and aggressive out of the gates and making wild claims or just being stupid, then it's no better than a frat fight. Tell Listen, I think... Tell logically, <gasps> basically. Here it is. Here's the one. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here's the time code. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for the time code. Let's do it. Um. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a term for this. It's called, it's called net banging. Have you ever heard of that? You ever heard of the term net banging? You ever heard that? Anybody know that term? Net banging is when you're acting like a gangbanger on the net. It's net banging. It's you're like talking mad shit on the internet. It's a great term. A fucking perfect term. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I got that from the Fooverse. Thank you from Fawn. My, uh, my, my, uh, my correspondent to the Foovers. Oh my God. Yeah. <sighs> she feels good. What did you just do? Nothing. <sighs> Why is this couch now moved? Did you just hit the couch? Well, no, no, no. Just I, know, I always hit it. I, I, I pushed the, uh, the, uh, on this one. the hard, the, uh, the, uh, the granite a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That just feels good. Oh my god. Yeah. 
<laughs> what? Yes, yes. Yes, too. Why did you do Why that? Why the couch now move? Did you just hit the couch? I mean, just move the couch back. I just nudged it. <laughs> mm. Oh, shit, they're here. Wait, what? Oh. You want me to watch the whole video? Is it that good? Okay, let's find out. Okay, one thing I will say. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. We're gonna... No, 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 no. We're watching this shit. This shit is... I want to see this shit, okay? Listen. Bad Bunny, lover, her, lover or hater, Bad Bunny is funny, okay? Bad Bunny is, is funny as fuck. I don't care what anybody says. Ba Bad Bunny is funny as fuck. I, I don't care. I don't care who you are. Bad Bunny's funny. That shit's funny. I'm feeling more violent than normal. I understand why. I'm feeling more violent than normal. Well, you know, we gotta accelerate. We gotta get accelerationists. We gotta fucking get a Mad Max universe. I just feel it. Yeah. Ooh. So one thing about... Mama the Cable Gal? Really hot, I don't care who you are, that's funny. It was made by Scotch Irish, right? Mm -hmm. It's really the Scotch people that came over. Yeah. Titties. In the blue room, I'm sending titties for you in the meat barrel for us. And they <laughs> took their culture to America. Yes. And the one thing about my people is. He'll apologize by saying, I didn't know you were so sensitive. <laughs> I have to tell I have to tell Mike like several times a day not to joke about one particular thing and he keeps doing it because every time he's like oh I didn't realize you were serious like I'm this is very very annoying okay what so he's talking about being violent in the background he's talking it looks like he's talking to I think that's lucid fox and she's saying, I hate it when he makes fun of me for this one thing, but he keeps doing it. That's very weird. Very annoying. It's a shock truth. I watch Ray Park now. And for me... Isn't Dad an admitted alcoholic? Maybe no. I don't know. Yeah. That's right now. When I bought... Okay, that, you think it's some sort of flirting? Okay, well, if that's flirting, he needs to stop it. <laughs> Oh my god! If that's for it, flirting, he needs to stop! Oh! Holy <laughs> <laughs> shit! I've never seen this that video! Person, I just feel like both of you can be super sarcastic, so it's hard to know when people are being serious or not. Right, but I've told him, I have to literally start sobbing on the phone. Like, I've talked to him before, where like he won't take me seriously for the entire time. No matter what, everyone else completely understands I'm being serious. Finally, I think I get on voice chat with him and sob. And then he's like, oh, I didn't realize you were being serious. Well, you, I didn't realize this meant something to you. Like, he's an idiot. Oh my god, he's just sitting right there. Oh, oh this is... A real he him moment. Triple. He's an idiot. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, this is so... <laughs> you have delivered me to a drama treasure. Usually just get a okay, you know what? Fuck it. This is a drama mama. We're doing a drama mama on this shit. Fuck it. We're do this is a drama mama. All right, fuck it. It's a drama mama. We're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, Ford. It's actually a good idea. Uh... He really is dense. I'm autistic and it sounds like me. You're actually one of the sweetest people I've ever met. Do what I can. I'm not. We men are very pig headed. No, I can't not play a the, the song yet. Go stand oh, no, near no, him no, and no, ask no, him to stop. No, I think I've never done. I've never been friends with a person who I have like sarcasm with. But when they I say I'm seriously, this actually really does upset me. I'm never like okay. <laughs> Like, I would never do that. That makes no like, sense to me. A, That's enough for me to understand that person's being serious because I care about that individual. Like, like easy. I don't need, the fact that I need to save for it for this idiot. Like, it's so stupid. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. I want people to... You would have doing that, but... I want to... 
Yo, yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I've never had to do that before, but for him, he's that stupid. Like, come on. I know. I'm not trying to make excuses. To just establish some kind no, of understanding. Like chat. to say, Peyton, Peyton, she's talking to her chat. Well, I mean, yeah. Oh, oh, of course. I wouldn't either, Vermin. But I mean. What happens if you've rented a place together? What if you're stuck? You like, I say I know you guys don't hate each other. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I don't want to hate him either, so, like, I don't want us to end our friendship because he's so stupid. You know? If I can I can help him with how stupid he is, maybe you can still be friends with him. Yeah. Say for it, I'm voting. Wait, 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 wait. When you say this is literally abuse, what do you mean? Well, I mean, it looks like they're living together here, right? Or is this just at somebody else's place? Well, I mean, listen. All I'm going to say, look, I, I don't know. Let's just find out what happened, okay? For Trump? Well, it's also like, uh, also Peter Straw. She could be. What is I'm being serious right now even mean, though? What does that even mean? It's so complicated. I mean, are you being serious, though? I get to the point where I say, what can I possibly do to convince you I'm being serious? And you'll be like, I don't know. Like, he doesn't even know what that looks like. Well, yes, this is a problem. Remember, some streamers live their entire lives on stream. Uh, and I don't know. I don't know anything else about it. So it just seems like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think calling someone in, yeah, I don't know. This does feel like, I mean, it feels a little cringe, but it already happened, so whatever. I mean, he's never even considered the fact that I could be serious about anything. Oh. Father Halford, if you have those those clips, uh, Father Halford, if you've got clips, send them my way. Oh, uh, Peyton, just so you know, you don't, streamers don't, most streamers don't get to have a life outside of their stream i'm sorry but it's just a sad truth if you're a, if you're a streamer that has that makes it your stream will eat you it is designed to do that and it's already happened to me and i haven't even like made it made it it's just how it is you become eaten by it and I, it's sad but i mean this happens in all kinds of industries we live in capitalism right and streaming is, it is your business, it becomes your performance, it, it absorbs you a lot. Every single streamer will talk about this. You know, there's a video, fuck, I watched a video about this. Um, yeah. Listen, not every streamer is like this, but if you want to make it your life we'll talk about this we'll talk about this listen remind me to talk about this before we end stream remind me chat somebody in chat before i end stream remind me to talk about streamer shit anyway let's go Bam. making tiny hot dogs everybody oh i can't wait yes. oh is it just me and huh oh god i should order an uber are you going off or are we gonna we gotta get ready on stream. I don't know. Probably go off. We will, maybe I'll turn the, I, I don't want to dox them, so I want to like, not show any travel between. True, true. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The space between. If it was my place, I would be less like, you know, it's my doxing. It's like, I don't want to dox like, my friends. <laughs> That's like right. so much worse. Said, like, I, I like, could care less the look goes out. Right, right, yeah, but it's still, it's just, no, the consequences of me doxing myself, I deal with those. But. True. Hmm. Uh, no, why? It's not flirting, it's just a bad way to read what she is really trying to communicate. I say it's a lack of experience of different types of people. I agree that empathy is playing a role in the struggle, just saying. Perhaps, yeah. He's got super low emotional intelligence for whatever reason. That's what surprises me, because I didn't think he would have a low emotional intelligence. Okay, this it, right here is fucking weird.
This is fucking weird. But I will say, I will say this much. We don't have full context for this. And we don't know if like, he's like super, super nosy. Yeah, we don't know. There's a lot that's unspoken here. Like, think about it like this. Let me give you a potential, okay? Look, and I'm not, I don't know what the truth is. It could be. I mean, this is fucking awkward as shit, I will say. But what if, like, um, what if you have a friend group and this friend is like a part of your friend group? And every time you're out in public with that friend group, this friend is there and being like not giving you any space and being annoying and won't stop pushing you to the point where according to her she will cry on the phone thank you law boy thank you so much do you see what i mean like this is why I, I think that like don't don't come to conclusions so easily okay on this sort of thing you know i'm, tr I'm putting on the drama mama mode I'm, I'm trying to not to get to the bottom of it you know we might not be able to get to the bottom of it, but don't come to a conclusion so easily because it's really hard to tell what's going on. I will say the one conclusion we can come we can come away with is that this is really awkward. Well, yes, that's what I was about to say, Pinsama, or Painsama. This is really painfully awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to be here in two minutes. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's okay. Yes, I did remember. I've gotten much better at that, by the way. This is literally just shit talking him in public in front of him? Yeah, I don't think so either. But at the same time, it's like, we don't know what started the stream, why the stream started, why this conversation happened. We don't know anything about that. But I will agree, this is awkward as fuck. And having the stream involved... Evolved makes it really fucking weird. Really fucking weird. Mm. Dad, I'll miss you. No, no, they'll be back. Well, I know, but I'll miss them for right now. Of course, we're gonna see them like tomorrow. The shitty non sub shit stir people. Well, oh, they'll yeah. be back very soon. Aw. He thinks you're kidding. He still thinks I'm kidding. He still thinks I'm kidding. I don't think you're kidding. Really? No, I don't think you're kidding. You did really? And then you gave me this fucking smile. Like it was so funny to you. You think this is all funny. It's very upsetting. I don't have to think you're kidding to smile. Yeah, you understand that smiling is also born out of uncomfort. So, to be fair. Maybe that's my reaction to it. Well, then your genuine reactions to things are really unlikable. Well, okay, but... Advice okay, now, holy shit, this is one of the, how, who, who delivered me this cringe? Who delivered me this cringe? Because holy shit, this is God tier cringe. This is painful. Wow, this is cringy. Holy shit. Myself, like, stand by and have learned over many years. Um... You always expect someone to be like- Why is level. this streamed? Why is this streamed? Thank you, 85D2D Derek. Why, who is, why is this on stream? There are probably hundreds of people watching this. An understanding of the same like emotions that you have, then you'll always be disappointed. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this is like a severe misunderstanding. But severe that's failing. sure, but like you can't like get mad at, okay. at a person because of that. But this is weird too. This is so weird. All of this is weird. No, no, Pan Ness Main. No. This guy. I think this is Lucid Fox, right? This is Lucid Fox. Am I right? Am I correct, chat? Chat. Is that correct? That's Lucid Fox? I think that's Lucid Fox. I could be wrong, but I think that's Lucid Fox. Okay, yeah, it is. Now, this is kind of weird. You know what I mean? That, like, on stream, 
she's talking about being annoyed in this really awkward situation and then he's like well you know you're always going to be disappointed it really feels like you know how i said there was the thing about the friend always having to be there what if bad bunny likes and this is this is pure speculation 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 warning speculation what if bad bunny likes to hang out with lucid fox but lucid always brings on another friend and wants bad bunny to be friends but they just can't be friends and that one friend is really fucking awkward do you see what i mean this is why you can't come to you can't rush to conclusions with these things and that was warning speculation again all right well, I, just, uh, I just can't hang i just can't i can't hang out with him then sure but like those that's emotional differences that you have you yeah I mean? see that is so weird i just can't hang out with him then well that's just emotional differences what what that's so weird that is so awkward and and strange I don't, I have no idea, 85D2D Derek. I have no idea. I don't think so. I, I, I can hang out with him like over voice chats. I can't hang out with him like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. too much more than that. Okay. You figure out ways to reconcile those ideas, you know? See, that's very weird. That's really weird. You got to find ways to reconcile those differences when she is explicitly saying, I would prefer to only ever hang out with him on voice and nothing else. This is so weird. Or you don't like it. I don't know. It all comes down to where you can stay in this situation. Well, what's wrong with the- there's nothing wrong- I don't think there's anything wrong with the smirk. What if she's laughing at something in chat? Uh, yeah. No, okay. There's different- one thing is smiling when you're uncomfortable. Another thing if I'm like, yeah, I'm talking- No, because Cointel Bones. I- I know- I happen to know Cointel Bones. No- no offense, but I happen to know a lot of people in my chat don't like Bad Bunny, and a lot of people don't like Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny has been like- is so hated on the internet. Like- so I'm trying to be as even here as I can. And I know nothing else except for what I'm seeing here. About you right now, about how I'm disappointed with you. And they go, really? But again, that's, I don't know. But it's just, it's just it's a yeah, general. Okay, if we're going to get super deep and be like, well, what do words even mean? Maybe my words mean something different than your. Okay, yeah, everyone's way of communicating theoretically could always be justified in their brain. Ride the waves of cringe chat. Sure. So, sure that, but that doesn't stop you from having negative reactions to people's different Absolutely personalities. That's a lot. That's a big ac that's, that's a that's large like accusation, Iko, but I'm I, I, I don't, I'm not ruling it out. You know? Like, I, for example, like there are people that do things that are, that are distasteful to me, but and I, I didn't process it. Say. No, I process, I process everybody. No, no, I honestly want to know, like, have no. I been beyond the pale? I mean, yeah. I, but not, I not for me, but again, I'm a different person. Okay. I'm really sorry about the door thing. No, I don't give a shit. The problem was I was, I'm going to make excuses, but I was like very, I couldn't step out of the, of the car. It the seat was so far back. You have to understand that literally most things don't matter to me. So. That's what That's <laughs> not, yeah, that's literally a thing that doesn't matter to me. I don't um, know, I'm not like a halfway type person. Like, I've had, I've had people that have like stolen thousands of dollars from me. That, that, those are things that bother me. Like. Oh, I would never do that. Like, that, the, yes. the thing about me is, I'm either in with you or I'm not. I'm not a, like, lukewarm person. Sure. So that's just the way it is. So what does it have to do with your... with anything you just said, with the car door stuff? Yes, huh? $5 a month. And the thing about me is I'm not lukewarm with people. What does that have to do with what you were saying to Lucid? No, you're just talking about, like, his, his different way of, like, dealing with people. I think there was a segue away from that idea, right? All right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Mike's just telling her. Uh, my hands are red. Wait, wasn't that like yeah, years ago know. though? Reza Sutra, wasn't I mean, that like years ago? Well, no, no, no. Just I don't know, I always get it. I, I, I yeah, because yeah. Bad Bunny used to be a right winger. Uh, I'm late on this one. The hard, the, uh... I don't know. The, the, uh, the granite a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That just feels good. Oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> There's the punch. What'd you just do? Nothing. Why is this couch now moved? Did you just hit the couch? Let me just move the couch back. I just nudged it. Mm. Oh, shit, they're here. Let's go. Okay. Y'all have fun. Okay, bye, guys. I'll see you, uh... I'll see you, uh... <coughs> see you in a little bit. Wow. Oh, Calm down, man. 
Damn, that was pretty awkward. Uh-oh. Oh, here's a whole one. A whole video about it. Wow, that was painful. This is peak Twitch brain rot? Maybe. Oh, yeah, sure. No worries, Iko. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine to look into that. Now... That was awkward as shit. And there's no conclusion I can take away from that except, wow, that was awkward. That was incredibly awkward. All right, let's return from the debate, okay? Let's return to the debate. That was interesting. Okay? You're right now? Yeah, I sincerely uh, believe it. Hold on. We still need to get to his central character flaw. It's very important that we get to the center of the, the juicy nugget. Every single one of Destiny's simps yep. get on his watch his stream non-stop. And he doesn't engage with leftists, except when it comes time. Oh, for to sure, Iko. Um, yeah, see, Pickle and Croissant? You got to ride the waves of cringe. It's how it goes. Um, I mean, that was, that was very awkward, I will say. Um... And I do agree with what Iko says. Twitch used to be much more full of that type of drama. It used to be much more like YouTuber drama, you know? Because, like, you know, YouTubers, they all moved into houses together and shit. And then they all do bad shit to each other because they're like, a, there's a lot of bad people and, and they kind of just, like, live together. You have to be careful about that kind of thing. And yes, I do agree. A lot of these people live their lives entirely on stream. And while I agree that, um, while I agree that like most streamers get pulled into it all the time, uh, there are people who do worse than others. And there are people who continue to broadcast things, which we'll talk about later. But let's get back to the debate. To attack Atlanta DSA because saying they didn't want to ally with the fascists. Then he was rushing oh, along sure. to I LOL, yeah. a small DSA account. Ah, that's another lie that he just said. We can get to that one. Don't oh, worry. Oh, that's ridiculous. Um, I think he mentions it in the segment. It's not I saw other people uh, bring it up. Words to try to... But you to... know what else isn't healthy? Do you, know what, do you want to know what else isn't healthy? And this isn't me justifying it. I'm just saying working 60 hours a week at three different jobs uh, and not having health care is super unhealthy. Um, this system turns us all into very unhealthy people. And there are just different versions of it. Be like, hey, man, stop that. If you want to have a conversation anytime, man. We're all running from poverty, aren't we? And then I messaged him. I just find it odd that you're... Remember when Destiny lied about the Atlanta DSA and Vouch jumped to attack the Atlanta DSA and then it turned out that Destiny was <laughs> lying the whole time about that? Whole, like, they wasted my time in Georgia and Vouch jumped to defend... The attack on Atlanta DSA while the rest of the online left. Uh, no. <clears throat> Again, I don't know if he's lying deliberately or if he just has a very poor memory or if he's hey, very remember, stupid. Remember when I did the drama mama on this? You remember when I did the drama mama on this and had all the receipts and we literally interviewed somebody from the DSA? That DSA branch? Anybody remember that? That was back when my channel was a lot smaller. Anybody remember me doing that? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Yep. I even interviewed from that D someone who was involved in that. And as it turns out, that person, the person who represented the DSA branch said that they didn't approve, they didn't like the Nazi thing. Even the DSA members, that was made by a single poster. Yes, we are. Of course. Of course we are. Don't worry, we got plenty of content tonight. I'm going long tonight. It's Monday. I got plenty of energy. What about you, imps? Are you going to run out before me? <laughs> but the only, um, <clears throat> sorry, the only issue that I had with that whole thing was that uh, the DSA called Destiny a Nazi, which he is not. It's that simple. Um, I didn't have an issue with the DSA not working with Destiny. That's their right, and I can understand why they didn't do it. But yeah, that's it. So. The real left, not the Beverly Hills left. Ah, oh, we have some Jesse Lee Peterson memes here. See, when he gets angry, it's not we'll about it principle video, anymore. He'll fall into, like, any list of dumbass insults necessary. It's funny, though, because um, 
Uh, between Mike from PA and I, he's the only one who said that he'll refuse to engage in certain types of political advocacy I'm for monetary for. gain. You know, that would be him, uh, not me. Oh, that would be sick. him, actually. Ash, that's great. Um, am I Beverly Hills left because I'm like more successful than him? Like, I don't, I don't know. Is is it literally just because I was born there? I have no idea what's going on in his mind. In all likelihood, he's angry and he's just saying whatever he can think of. Was saying what fuck you destiny remember that continually i uh i continually challenge what's the gain to the left in perpetuating the circular firing squad i'm not entirely sure why there are people in my chat saying this when he unprompted just went on this rant in his stream calling me like a dickless bussy haver or something like that it's very strange to me considering how light i was with the criticism that i had and he's the one who lost his mind why would you come into my stream chat and suggest that i'm the one who's perpetuating some kind of it should i just should i just should like never respond to criticism here Besides, I think it would be funny for all of you to see just how much of a fucking degenerate this guy is anyway. This guy has no business getting two viewers, let alone 2,000. Listen, I, I hate... Oh, I, I hate it when people call other people degenerates, but... Oh. Listen. Now it is getting spicy. Now shots have been formally fired. That's about as spicy as you can possibly get. Calling somebody a degenerate is like, that's fucking wild spicy. He's now, actually getting more viewers fired. than usual right now because, like I said, his modus operandi is to start shit and then benefit from it by whining forever. Challenged him, so I've challenged him like ten times. Ten every time times, my dog. He isn't chal. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait, okay, dog. so if DMs are already leaked. My dog. I mean, I generally gay fish. Told. Challenged me ten times. What is, what is he talking about here? What do, where where do where do I find that? Where, how far back do I have to go to find the challenge? Let me know. Okay, so here we're at the very beginning. If you want to collab or have me on your show, let me know. I don't really like collabs, you know. And then he said, "I've heard you mention me on your stream a few times when I have a chat." And then I ask if there's something that he wants to talk about. And then he said, you played an out-of-context clip on stream. And then I said, yeah, I defended you. That out-of-context clip was one in which I defended you. I Wait a minute. I remember this from when this happened. Vosh talked about this on stream. What, collab? What does Vosh say? What did he say? Did he say it wrong? Did I say it wrong? Collab? How are you supposed to say it? That's how I usually say it. Because it's collaborate. And then... Uh, collaborate. And then uh, we were going to talk this weekend. Collab. And then yeah, he didn't respond. He just let the time where he could have come on slip by. And then he apologized. And then he was asked to set up another time. And I said, I'm streaming Collab. all day today if that works for you. And he wasn't ready then. And then like basically just like schedule back and forth. Collab? Is that how people say it? Collab? Collaboration? Collaboration? I don't know, whatever. I always say collab. And that that was a whole year. None of you, you all can't even agree. You're all saying it differently. You're literally in chat all spelling it and saying it differently and thinking all of you are telling each other. You are all reading one another's posts and then uh, saying, oh yeah, look, everyone agrees with me. And me from this, from this area, I see 20 different fucking spellings in chat and you're all like yeah look they all agree with me and none of none of these are challenges and then all the rest of this is him trying to pull me away from destiny when i wasn't even defending destiny's position i was only saying he wasn't a nazi so you all are you all are telling me that you walk around saying do you want to collaborate collaborate what are you what whatever no. And and that's it. He didn't challenge me. He didn't challenge me once. You can read all of this if you want to like pause and look over it. It's mostly him whining about destiny. And then and this is the funniest part too. Look. After I heard that he like whined about me on stream the other day, um I said, "I'm really not seeing these challenges. You need to work on being a little more confident. This is borderline passive aggressive." 
He said, lol, I'm pretty public. I said, well, be a little more direct and private. I had no idea well, you were so eager day, to go, talk. Go sleep. I'm not trying to be hostile in any way, but you're pretty clearly hostile this way. So I guess if you... This is something that's happened, good faith. I've been increasingly roasted on my pronunciation as if these people know fucking shit about it. I would love them to, to tell me the correct pronunciation of pecan. And guess what? They'll be wrong. You want that level of relationship. This is like 16-year-old high school girl level of passion, uh, passive aggressive. He, went, he had this whole tirade about me on stream, motivated by me incredibly lightly criticizing. There is no correct pronunciation of pecan. In fact, pecan is considered a linguistic anomaly in that most people will say it different ways every time they say the word. Did you know that? Did you know that? That people will rotate sometimes in the same sentence. This has been like extremely, this has been actually studied. It is a word that tricks people. Sizing him at the end of a video There's or he's pecan, 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 pecan. Spitefully donated to an opposition candidate. I tell him he's never challenged me in DMs. He doesn't deny it. And then he's like, oh, well, if you want to be so hostile, then uh, I guess oh, we Comrade can. Sickness, it's this is pathetic, what chat does to me dude. all the time. It's actually pathetic. Look this at this. This is what this. They, they do this to me all he's the time. He's actually scared. They just he like had this little me. meltdown on stream, and then he was hoping to salvage the relationship afterwards by backing off and implying that I was the one who initiated aggression. He's a fucking beta male, dude. And that ultimately is the problem with Mike from PA, okay? And I'll lay it out to you, okay? Mike from PA's central issue, more so than- Okay, here comes the hot take. Anything else. This is like his key. If he was like a, a Greek hero, this would be his tragic flaw. This would be his Achilles heel, okay? And it's that he's unbelievably insecure. He is the most insecure online figure I have ever seen in my entire life. Everything that he does, everything that he says, the way that he talks, the arguments that he makes, the positions he adopts, all of them are designed to posture some sort of cringy alpha male stereotype, in spite of the fact that he looks like a weasley, greasy little manlet, okay? He Oof! Now, holy shit, now this is getting fucking spicy. A greasy, weasley little manlet. Okay, so there have definitely, there have been shots back and forth at this point. We've got body shaming on both sides, lots of body sh shaming on both sides. But Mike, as far as I can tell, did shoot first so far. Now, if that's not true, I would love to see the evidence of that. But in this particular fight, it appears, at least in this chapter, that Mike was the one who had a big tirade calling Vosh a dickless coward. Now, I would say that if somebody randomly went on a stream tirade about me, I would feel okay re returning fire. Let's see. He postures so fucking hard. And if you've seen his interactions with Destiny too, he does it there. He'll yell, he'll actually brag about being an alpha male. He's actually called himself that, like unironically, like, like without irony, like he's actually- Oh, when I fired back at Destiny? I mean, to be fair, okay. I don't really know if it was clear who fired first. Uh, Destiny was like, telling a friend of mine, not a friend, but well, I mean, at the time I wasn't really friends, but somebody I, I respect as a creator that they should, that they're mentally, a trans woman, that they're mentally ill and should not be on the internet. And I responded by saying that that was Gamergate tier. And then he responded by titling his stream, talking with a crazy person from Twitter. So I don't know. Did I fire first? Maybe. We said that. But he fired worse, I would say. And even though he postures as a progressive, he'll fall back into these like, yeah, I'm a real man. I'm just doing what men do, like kind of thing. You know what I mean? And I don't actually think that he's like a virulent misogynist. I think he's just really insecure about his manhood. And that defines everything about him. Why is he attacking me like this? Because he's fragile and he can't stand criticism. 
Uh, why does he posture the way that he does? He needs everybody to know what an alpha male that he is. Cool. Why does he adopt the positions he adopts? Well, it doesn't matter whether they're right or not, but he has to take a strong stance on them and never, ever, ever back down because backing down would be beta of him. I have this really strong memory. This is the Oof. first time I ever heard Mike from PA. This was before I was a streamer, I think, or... No, maybe I was a little streamer? Um, it was a while ago. And Mike from PA came on to talk with Destiny uh, on Destiny stream. This was back before they were like enemies, because at first Mike from PA was able to like um, disguise himself as a reasonable person. I think this is back when he was lying about being a lawyer, or I'm sorry, heavily implying he was heavily implying through omission that he was a lawyer. I think it was around that time. Um, but anyway, he was arguing with Destiny, and he couldn't understand this really basic concept. I think it was about the economic concept of a rational actor. So in economics, a rational actor is presumed to be, this is like a, you know, the liberal economics, presumed to be somebody who acts in their perceived self-interest. So it just means like a person who does things which they think will benefit from. from What's a sigma male? I missed that chapter. I don't even, I didn't even figure out what the Sigma male is. Anyway, whatever. Them. You know, like that's simple. Pretty much <laughs> everybody balls. is a rational actor by that definition, unless there the are people one, who are going dog. out of their way to. D. That's the real one. Engage in economic activity that oh. hurts them, like deliberately, like they know it hurts them and they're doing it deliberately. So it's, it's basically like the economic equivalent oh, of the it. legal standard of the reasonable bystander, you know? Um, anyway, Mike couldn't grasp this concept. Um, he Wait, thought it I'm meant sleeps. that a... is this the sigma male thing or what is this is this sigma males all right no we'll do this another time let's keep going rational actor was like this fantastical imaginary capitalist concept of an omniscient consumer who always knows what's best Wait, which is... did they actually have a relationship 85 d2d derek i haven't seen that lig oh ligma males oh definitely not that's not what it means but th that's not what it means that's not at all he just, he didn't understand what he was criticizing, which is one of the big issues that I have with a lot of people like Mike. Um, but anyway, anyway, anyway. So Destiny couldn't get it across to this guy. Um, and so Destiny had a, a, a person from his chat come on and it was like a, an econ student, like bachelor degree. And by the way, bachelor ain't a PhD, but a bachelor degree in econ is gonna know a lot more than a layman. I mean, yeah, right? Um, anyway, Mike loses his mind in this kid. Yes. This kid is the nicest, most polite. He comes on, he's nervous, he's in front of a lot of people, and he really politely tries to explain this concept to Mike. Mike screams at him, Mike insults him, Mike loses his shit True against fun. him, like really posturing too. Like, it reminded me a little bit of the way horrible people treat service workers. He was like, oh yeah, you stupid fucking piece of shit. You wanna come on me? You clearly don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You wasted your fucking money. No, 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 shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Like he was mad, like, Mike was mad, and he ended up muting the kid. Does anybody what? have this clip? If anybody could get me this clip, that would be amazing. If we could see this clip that Vosh is uh, referring to, that would be fascinating. All on a three-way call with Destiny. So the kid would keep talking, and Mike would talk over him because he muted the kid. And oh, fuck. the kid never said or did anything, really. I mean, the kid was just trying though. to explain the concept that Mike didn't know. But that's Mike. More than anything else, that's Mike from PA, an incredibly desperately insecure cringe lord who compensates by yelling at people and who will never let me go after this. He will talk about me forever. And that's the reason why, by the way, I have no interest in like some prolonged engagement with him. He can whine and say that like that's because um, that's because I'm scared of him. But he lost like six debates to Destiny and he still says he won those debates. There's no like relationship between reality and this guy. There's no way to move him over in his positions. Anybody stupid enough to watch him consistently probably isn't gonna be moved over themselves. He only gets content from it. He loves the attention. He yeah. loves it. Because yeah, at, like it's brutal. one part debate to six parts, him screaming at his chat about how he won. Where is that, Um, hold on. Mike from PA Cringe. This has to be the first thing that comes up, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. There oh, we go. Boy. I feel like his entire career is Vosh set Vosh discarded the cum pledge, remember? Him compensating for this devastating clip. He this got put in a critical video, you know, the moist critical or whatever. Um Oh no. This incredible incredible clip. I mean, it's it's world-shaking, really. 
This is Alpha Mike. He called himself Alpha that's Mike. Fine. Getting, I feel that's fine. sorry, getting the attention of a female. Here we go. Let's see. That's fine. I feel that's fine. So if a guy pays for my tab, I think they. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting your attention. I feel like I touched like uh, a vampire touching holy water. Can I help you? Well, I think they want to go in. Okay. Should I close it? Yeah. That's fine. I feel like I touched holy water. Oh. Oh, God. That got shown on critical, uh, like in a critical video. I think it has millions of views. I feel like his entire life is like dedicated to overcompensating for the existence of that clip now. So, um... I feel like anybody who watches Mike, like, it can be immediately and evidently clear that there's really no value to this person. This person is... A wow! That is a hell of a punch. Damn, Vosh. Vosh went really hard on Mike. Holy shit. Utterly and absolutely... But again, at this point, are, is, is, like the, is the meanness of the comments really, like, what matters here at this point? without like <laughs> any redeeming characteristics um but um uh, i guess we'll go through the rest of the clips you think showing that clip was too much i don't think so if it's public if it's public clip it's like whatever him right he just said your family was very rich oh yeah that's okay he'll say everything he'll probably call me a pedophile in like a couple minutes dude he's just angry like don't listen don't fault him okay he's scared listen, and he vosh can shit can shit fling like the best of them, okay? I respect being able to insult well. And the thing that Vosh does is Vosh is funny when he does it. That is one thing. Clips that aren't relevant? Well, I don't know. I... No, we're just starting. He's confused. I would, he would, there's no need. Um, everybody who dislikes me and is sufficiently crazy falls back in the exact same pattern uh, of behavior. So there's not really, not really much else to get into. I'll check his stream though. Let's get some audio. Hold on, let's see. How's he doing? He says I'm being petty. Dude, he's actually like he actually looks like he's losing it a little bit here. See, I don't know. Like, look at him. If criticism of Destiny or criticism of Vosh, then why does he attack Destiny all the time? Are you okay, Mike? He said that, not me. Are you illiterate or just a Vosh fan? <laughs> sorry, I repeat myself. Okay, sorry. He's arguing with his chat. I'm not Let's... sure what you mean here. I'm not exactly... Probably. He's arguing with his chat. Let's leave him alone for a moment. We'll just finish up these clips, okay? We'll finish up these clips. We'll... <laughs> it'll, it'll take some time. So... Time he's back down. So I... Okay, okay. He'll probably say a lot wait, of factually but, but inaccurate... Mike, in the conversation... Wait a second. Hold on. In... I think... Well, we'll see. We'll see. ...things here. So I'm just uh, happy to correct the record. I figure... You're going to talk shit about me on your stream. Again, remember what he considers talking shit about him. I've never been so nice to a person I didn't like. And I've been nice and challenged you privately. Now it's time to go public. Never challenged me privately. There was not a single thing in any of the DMs that you and I have both made public to, <laughs> to uh, that, that even came close to a challenge. I mean, I don't know. This guy's... Really aggressive in public and really passive in private. I wonder if Oof. there's a term for that. And say, hey, you're a coward and you were wrong again. What was I wrong about? Wait, what was... We'll see if that... Well, I, let's see uh, if his little piss baby audience has the ball. We'll see, you'll see what, that he won't take me up on the challenge. Well, there's a problem. It's not just... Iko, it's not just my chat. It's his chat. Vosh's chat is covering it. <laughs> I can't. I, I don't. I, there's two chats. Look, there's two fucking chats. <laughs> it's three layers. This because is a he's, five layer burrito, okay? He's a Mucho baby. He texto. Know shit. Here, I can do the mic thing too. Mucho texto. There are a couple of people in chat. You're welcome, who, Sam. Um, Thanks for who coming said by. that he's acting kind of the way that I do. I. Don't do that to me, man. I really hope I don't come off this cringy when I'm going on one of my performatively angry rants, by the way. 
Oh my God, chat roasting Vosh. Now that's, now, oh wow. You even you got under his skin. Whoever did that in chat, you, you got under Vosh's skin. Oh God. I really, I hope, I just, I, okay. I just, don't, don't do me like that, okay? I hope you don't just see two men being angry and like, you're like, oh, it's the same, you know? I'd like to think I'm not quite this uh, cringy, but. Anyway, I kept asking in Dylan's chat why they weren't supporting the progressive candidate. The other progressive of the state are backing. It actually has a chance of winning. Are we good? Oh, thank you. Bro, wait a minute. I think I got the basic idea. Wait a idea. minute. We're allies? What are we talking about? Here, let me. I, I, I even watched this thing. Oh, and now he watches the segment from my video um, towards the end. Uh, all right, part two. <laughs> all right. Oh, there's a part Got two. Skip to the end. Do you guys remember? Who Bosch were... is a grifter who's done literally nothing for the left, but continue running the Vow show. He will never do any. Not true. I fucked many moms. Anything healthy for the left. His other ex likes to do this from time to time. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 I saw somebody clip this. Hold on. Wait, this is really good. You can see the mic IQ in action here, okay? You can see all the gears turning. Fat, if that is not clear enough. Is this sarcasm? I think this is him. Vouch like... Me, syllabic. Me. Because I cringe so much, I come back out on the non-cringe side. By, by delving us, by dipping us into cringe constantly, I ensure that we can never cringe. He to do this from time to time. I he would, just makes I the would, dumbest possible fucking post <laughs> and then goes, haha, I was just parodying it's the, so hard the to centrists. See him. Again, I, I'm really sorry. I know people are going to vary in their opinion on this, but I genuinely believe that if you read this with my history, with like my history, the context of the content that I put out, and you read this, an anti-Bernie bro, like lib woke tweet. I, I don't understand if this is like a learning, exactly. like like you're having trouble with very basic social skills or, <laughs> holy shit, man. Me? Me? Back during the, uh, the Democratic primaries, I was right up there making femoid jokes about like uh, Warren. Elizabeth Warren, like snake emoji Twitter, that shit. Like, how would the this makes no sense in the context of of any of the shit that I believe or do. It's completely divorced. But that's okay. It might the the Mike IQ churnin. In fight punching at him. So you gotta watch the clip or not? Uh -huh. Hold on. That I, I need to Bosh, anyone tell you super packs does that make Mike? Mike, these videos are annotated. You can just, you can check the description. There's a section with your name on it. Make sense? Meet with them if I canvas. They'll never know towards the light. And it won't matter. And I'll be smiling. You communism or something. I'm going to make... Okay, he's going to struggle with this for a while. Thank you, SXN. Oh, it might be has. Somebody I mean, else found the annotation feature. Apparently, Mike from PA, a, a lefty Twitch streamer, I'm sure many of you uh, know him, was quite spiteful about um, Destiny this is being the inception from you Mark all Cudgel's, came for. Uh, campaign to the point of donating to it. So let's look at his chat. Let's do it. Call out Vouch. Mike who for cares about the chat, though? Like, who, cha who cares about the chat? PA for being a grifter snake. <laughs> Redacted. Hey, Fuck I know a lot of people in this chat. Redacted. Hi, VGG crew. Uh, Vosh, you actually did take issue with the uh, Metro Atlanta DSA not working with Destiny even before they caught him a Nazi. Um, no, I didn't. No, they. Excuse me? You tiny dick little fuck nuts! You giant, you fucking, you fucking tiny dick little piece of shit! How dare you call me an SJW? What the fuck do you mean? Ah! What the fuck do you mean? Called him a Nazi by this point, didn't I they? I don't SJW! Tweet is from a suspended account. Wait, did the Atlanta DSA Twitter account get deleted? Oh, we moved over to ATL Demsoak. Oh, well, now the fucking records are deleted. God damn it. Um, no, I'm pretty sure by then they had called him a Nazi. Uh, well, if they don't want to work with Destiny with this history, that's totally fine. His opposition? 
uh, a woman by the name of um what's her name something snipe listen Somebody tonight is maximalism stream okay we've got four video feeds three no four video feeds four chat feeds we've got D discord shit all over the screen and a multiple clashing branding going on it's maximalism stream In kamara snipes hey you you have an opinion on the Omaha mayor's race and you don't know who the candidates are. You just know who Destiny supports, so you support who Destiny supports. Is Destiny a leftist? So can you find the flaw in the logic here? I don't have any personal investment in the Omaha mayoral race. Uh, the only thing I know about the candidate that Mike donated to is that he donated to her specifically because she was the opposition to Mark Gudgel. You see? So the logic kind of falls flat here. Listen, my UI? No, look, look. Oh, look at how beautiful and clean my UI is. Ready? Ready? Or is that what your parasocial daddy said? A here. Okay, cool. Thanks for the raid. Silence. Clean. Destiny would never be spiteful. Me Wonderful. Wow. I, I criticize Destiny for being spiteful more than I think that's my central criticism of him actually that's you know that people are going to watch this people are going to watch this video and they're going to see my chat just going like what do you think you know what, are the, what is the review going to say about us the imps are speaking in an unknown language <laughs> I should have demon mama on my screen There we go. Bam. Ready? Here we go. This one goes over all of it. It's okay. Um, Mike from uh, Mike from PA struggling a little bit to remember. Have you know, chat, that these fuck- All right, chat, I need to go pee. I need to go pee. So you all can look at this noisy mess and entertain yourselves in chat, and I'll be right back. Uh, and then we'll continue. I'll be back. Yeah, that's right. I'm back. Hope you <sighs> hey, Artifice. Welcome to the chat. Yes, I did find your comment. All right, stop the spam, you wild hogs. Stop. Stop. I, of course, Cash McCrash. Of course I did. All right, all right, stop it. Don't make me nuke you. Don't make... All right, let's do this. Lie about me constantly. Literally making things up. From the cringe clip, which they've totally constructed their own narrative for, all the way to Mike. All right, I'm getting bored. Lied about we good? Bad time. We're gonna get back to the Christian cinema stuff. No matter who in April. And you know what? If Joshua wins, I will kiss his feet. I'll. Anyway, that kind of behavior. I mean, <sighs> we're all. Uh... <laughs> I love. This is fun. We're all trying out here. You I'm know. I'm vibing right now. That hard hitting. You know what this feels like? Do you know what this stream UI feels like? This stream UI feels like a concert. You know how like when you go to a concert, there's people drinking, there's people talking, people are having their own conversations, there's music playing, there's people dropping shit, people sliding their chairs around, and it's just like, there's that noise. That's what it feels like. This is what it feels like. I'm replicating the real world experience for you. Criticism. This is probably ableist. Well, now my yes. PA is swinging so low for you. Yeah, I don't like giving my attention to stuff like this because I unironically don't think that Mike from PA is capable of engaging with conversations like this beyond like alpha male dude bro posturing. It would be sold a little bit better if he looked like Canute or like the Golden One or actually like an apex of mass. You watching. know it, Reddit Hazar. Watching Vosh, watching Mike from PA, watching Vosh. This truly is a five layer burrito. Yeah! And yes, you are all my little pog champs. Thank you, Reddit Hazar. Masculinity, like it'd be a little bit less pathetic, but when he looks the way he does, talks the way he does, acts the way he does, and he still postures the way he does, I got a, it I got comes a club off as sody. incredibly overcompensatory. You know what I mean? Club Sodi. He thinks that he can't get involved in real life politics because he said tactical N words. And you know what, Vaush, you're right. Uh -huh. We don't get to use that word anymore. As our, if you're. Oh, I saw this. He goes on a rant about how bad it is to use the N word. 
It's funny that earlier he called Mark Gudgel out for like id poll, but here he does like a he does like a very brave soy speech. Um, on, yeah, on for those of you who are here who just arrived, you are watching me watch Vosh, watch Mike from PA, watch Vosh, and the reason why we're doing this is because it's March, we're bored, and we want to find out what the fuck everyone's angry about. On how the N word is bad, and he repeats points that I've and used I'm here in the to past, guide you through so. it. You're committed to a like fault. a trusty, like 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 trusty Charon, like trusty Charon, guiding you across the sticks. I am here to guide you across the drama. And I win the election if I. Okay, we're, we're probably good with it. All right, we can cap it off. Want to do? Want to do Mike for like five, ten minutes? Wow. Think we can do that. Want to do Mike for five to ten minutes? Two hours later all right so here's here's what we have to do now we have to make a change because i want to go <gasps> you found it oh we got to watch this then we have to watch this before the debate is about to begin thank you father halford wait a second let me here we go thank you let us watch we can move on wait can hold on hold on hold on okay wait calixus can you state your background and tell me what you want to talk about real quick all right, come on, let's, let's... Oh, okay, um, I have an undergrad in, uh... Who gives uh, a fuck? Okay, go, hit us I, 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 What do you want to say? I want undergrads. Wait, it's okay, undergrads hit him up real quick. at least a fucking master's. Hit, hit me up. <laughs> fucking okay. undergrads. What we're Jesus talking Christ. about right now is high school econ 101, so this is plenty. Go, yeah, hit me up. Yeah, this is, this is stuff we covered in high okay. school economics. When okay, people say I don't give a shit, because I'm talking about behavioral economics. Did you take that in high school, you stupid fuck? If not, get the hell out of here. Okay. That's a bit that's a bit unfair. Okay, okay what is your point so anyway? Go. When when you talk about when you talk Jesus about Christ. rationality and economics, you're not saying that something is the most optimal decision, as Destiny was saying. That's not what I said. That is what you said, like twelve times. I oh my god, I read the rational behavior thing and I said it was a decision make a, a result in the optimal level of benefit or utility. The and optimal level of benefit or utility through. is Trust the fucking me, definition. Pickle. We have to get through. But that perception of utility is subjective. There is not like an objective, concrete way of like measuring this. Utility is one of the most difficult to study concepts because it's so hard to tie like a monetary value to like social utility. Let me give you, let me give you an analogy. You say something's red, I say something's green. We look at it and we have a different subjective perspective. Now, are we both rational for saying it's red or green or should we tie the color red and green to a certain wavelength of light. Is that rational based on the wavelength of light? So what you just said, my subjective yeah. view. So what you just said betrayed again that you do not understand what rational means. Here is a better yeah. analogy, okay? A better analogy would be a behavioral economist would ask, here are two equivalent shoes, okay? And every single measure they are exact same, except one of them was worn by Kanye West and the other one wasn't. A person is willing to spend $100 more on the shoes advertised by Kanye West than on the other shoe. Why? What is the perceived social utility there, right? Why, why? Now, we would assume that all people are being rational agents, that they're spending in the, their greatest perceived benefit, but the study, the area of investigation would be, why would they spend more on the Kanye West shoes than the non-Kanye West shoes? That These are the kinds of things we would investigate. Have, Not like, Sam, how do we tie like a color yes, to- Yes, I have considered debating infrared, well, wait. Uh, but he hasn't sent me the, uh, the check. 195 is the going rate. 195 is the rate to de debate infrared. 190 or sorry 195 195 i'm sorry no 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 175 was the discount for last week it's 195 i'm five dollars less than vosh length like that's here's like the, the thing here's the here's no, the, he's paying me the problem with your argument and we're going to get to 195 dollars you, you're still understanding what i'm saying is that the decision maker's rationality Welcome, is for Rendar. his personal benefit not necessarily the interest of the company because you understand that the executive but interest you tie that is benefit different. With the don't policy. fucking interrupt. The inner, the executive's interest is because who the fuck are you? The executive's interest is different from the corporation who he serves as an agent. But that's not true. That's why we have that is this. This would be like this would be like if if I had screamed at Mr. Lorenzo. You remember Mr. Lorenzo? That would be like if I had screamed at Mr. Lorenzo.
and we wouldn't have made a friend because Mr. Lorenzo was a sweetheart. It's true. So that's this why we have. Shit. That's why we have stock incentives for CEO pay is to make sure that those interests are aligned. Do you agree or disagree with that? No, because of what we're going to get to later. I disagree with you that the, okay. uh, age, the interests of agents are perfectly aligned with their company. Okay, I got you on that. I want to read ridiculous. the link that you sent me last night, okay? Give me two minutes, okay? Thank you so much, Nira, for that kind introduction. I've long admired all um, I've long admired all that you and everyone here at the Center for American Pro So just to be clear, Mike sent me this last night and told me to read this, okay? I'm, I've long admired all that you and everyone here at the Center for American Progress do to promote a progressive economic agenda, and I share your commitment for making sure our market- Mr. Lorenzo was the stocks guy that came in during the sea space debate hey thank you so much randar thank you so much oh, really gosh, appreciate that in another month yeah Thanks for all the great content and guess what that. next month you're gonna have even more content markets are safe and efficient and fair for all americans okay so i don't care about this part now all right we saw what we needed to see there all right vosh was no vosh was accurately reporting what he saw Vosh was accurately reporting what he saw. I think it's fair to say that, right, everyone? I think that's fair. I think Vosh was accurately reporting what actually happened there. Yeah. Like, that is literally what happened. He just screamed and insulted this random person who came on to try and share some information. And it, the guy wasn't condescending. And I will... Listen. You know... You know what else I have to say. Destiny wasn't even doing, like, he wasn't trying to pull a gotcha. He was trying to bring someone in with some expertise to explain something. And, and you know... Oh, is there more? Wait, is there more? Wow. Well, don't worry. We're going to finish... We're going to watch the actual debate because this is, I'm having fun. Are you all having fun? I'm having fun. But we have to find another VOD real quick, which is we need to watch the Mike from PA VOD. Is Destiny good in some instances? Yes. Yes, of course. Absolutely. I've never disagreed with that. In fact, I defended Destiny even in my DSA versus Destiny thing, which is why I'm so confused as to why everything has happened the way it did. But I don't care. I have my problems with Destiny. But in this example, Destiny was not like trying to pull a gotcha. Mike was just screaming at this random dude who came in. Yeah, Passage John, I don't appreciate that type of language. But let's continue. Let's continue. I want to grab the Mike from PA one. Let's see. We haven't got Good. to the debate proper How am I quite coming yet. Through? Where is the debate? Here we go. Here it is. Let's okay, so here we go. Oh, it's loud. It's so loud. Why is it so loud? Jesus. I know it's loud. I'm trying. I didn't know it was going to be that loud. God. So let's see. Let's see what Mike uh, put in here. Let's mold in the central committee. Let's cringe in the central committee. Oh. No, hold on a second, though. Wait a second, everybody. This is not... Hey, thank you, Cephalus. Really appreciate the tier one sub. Thank you so much. I will not hear it about ratios. Ratio means jack shit when there are people who can raid and, and, uh, and brigade a video. I'm sorry. There are multiple actors brigading this. There's not just... There's not just Vosh. There's also DGG. There's also probably a, a bunch of other streamers who've, who've come in on this, okay? 
Oh, I'll take a look at that afterwards, Dango Bangle. Thank you. All right. Let's continue, huh? Let's find out what, what Mike has in his video. Now, let's see what he has to say. Now, we get into the arguments. I will happily get into the arguments. But when Joe Biden... I want to I bring you back to the summer. Do you guys remember the debates that we were having when Bernie Sanders dropped out of the primary? Maybe TMG. Do you guys gamer. remember those debates? I mean, I think we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Remind and me about that later. When I said, hey, we, the progressive left, should not throw their support behind Biden. Well, Father Halford, that, I already said that DGG got involved with it. You don't have to repeat yourself. Biden. Unless they have real Thank you for the clip, by material the way. promises and concessions in personnel. Meaning Joe Biden is saying, I'm going to bring in a bunch of Bernie people into my part, into my administration to hold me accountable. Remember when I said we shouldn't support Joe Biden unless he does that? I didn't say let Trump win. I okay. said B Biden wants our support. He's got to earn our support. You remember that? Okay, so what's this? That he thinks destiny, what happens to destiny affects him. Imagine being a content creator that's bigger than another creator and still being their pissant. Vosh is a grifter who's done literally nothing for the left, but continue running the Vow show. He will never do anything healthy for the left. Zero dollars, zero effort, zero charity, zero unity, zero experience. That is verifiably false, by the way. I'm just saying that is to a a like actually false. That is li like Vosh literally donated. I was on the stream in the stream when Vosh donated twenty thousand dollars to a check to the the bail fund. Sorry, that's just a lie, dude. And the lies like that, lies like that, in my opinion, are bullshit. I don't want to watch this part again, though. And, or or being a Destiny sycophant, if that is not clear enough. Is this sarcasm? I think this is him. Vouch likes to do this from time to time. Oh, okay. This is the part we've already he just seen. Snipes. Hey, you you have an opinion. Yeah, Vosh donated 20k to a bail fund. It was wild. Vosh also uh has has raised money. Vosh also raised a fuckload of money to help out has raised a fuckload of money to help out other streamers. Vosh donated all of the all of the proceeds of his stream uh, of the hippy dippy to Dylan and the Minecraft stream for mermaids that one too and on the so Omaha on. mayor's race and you don't know who the candidates are yeah I'm sorry but the one thing I just I really hate it I really 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 hate it when people say Vosh doesn't support anyone else on the left that's just not true that is just not true I'm sorry, it's just not. You just you know who Destiny like him, supports, so you support who Destiny supports. Is Destiny a leftist? Or is that what your parasocial daddy says? We're going to get back to the Christian cinema stuff, stuff in a second, but I want to talk to you about the enablers of people like Joe Biden. Oh, that's awesome, Vermin. I didn't know about that. Well, and... And... Thanks to Vermin and Vosh, you get to see my face in in fucking HD. So that's pretty nice. That's pretty fucking nice. I would never have been able to get a camera like this. Yeah, it's true. Yep. Now this was this was the truest gift right here. This one right here, Vermin. You all see that little friend? That was the true gift. But the camera was a nice bonus. And Kristen Cinema, the fake leftists like Vouch, the enablers, the people that got us where we are today, the people that say vote blue no matter who in April, and then are too cowardly to defend that position. I was there for it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was... yeah, I forgot to tell you, Vermin. The little the little deer girl, the little deer girl, it sticks on the top of our fridge even when you open it up. Yep. 
it, it works really well. The little magnet deer girl, it sits right up on there. It's so amazing. Well, the, yes. I mean, Vosh did convince me. I mean, it didn't take much convincing, but I went I went to a meetup with Vosh and I was like, hey, Vosh, like, uh, you think I should fucking stream? Probably. 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 Yeah. Nah. Well, I will say... I am an OG chatter. That's the only thing I can claim. I am an OG chatter, and I did send Vosh's videos around to a lot of people when I first discovered Vosh. So there's that. And I did make my I, I didn't make my friends watch Vosh with me. <laughs> so there's that. I don't think that counts as making. I was just a fan, okay? There you go. But now, now I've become a streamer. So there you go. There for the cringe, it was made up for the record. Of course. True cyborg. Made up. Also, they tried to say that I supported Joshua for Congress. Here is my position on Joshua for Congress. And you know what? If Joshua wins... Wait, what? Wait, do you need mod status, Glooby? I thought you wanted on the other one. What? You don't have mod status. Wait, do you have mod status? Whatever, fuck. And I will I'm kiss his feet. I'll beg his forgiveness. Oh. I'll say he's a genius and I'm an idiot and I will crawl on my Thank hands you, and knees I appreciate that. and say, you were right. I was wrong. I never thought that the essential workers party was going to win, but you did it. He How is this still streamception? He's watching his own stream. He's retweeting things, comparing himself. And you know what? Is this from before hey, the debate? Let's watch this clip. Oh, this is from before the debate. Wait, then where's the debate? Oh, this is the discourse. Ah, oh, god damn it. Where's the actual Good. debate? How what? Is it on Twitch? Do I have to go to Twitch? Somebody said that Mike from PA's one had... <sighs> hey, wait, wait, Dylan's doing the same thing I am. Hey, look, Dylan's reporting. <laughs> what? Hey! Does the fuck? <laughs> How is he beating me? He's he's not beating me by much though. I got 270. I'm catching up on Dylan. Now watch this. <laughs> watch this one. <clears throat> no, I'm not doing it. Have I been banned from Central Committee? I might be. I might have been banned from Central Committee. Okay, no. All right, videos. Eat like you with Taco Bell. Shut up. Bill Shut up. Where is it? Is this, this one? Okay, it's got to be this one. Off the What's for dinner? Shut up! Shut up! Infrared is also reacting? Wait, wait. 85D2D Derek. Tell Infrared. Tell Infrared that I will debate him for the low, low price of $195. And tell him that if he uses the discount code 85D2D Derek, that it'll be 185. 185, if he uses the discount code 85D2D Derek. It's a steal, I know. What a wild night today has been, huh? Come on, what is this shit? You don't gotta pay me $195, Glooby. I'll debate you anyway. Thank you, 85D2D Derek. Where's where's the Vosh conversation? Where's the Vosh conversation? Where's the fucking Vosh conversation? Okay, so it must be from the neck from the VOD before. Why is it so hard? Hey, you're welcome, Pain Sama. I know, life has been fucking difficult. I get it. It's been hard as shit. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. I looked through a message history, man, maybe your notes are really not for conservation got a guy, but that's really not how I read any of these messages. Oh man, I even invited you at one point. You end up being busy. I asked, I just asked, I don't stream at night. I'm really not seeing these challenges. We need to be work on being Then he tries to say I'm borderline. But I'm passive aggressive. I'm just not trying to attack the guy constantly. 
In fact, I outright demand to go on and ask for a specific date multiple times. Look at the way he just, he, he, I think he's illiterate. I think he's actually illiterate. But like, surely. I'm not trying to be hostile. Surely, surely his chat must recognize that he's not telling the truth about the chats, right? Like we've seen the DMs, we ha we've we all seen the DMs. Am I wrong to conclude that there wasn't a, tr a challenge ever formally stated, right? I I, I don't feel like there's, a that, that he, he said, Mike's claim was that he challenged him 10 times. I don't think I'm wrong on this. But you're pretty clearly hostile this way, so I guess you want that level relationship. So at the end of the day, that's the whole thing. You got the whole clips. Now, now tell me, Vouch fans, when was I bad faith with Vouch? Where was I va bad faith with the boy? Run. Wait, like, come uh, on, man. Bar, bar the, uh, bar the Here we Hello. go. Wow. It's right, a shame so it came to this. See, but now we can see both of them. And guess what? We're going to go one step further, okay? Because I'm going to do something special just for us. Actually, I can't. Hold on. There is a way to do it. Hold on. I know how to do this. We are going to move chat slightly over. Wait a minute. We can put it over on this side because Vosh is going to come in in the middle. Look at that. <laughs> chat on the other side. Enjoy. This is weird, Mama Knight. He's got to try to say something because he knows that the uh, the optics are bad right now. The optics are bad right now. <laughs> so he's got to do his best. Let's see what he can do. Oh boy, here we go. The optics are let's bad. See what the, let's see best. what he can do. Yes. Let's let's do this shit. Let me let me get this fucking dipshits stuff on screen. Okay, let me, let's listen to him. Let's listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> the yawn. <laughs> I'm just, just waiting. Pickle and croissant. This is the right mic from PA, you. right? All right, hold on. We got him. Hold on. Hold on. We got it. Give me a second, chat. I want to bring him on. So we chugging Hello. for a while. I got it for you. What's up, buddy? Hello. How you doing, my now, friend? How the fuck am I supposed I'm to do this? I'm doing great. How are you? Wait a second. There's a I'm problem. Doing great. Now you can't see Vosh. So now we have to move me over. Over here. And this over like this. Wow. What a weird night. All right. Have anything on your mind? Uh, I just want to know why you are all this kind is, of weaselly. This is training. This is training, everyone. This is training. Life is strange. Things change all the time. Now, you must experience how to adapt to changing environments. Congratulations. You can do this. May God help you all. Whenever you talk Weasley. about me. For example, Weasley. you said, for example, I've had a problem with you for a very long time, but I've tried to build a bridge. I showed my stream the entire history of our DMs. Um, mm -hmm. I encourage everyone to go watch the VOD. And you'll see, and everyone will see that I bent over backwards to try to be bridge builder kind, you know. You're very good at bending over backwards to me. Uh, oh, okay, whatever. I mean, this is this is the type of person you <laughs> okay, are. Okay, because... that was a good start. That was a good start. Yeah, hippie punk, shoot me, shoot me your content. I reached out because I care about socialism in the left. I'm not somebody who's just a supporter of online content creation like you. I actually do the stuff. I do the work, mm -hmm. and I saw you with you a do? platform. Oh, you're gonna take. What do you do? No, no, wait. I, you know what I do? I make YouTube videos. But yeah, I'm oh, asking well, that's because right. you're. 
That's right. Yeah. So uh, what are you, I, I'm I've, just I've ran for office. I've won. Mul I've helped multiple people win candidate, win political office. I've raised well over a million dollars for people. I've organized campaigns in every Wait. single job you could have: oh, oh, finance oh, director, on. field director. Now you want to investigate who I did? You want to go look up all the candidates? No, I'm Wait, hold on. Wait, like, come uh, on, man. Bar, just, I bar the, uh, bar the insecurity. You. I'm just asking questions. If this is all okay, stuff you're dude. proud of, you should have no problem answering any I of these questions. I have no interest openly. in sending DGG and Vouch's mad fans after small little politicians that I've helped get elected to office. Why would we? Wait, hold because on. that's what these audiences are we... like. So my it's not audience that hard to figure it out. It's not that progressive hard to figure politicians. Out. That's it's the thing that my audience does. Is your Hey, look, dude, if you don't want to talk about it, that's totally okay. Don't kiss and tell, right? I get it. Um okay, so you were yeah. saying I wasn't building bridges or whatever? Yeah, that's absolutely right. And you oh, were, yeah, you... I just I just don't really think you're like um a worthwhile person and i think okay. that you contribute harm to the left okay oh, well wow, really, good, really, good really, really good really really good really good uh poisoning the well with your audience really good job wait after that clip that i got sent to view on stream molding because of like an incredibly light criticism at the end of a video you're going to talk to me about poisoning you say, the well. when you say you spit in someone's face would you call that light criticism um I think that when I said I spit in someone's face, I was referring specifically to one of the chatters who got brought onto Destiny's stream, who like acted like an utter buffoon. They were a previous member of my community. I banned them. That was referring to somebody oh, else. Oh, I know, Did because they were against Destiny, and everybody who's against Destiny in your community is No, it was because their behavior was abhorrent, <laughs> and they devolved into everybody sexually harassing Destiny. Everybody who's not a Destiny, Destiny supporter on your community is out the door. Calm down. By the way, I know how you many times lot, can he humiliate you and treat you like shit before you stand up like a man? One point at a time, Mike. How many times? So if you actually, if you actually watch like a man you are in no position to talk about manhood my rat faced little friend so let's focus first and foremost around. on Come the on. first point that you made oh, you can slap me around you can slap you're actually you resorting to like you, well, you just warrioring. you just well, you just said that, uh, that i'm a rat warrioring. face that is embarrassing Dude, we on, all, wait, why would you say that we all know what you look like we all know what you're you look and act like in person <laughs> Why would you? Why would you resort to that? By the way, Chad, this is Vouch. This is the everybody you watching this. You should get this. into uh, this VTubing, is so people will this forget what you content. look like, and maybe then it'll this really. Uh... Is... Dude, look! Look at yourself. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Neither one of us are are, are Hassan over here, okay? Yeah, but this man. is who you Boxed are, man. Years, You're I'm a six fucking two, two fifty pounds. Yeah, dude. I'll see. Yeah, I'll hold it up, baby. Yeah, <laughs> lay it down. I'll take you. Hey, I'll take you in the streets and in the sheets, buddy. Okay, I'm skilled all over. I'm a fighter um, and a lover. Oh uh, yeah, yes, dude. I'm sure. Yes. Yeah. Fight. You were talking about Chat. my Tacoma kicking balls wept. quite a bit in those Tacoma clips. Tacoma wept. You... Tacoma wept when you got off Tinder, right? We, yeah. Well, we all hey, know. hold it. Wait. Where do you where do you live? Or is that boxing? I mean, I can come on over. After COVID stuff, maybe. <laughs> like you were just talking about my dick, the, like over and over. Listen to this child! Holy shit, dude! You uh, having fun with the forced laugh over there? You like that Joker? What's the uh, Joker from Suicide Squad? This what was the name of the actor? Holy fuck! What a great what was the name of the actor? That's, that's a good question. So this is what wait, you wanted to debate about. Wait, 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 wait! wait. <laughs> this Jared is what Leto, you wanted to debate about. <laughs> No, actually, I wanted to roll back to an earlier point. That okay, you made. go to the so, point. Go to the point. When I talked about spitting in the face of somebody, it was mm -hmm. because a person who used to be in my community resorted uh -huh. to sexual harassment of Destiny in a conversation with him. So I just want to ask you: Look, neither of us are a fan of Destiny. You obviously Bullshit. dislike him. <laughs> you obviously dislike him more than I do. That's totally yeah, okay. because he went out of his way to create false impressions and lie about me. Right, right, right. So, yeah. do you think it's acceptable to sexually harass people like Destiny? Wait, you're asking me about sexual harassment? Um, Acceptable yeah, to I, you? I, wait, wait, it's a Vouch yes. wait, you're is asking again, me Mike. about sexual Vouch? harassment. Really? Mike, you want to go down this path? I'll put it this way. I don't have any clips of me on live stream fail absolutely bombing at touching a girl's shoulder, okay? Oh, now answer yes okay, or no. Okay, so, is it okay wait, wait, to Vouch, sexually harass? What do you harass? think that was? What do you think that was? Can Tell you, me. Can you're, you answer you're any Mike. question? Yeah, I'm going to answer the question for do you. you. Do you but, pivot away from anything that I ask? So is it okay to sexually harass us? No, of course it's not okay. Is it okay to sexually harass people in discord no it's not at, not even remotely so oh, that's why i said okay, gotcha yeah, good good to know what a surprising position when did you change your position on so, that this year or uh, last never year i actually changed my position on that oh. are you okay you're well, digging up like four year drama this to try good. to back out of the fact that you have no idea what you're talking about right now i absolutely now, am talking so to you about reality of stuff said, that you did and you apologize for are you got taken back the apology or said, not i spit in the face of that was you the said person you spit in the late fa to. okay well you spit you said spit in the face of lefties oh by the way mike from pa he donated to the other opponent oh wait and then 
You, you said you were going to talk about her, but then you didn't. That's not. You didn't on talk brand. about who I actually supported. Well, that's not. You didn't talk about why. Talk about? Do you know who? You, uh, do you wait, know who Kara Eastman wait, 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 is? One point, do you know who Kara Eastman is? Time. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Hold Did on. you talk so about first her or all, not? Did you, you talk were about wrong the on other? the first point? I talked about that she existed. Did you talk about why I might have supported her other than spite? So let me wait. Just to be perfectly clear. Or did you lie about my reasons for supporting her? I'll ask you an honest question. So you're telling me that you arrived at the decision to make a monetary contribution oh, this, okay. to an Omaha, Nebraska mayoral candidate, mm -hmm. and it had nothing at all to this do part, with the fact that Destiny was involved in that race. This is what and I that... call calling somebody on it. Like, I'm sorry, but it's very obvious that this was done out of spite. I'm that sorry, person was but it was. Wait, do you have to candidate. be purely pure of your entire intention to do something? I asked something? you a question. Dude, no, you, I asked you, you a question. Right. Just, you, you, you were just like, the I want to contribute to is a mayoral race Is this how you debate people? Today. You move goalposts like this? You first said, just I only to did it. You, on to the you questions said, you that said, I asked. first, you, you your position was, your position was that you said that I supported her purely out of spite. And now it is. You had you just no really care personal about modification. Just something you uh, did on your own, like no, no, other, no other reason, no other pressure. So I've been paying pressure. attention to Omaha politics for a long time. I know you don't know this because you oh. don't know dog shit <laughs> about politics. There, I see, have always been deeply invested in the city of Omaha, Holy Nebraska. <laughs> the fact that Can I donated right Can you shut the fuck right up and get educated? Because you apparently need to be educated. Shut the it's fuck up and be educated. what a coward you are. Just own the fact that it was spite. If you had said, yeah, it's Bite and just walked away that would have been a chad move what? you want to be an alpha male right you want to be a big dick boy right just walk away from it Wait, say, do you yeah, actually think I alpha like males are real are you are, do you think that alpha and beta males are you know real? i used to but then i saw your stream and no i don't think so anymore okay okay that, gotcha. that belief has thank been you. utterly thank destroyed. you for that man you are i mean you are definitely dude, alpha you you're definitely about my alpha. Dick and asshole on your stream okay, do you think dude. about my dick and asshole often i don't think many people think about that vash um, no, I think that's so good because I don't like being sexually harassed by people that like the uh, kind of people you endorse Jesus implicitly. Christ, you're worse than Mitch McConnell. All right. <laughs> Omaha, Omaha is part of Nebraska, and Nebraska splits its electoral college wait, 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 votes wait, 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 hold on. by wait, 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 hold on. congressional wait, district. Holy shit, he's, he's, he's hey! a basic education. He's Omaha. a Paris. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much, law boy named Troy. Here we go. I told you it was maximalism stream. We we got another one. I got another good one. Watch this. I'm gonna keep it keep it up and going. Look at this shit. Here we go. Here we go. It's in Thank Nebraska. You, Wait, hold on. Let's back up a couple of paces, okay? Can you can you explain that one to me? Are are you confused? About yeah, the electoral college explain. vote. Omaha's Do you know who? Co Wait, okay, let me ask you a question. Time, okay? this is, let's let me ask you a question, dummy. Who is Kara Eastman? <laughs> is it an Omaha official? Who is Kara Eastman? Uh, I don't know who Kara Eastman is. I know you don't, because you don't talk about politics, because you're stupid. Oh, Kara okay. Eastman is one of the most important. Ah, uh, see, this is the thing. I I'm not gonna lie. Look, so far this has just been two dudes, two dudes fucking shouting at each other but but oh by the way uh fawn fawn and grime dango if you want me to add any gifts to the screen i will add them if you dm them to me just just dm them to me and i will add any gifts that you any wacky gifts that you want we're gonna make this maximalism stream 1000 okay so let me know yeah, at for, so far, so far, this has been two dudes screeching at each other for a bunch of slights that are very hard to understand. But, and there's a big but here. <laughs> but. One person. The rat? You want me to add the rat? Okay. I can add the rat. Hold on. Let me add the rat. This debate happened yesterday. Um... Oh, I won't. Don't worry. My computer is totally capable of, of dealing with this. Here we go. I'm just making sure we got this all in the right position. Um, God, this is going to be... Hey, thank you so much, Painsama. Mike seems so sad. I hope he gets some mental health help. He seems super emasculated. Well, I cannot comment on that, but you may be correct. I don't know. 
Uh, what was this one? Uh, this is gonna be rat. Rat one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Rat. Look at that. We got a little rat. We got the rat dancing down over here. Okay. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hold on, everybody. We're taking this stream to the next level. This is going to be great. Oh, this is going to be good. You just wait. Just bear with me, chat. Bear with me, chat. We're going to make this the top level. We are taking it to a new level. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> one of the other skeletons I was hoping to find. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I can't remember if I'm on skeleton four or skeleton five. <laughs> uh oh. A baby chinchilla. Oh, how cute. Okay, we'll get this one on here too. All right, we're almost ready. We're almost ready, chat. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working hard at work. Hold on a second. Hard at work doing my very serious job, okay? Okay, ah, here we go. Ah. Thank you, punk boobs. I love the chaos of the screen right now. Love you, demon mama. Here we go. Let's see here, I gotta get another one in here. Ah, let's see. This is why I have, this is why I bought my well, to be fair, this is why you bought me a CPU, chat. Yes, I told you, we're doing chaos stream. We may as well embrace it. Look at that cute little chinchilla. <sighs> Glooby, you sent me one? Hold on. You all bought me uh, many, many months ago. My my small chat brought me bought me a i9, which was awesome. Oh, shit, yeah. I need this one. Here we go. All right, we're almost done. We're almost, we've almost reached max capacity. But then we'll get back to the debate. All right, we gotta get this one on here. This one needs to be flipped though. Wait. What? Here we go. You want me to keep the pug upside down? Okay. We'll flip it. We'll put that one in the middle there. And we need one more. Puggy is cute. The Pikachu will not go. <laughs> yep. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're almost at max capacity and then we will call it good. Oh yeah, it's fun. Yes, this one is perfect. Okay, almost done, almost done. And then we'll get back to the debate, I promise. I to anybody if they owned up to the things like Vosh called on Mike for spite-based politics, I would or would not have respect for them if the outcome was dangerous and reckless, bearing for certain lives destroyed or not. <laughs> yes! Glooby, this one is great. Okay, Glooby. All right, here we go. Okay, all right, I can't take any more now. 
I can't take any more. There's too many. I don't want to. I don't want to overdo it. Whoa! Yo! Holy shit! Wait, for real? Fifty bucks? What the fuck? Yo! Adam, thank you so much. Yeah, I agree. Holy shit, thank you so much. And yes, I, I do think that people should be careful about the outcomes of their actions. And they're, we're going to talk about that afterwards. After the silliness, we'll talk about something serious. Um, What was I going to add? Here we go. I got to add this one. One second, one second. Yeah, this is what we need. We'll put this one at the bottom of my little thing here. Actually, we'll put this one at the bottom here. Okay, one more. And there's another skelly. Mama Mold feed the demon Mama Chaos stream Mama Mold. Yes, exactly. Here we go. And now we'll have this one dancing on Vosh's head. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Are we ready? Here we go. Let's do this. Consider this one. I think replace the static skeleton. Okay, you're right. You're right. I'll get rid of this one. We're going to get rid of this one and we'll add a new one. Okay, hold on. I'll do Posadas Johns unless I find that I've been sent a better one. Oh my God, yes. Nope, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm giving I'm giving uh, privilege to Grime Dango on this one because this is great. This is too good to pass up. I cannot pass up this one. Grime Dango is gonna probably get the award for the, for the most um, epic gifts. Here we go. Boop. Where's this one? All right, let's do it. Yep, the, the epic gift moment goes to Grime Dango for sending me this dog that extends upwards. Look at that, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Tell me how you could beat that. You want me to move the long dog up more? But then it'll go over the skeleton. Maybe the long dog should go on this side and I'll move the rat over here. But then the dancing skeleton. There we go. Okay, this is good. Let's continue. There we go. Let's do it. Frosty Sun, welcome. Welcome to hell. Let's continue. Medicare for all candidates in Congress in 2020 and 2018. That's and, awesome. And she was supported by a lot of people like, you know, Don't AOC. Worry, I won't. And she was running in Congress. Now, in Omaha, the for, the mm -hmm. Republican, the other Democrat who lost the primary to Kerry Eastman and mm -hmm. her, her husband endorsed the Republican. And so that created it. Mm -hmm. See, since I talk about politics and I don't just, you know, I'm getting so posture smart right about now. it. You just posture about it. You don't know shit. Uh, I have been watching that race for a very long time and commentating mm -hmm. on it and showing how important it was if we care about Medicare for all. And ultimately, mm -hmm. the Democrats actually, the centrist Democrats helped betray her, stab her in the back, endorsed the Republican. And that resulted yeah, in a narrow asked. Republican win. And in, uh -huh. in Nebraska, they divide the Electoral College votes by congressional district. So I pay uh -huh. attention to that swing Electoral Jaunty College horror, vote. Now, I know chill. this is right. politics. Yeah, that's what I, wait, that wait. You... Chill. Let the madness flow over you and ride the high. I promise you. Have faith in your high. It'll be great. We so already said that, yeah. Talk you about just, on your you stream. Just follow, you just follow Omaha mayoral races very closely and just happen to donate to the opposition closely. candidate. Like, right as destiny got and kicked And I never by denied Mitchell. that... Laughing at destiny is something I love to do.
Mm -hmm. Oh, Chinchilla's popular. And you supporting him and if rushing to his defense like a pathetic little lackey is something if you like um, to do. That even your your own community, if they're being good faith for a second, ooh. they know oh, that to be the good. truth. See, wait, wait. They know so that you to be true. To say, even they your own know... community. Okay, so this part right here, like, I mean, let's be real here. This is so silly. I don't even know how to comment on this. Like being like, if your like if your community has good faith. I mean, that's obvious poisoning the well. But at this point, who the fuck cares? Everybody's been insulting each other for literally 15 minutes. And then you realize, wait, hold on, his community does not back anything that I do. And then you had to add, if they're acting in good faith. I, I got that too. Your community, if they're acting in good faith, by the way, all think that you're a beta male and that I'm alpha, by the way. If they're See, acting in good faith, I mean, that, if they're not. And this, and Vosh gets him on it. This is the problem. So far, this has been an insult fight. And Vosh is funnier. And in an insult fight, the funnier person wins. That's just how it goes. And Vosh is being funnier here. There is nothing meaningful being said here at this point. Let's be honest. Let's be completely honest. There is nothing like good faith, meaningful being said here. But Vosh is being funnier. And sounds less pathetic than Mike from PA does. And that goes a long way in an insult fight. Like, who the fuck cares about Kara Eastman at this point? These two have been insulting each other's dicks. And then you come in with, like, a calculator and go, Actually, my dick is 15.5 millimeters longer than yours, or whatever. And there's nothing I can do. Hey, do you know who uh, Roderick Alden is? No, I don't know who Roderick is. Who's Roderick? You don't know who fucking <laughs> Roderick is, and you're claiming to give a shit about the Nebraska mayoral race? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, well, you should so look anyway, on that, my the dude. reason why I came to decide to support that candidate against other ones <gasps> oh, shit. is because mm -hmm. they were she was endorsed see. by Carrie Eastman, a candidate who I've been following. Frank, it's very important Frank because Alden? we need to have cases where progressive Whoa! politicians win in swing states who support Medicare Whoa! for all. Because I care deeply about Medicare for all. And I want to yeah, have As opposed to me, a person who never talked about it. I mean, you don't know who Kerry Eastman is, one of the most important progressive races in the entire country. So you probably don't care that much. One of the most important oh progressive God, races. The the I mean, she lost multiple times. Usually I like more. focus on... She uh, lost narrowly because she was betrayed mm -hmm. by her own party. So you think that, that's an important uh, being, thing for so people to know, being right? Aware of her specific like candidacy is the linchpin for whether or not. I mean, a it's just that one of with, many, uh, many, many things that you're lacking in knowledge. Look about. at this. Oh, there are absolutely. I love learning. I learn every day that so I do. So maybe this if stuff, you yeah. sat back and started learning instead of flapping your gums all the time. It would be well, less cringe. I, I learn, well, hold on. I learn by talking because talking is how I do my stream. And doing my stream helps me come to grips with certain issues. Okay. Do you understand how that works? Yeah. You need to spend more time listening, though, before flapping the gums. Interesting. I mean, that's kind of, that's yes. what I would say in response to, like, Amazing the clips that Sater. I got shown of you. Because you lied openly about, like, multiple components of our interactions. But you talked, like, for 12 minutes about nothing. Okay, what did I lie about? We're, uh, sure. The the idea that you challenged me nah, in like DMs. Dog, I don't know if you're a 12 year old girl on MySpace or what. Those were not Wait, challenges. do you want me to insult you? Are you five? You weren't challenging me on I said, anything. I said, you sa I said multiple. I showed the whole DMs. Everyone can go. I said, you yeah, said, said things that were false too. about anyway, me on your stream. Posh, Bring me DMs on your stream. Do you want to chat? Now, do you, I don't know what you do when you, quote, wait, you challenge wait, people. You backed out three times. There were three distinct times where I made an opening for you. The first time you didn't respond in time. The second time you weren't available on that day. And the third time, it was kind of both of us. We just petered out. There wasn't a single point in the entirety of those DMs where you challenged uh, me. We went over them, too. I sometimes but you forget, said you challenged I sometimes me like forget you're 20. I sometimes forget you're like 20. the idea that you're trying to convince your audience that you're 425. DMs like, yeah, muscle up, Vosh. When in reality, you act the same way everybody <laughs> else does to yeah, me. Up, you Vosh. posture in public, but in private, you want my approval because you get at my audience, okay? It's the same way every other grifty weasel fuck like you operates. What? You're really nice and- Outcomes that damages the capitalist structure and not the working class should be normalized to the extreme. From strikes to quote unquote severe direct action in Spyro. Yeah, I do believe that the time has come for mass strikes. I believe that for a long time. We need to get a, we need to get serious this year, everybody. Let's continue. Thank you very much, Adam Flores. Thank you so much.
private because it might get you more conversations with me. And you're getting what you want right now, too, by the way. I get exactly what I want what because want. everybody got I, I, I lost my patience. I'm getting owned you. epically right now. I mean, I don't care if you think you're getting owned epically or not. You're fucking oh, you just admitted you, you don't know that. shit about Omaha. And off the top of my head, I ran. I can no, explain you're right. I don't to you. Omaha oh, well, you, you had a thesis that my interest in Omaha and Nebraska is just based on my <gasps> spite of destiny. Wait and then a I second. Is Mike from PA using selective muting? Yes, welcome Gina. Welcome to hell. Listen to him. He's cutting out. That's so weird. Listen. Explain to you how you missed one of the most important congressional races, and then you decided to say it wasn't that important, but it actually was important because for I us when I to get Medicare for all done, we need more Congress yeah, look, members who support you. The Bosch is getting muted whenever Mike is talking. That's fucking weird. Oh, the video is off. Oh, okay. So it's the video. Okay, never mind. She's now a good candidate. By the Mark Gutchell campaign. She, yeah, yeah. She's a good candidate because she has the support no, of Kara Eastman. Okay, she has okay, the support okay. of labor unions. Stuff False that I look alarm. for. And then she talked about policies that are very important to False me. Alarm. Like civilian mm -hmm. review boards. Openly supporting Black Lives Dude, Matter. You, you which I know you it. don't because you love Destiny saying that they should mow down dipshit protesters. Right? Wait, you okay, do this part right here is one area where Mike really fucked up. Mike really fucked up here. Damn, Gina. Damn. This is where Mike fucked up really bad because he didn't realize that Vosh and Destiny had a massive falling out over the... Uh, over the fucking um, Rittenhouse takes. Wait, wait, hold on. You're doing it again. You realize that we had an argument over that so severe that it led to him being departnered from Twitch and part of the fallout, and his community still hates me for I it. Know. And my community still hates him for it. I know. And when I laughed it. about his departuring and said he deserved it because uh, wait, you know. the bridge literally. You're saying that I liked his position on Bad X, faith, Mike, but the bridge guess, was burned yeah. over X. No, no. Do you, like, okay, think okay. About I, the okay. If, you I, if I misspoke, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Less, if I misspoke, like, I, 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 I'm sorry. Bad look. This right here having to back off in the middle of a of a insult fight is a bad look it might just be rockfin it might just be the video we don't know for sure it is a little weird but yeah having to back out in an insult fight because you fucked up your insult is really embarrassing I misspoke. misspoke. You misspoke, misspoke, Mike, which is basically misspoke. the history you of your entire okay. presence well, online. So this is your attempt at a dunk, but yet you've had nothing no, of you substance. Just that was a dunk. There's nothing of substance wrong. from anything you said in this conversation. And you everybody, just confidently and everybody lied. knows it, Vouch. Nothing of substance comes out of your mouth. You if came you in here and postured through... and tried to threaten me, threaten me, and I laughed in your you. fucking fat face because threaten a jog, you. Around, oh, a jog around your apartment face. building would knock you out. I would put you over with a feather. Dude! This is what I was talking about when I was doing this thing earlier when I was going You're fat! You're, you have a small dick! Remember when I was doing that earlier? One of you better have clipped that because this is what I this is what I was talking about This is the thing that's cringy. Whoa, oh, dude, I would deck you! Dude, dude, I would deck you! Um, what are you- wait, wait, so, wait, unironically, what are you talking about right now? Did you- are you- are you- do you have a bad memory? Wait, how did I threaten you? What are we- what? You literally we said, this one. where do you live? I'm going to come one. and get you. I said, you you were being weird <laughs> about sexual harassment. And then I said, where are you one. at? Maybe we could come over. Like, it was it was like a joke, like a flirty. But you were the one who unironically talked about being able to beat me up. Are you trying to, I, like, do what? the keyboard warrior reverse psychology on me? <laughs> what? No, I didn't. You just did it. You postured again. <laughs> yeah, this is not, he did, though. He did I was just making away. fun of you. I want to get that. the stats down. Hold on. Can we get like a height comparison? You looked about six, seven inches shorter than Bad Bunny in that clip. Let me see if I can. Um. Uh, oh my God! Wait, are you still? Wait, what do you think can... that clip was? Since you, you're holding on to it like Destiny's embarrassing. Beauty. What was it? What was it? Oh! What was I doing? Wait, how tall are you? How? That's a fucking. I'm, wait, I'm you one inch fucking taller me. than Destiny. Just... What do you think that clip was? Embarrassing. Oh God! I'm one inch taller. Come I, on. I, what I, are the, what... I'm one inch taller than Destiny, which should be enough for you, right? That'll make you more sub servile well, right nuts, well, i don't nuts, even know how nuts, nuts nuts to be fair mike just called mike just called vosh fat and and it wasn't funny he was like you're fat you're fat and vosh got a sneaky 
well-constructed height shaming thing. So, I don't know. I think Vosh is coming out on top here. Like, this is the thing. When you walk into a room, you're like, I could beat you up in real life. You, you sound very pathetic. It is not cool. It doesn't sound good. And I will say Vosh is not de-escalating, but does he have to at this point? Does he have to? Like, this is a fight. This is a fight, guys. This is blood sports. Now, once the gloves have come off, you go for it. This is this is actual blood sports, and I'm here for it. Let's keep watching. All destiny is it ranges from five two to five seven, depending on who's talking. So wait, are you like five three? Are you five eight? <laughs> Holy fucking shit, dude! Listen to yourself. Listen wait, to yourself. You're the one who talked about fighting me. Listen I'm just to trying yourself. to get the stuff down. Wait, Listen how much to yourself. Do you weigh? What weight class are you in? Hold on, boxing weight classes. I actually don't know. I I never paid attention. Well, to I think you're a boxing. super heavyweight, no matter what it is. That's that is such a bad joke. That isn't funny. Like that's not funny. That's not a funny joke. That isn't funny. Like that's the thing. Like you could insult someone's weight and be funny, but that isn't funny. It's not well constructed. It was just cringy. You can call listen I know it's not nice to call someone fat, but you can be fat. You can, I mean, wait a second. You can call someone fat in a funny way. You can call someone fat in a funny way. But, but just being like, huh, no matter what, you'd be, you'd be extra fat. You would be in the big one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what weight class I'm in, but you're in the fat one. <laughs> oh, did you, Jaunty? Let me check and see what you got me. What you got me, Jaunty? <gasps> yes! Actually, this is amazing. I must have it. Yes, I must have this one. It must add the screen. Doo doo. Doo doo fart. There we go. We have it. We have the final one. The last one. Sorry, I know we keep revising, but who cares? Yes, yes! Wait, here, we'll put this over here. There we go. I might be, hold on, let's see. Super feather, no wait, hold on. Uh, he no, super <laughs> heavyweight isn't the boxing category. It's just heavyweight, which is over 200 Welcome, pounds. Panda which, yeah, Atlas. Over 200 pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome, yeah. Panda Atlas. We are losing our minds watching a blood sports debate, and we are having fun with it, okay? Um, I don't know. That's complicated, Adam. I'll try to answer that afterwards. Adam, I'll try to after that answer that afterwards. Let's continue. I'll, I'll I'll save this one and we'll try to answer afterwards. So you know, people take, typically say super heavyweight. Thank you, when someone is I'm like hoping much, you're, I'm hoping everyone's than enjoying the it. Requirement of the it's class. just really odd to me that you're like obsessed with like making fat jokes when you look the way you do. It's very interesting to me that that's the road that you would go no, down. No, you went down I mean, physical. You went to the physicality place because you have nothing of substance to say about my politics, wait, any of the how arguments did I, go I to say. The physicality place. You you started. You with realize it, you man. jumped in that first, right? Absolutely not. You said I was wait, rat faced. Wait, guys, you said wait, rat faced. You said rat faced. You said I. No, actually, it was it was actually Mike who did who went down the insult route first. This we have verified now. So all all other things aside, Mike did call Vosh a dickless rat fuck who didn't know his ass from a hole in the ground before anything else. That was what happened first. Fringe with Bad Bunny. Then when I asked you what was going on, you just said embarrassing because you have nothing. You're posturing oh, for your the audience. Small bussy thing. Wait, so actually, Mike went way hard. It's being with chat right now. Wait, who started? Wait, who started that? This is the pathetic. The bussy comment dude. was definitely first. Yeah, you were making comments about my dick. You were saying I was dickless first. That's like body shaming, right? 
Oh my god. Yeah, you He's started actually... it for sure. Yeah. Wait, wait. Okay, Val. Holy fuck. Dude. Wait, wait. Did you not? Holy yeah, you definitely did. Fuck, dude. This is this is your content, man. Well, no, dude. This is your content, Mike. Mike, this is your content. What do you mean? What do you mean this is your content? You were doing this on your stream before Vosh even had you on. What do you mean, dude? Embarrassing. Man. Yeah, bringing not Dunk covering, not covering, not co not covering Kara Eastman's very important Medicare for all Lord. race, but talking about <laughs> about <laughs> whether or not someone was body shaming you or not after you called when them you... rat faced. You little, you're a little <laughs> weasel, man. Watch out when you go to Pennsylvania, this motherfucker might roll up, deck you out. <laughs> man, that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to, I'm here to beat you up, Vouch. Okay, and the worst thing about this, I'm sorry, listen, I hate to be all, like, comedy critic here, but the worst part about this is that Mike did do that. He did say that he could beat you up. He did say that. <laughs> Are you ready to Dude, talk substance yet? Are you ready to talk he substance knows, he knows yet? He's been roasted. Why would you Are you keyboard ready to... warrior me and then complain that I'm making fun of you for it? What he kind of beta got, shit is that? Just own the know. fact that you're like... There's no way he doesn't know he got burned here. There's no way. Like, cringe soy face dude who postures online and pretends to be an alpha what? male. What? Alpha males aren't real, Vouch. You literally brag about alpha being an alpha male. Alpha males are not real, dude. What is with your brain? That's my argument, That's Mike. my argument, dummy. Damn. Oh, he's calling by the way, breaking out the big not ones. Bad, but... Breaking out the big insults. You dummy. Not alphas. Get it right. Hey, don't fucking appropriate my culture, okay? I'm a sick nah. man. Right, you're an Omega <laughs> well, 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 that's right. Tacoma wept. I'm sorry. I didn't oh, let me to... check. Let me check God that damn one. Right they did. Sadis, there was a, there was the one a fucking thing you're, the one thing you're good about. The one thing you're good about is getting Put my dick in the here. obituary in, right. in, in Tacoma, okay? Oh, because man. that shit was dead to them. Okay. Yeah. It's okay, rough out okay, here okay, in COVID-19. I have a question for you. Is this is this the conversation you want to have in your content? Is this it? I'm sorry. What about you, dude? If I wanted to have a conversation about politics, I would not bring on known genius. Mike, Mike from is not going to be have that what was it? What, well, okay, this is then too you should fun. have an easy time telling me all the bad takes I've had. Thank you, Posadas John. Wait, that wasn't my criticism oh, of wait, you when I'm I was going over your thing. Oh, wait, 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 no, I, I did, wait. Did you watch part of my stream? I was actually pretty specific in my issues with you. Okay, the go issue ahead. is I actually agree with most of the political prescriptions. That you, you just think I'm I mean, bad at it. I yeah. So, here's the thing. Actually, there's nothing. There is nothing. Listen, I I'm sorry. I think I'm You're, bad at no, no, no. Which is I, purely no, subjective, of course. No, I didn't say that either. Well, there's an element of subjectivity. And by the way, when I went on, see, critic. the thing is, when I went on uh, the hippy yeah, dippy with you. Yet. When we got on the hippie mm -hmm. debut with you, you didn't have anything to say negative yeah, about it. Yeah, because I was generally pretty fine. I think you did great in the hippie dippy. Oh, yeah, okay. So I'm not cringe in that one when you had a chance no, that to is challenge correct. me. You were not cringe in that one. Okay, there you go. I don't All know right. why you're like saying this like some own. I'm not a. Well, a the dogmatist, point is, like, you know? you're literally just throwing out worthless rhetoric that is not based in reality. Okay. So anyway, the actual criticisms that I okay, levied, here we go. it wasn't that your political prescriptions are super bad because I'm a socialist and I'm going to agree with most of what you say. Except um, minimum wage or rent control. Those are your kind of iffy on. Oh, sorry. Wait, hold on. I unplugged my, my earbuds. No problem. Um, wait, what, what, what's your position on minimum wage? I think you said something to the effect that a $25 minimum wage was economically illiterate and would destroy the economy, which is just not okay, based yeah, on okay, any science. Yes. Well, never, wait, we don't have to talk about it. Yes, that is. Thank so you, you for are... summarizing my correct position. Okay. So, um, wait, wait. So you believe, okay, yeah, that's, yeah. you believe that's true, that a $25 minimum wage would destroy the U.S. economy? I, I don't. I would have to lay so much groundwork to explain to you how we can't just do a $25 an hour minimum wage. I, I am in much the more read on the, on the literature than you are on minimum wage. I guarantee I'll it. keep that in mind. But can we focus <laughs> on the thing that I actually... So the, okay, the actual well, criticism I'm waiting for you to you, have a criticism. That's well, not... you keep interrupting. The, the point is, it's not about the positions. <laughs> it's the fact that you're insecure and you posture constantly with everyone you talk to, you condescend your, I mean, to put it lightly, oh and this God, sounds like frivolous, yeah. like kind of a weak criticism, I know but we do, you're Adam. an asshole. Isn't it great? Not in like the truth teller As opposed to you, Rick as Sanchez. opposed to you, you're, you're a nice guy. By the way, if you're loving this wild stream in which we very seriously review this debate, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell 
and press the like button. Seriously, it would mean the world to me. And you can catch my future streams, which I promise you, my streams are always this awesome. They're not, they don't always look exactly like this. They're, but they are awesome. It is true. And, and the chat in the middle of the screen is definitely proof of that. Anyway, let's continue. Well, Everybody, uh, right? well, actually, I generally think that I'm pretty good to people for the most part. In spite of my bad reputation, Wait, I do Wait, you're saying you don't want to platform me because I'm an asshole? You're a Destiny no, 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 no. fan wait, for wait. 10 years. What? Wait, hold on. He's I didn't smaller say I didn't than me and more of an asshole hold than me. On. And he's your hold parasocial on. daddy. You keep jumping ahead. I didn't say I didn't want to platform you. Okay, listen. Again, I'm going to do it again in one night. I'm sorry, but Destiny is funnier than Mike from PA. I don't, I think that Mike from PA has better politics than Destiny, but Destiny, and I can say this as someone who has debated with Destiny, and like I literally went 1v1 versus Destiny, Destiny is funnier than Mike from PA by like a long shot. And actually that's all I can say because I haven't had an argument with De with Mike from PA maybe I will someday we'll see you because you're an asshole I platform maybe assholes not. all the time okay let's just move it through one point at a time okay, okay. Oh, you're not like the Rick Sanchez yeah. truth teller kind of asshole it's more like the um no actually TMG gamer I don't agree with you on that um I think sometimes he does but I do think destiny is funny at times he used to be way funnier I think destiny used to be much funnier um if you go back and watch destiny's um older content he's very funny and he was funny in the conversation with me we were both we we were both pretty funny now the second conversation he had with me he sounded like mike from pa and there's a reason for that because he was losing his shit and it was obvious but in the first one yeah I'm trying to think of an appropriate tv show character like um I don't know, just like a like a bad person. Oh like yeah, it was a meltdown. That's my main De De thing. I have um, hangups it... like. Oh, God, this well, is so you're boring. You're incredibly dude. insecure, and you posture masculinity all the time. That what? desperate, like alpha male shtick that you try to pull off constantly. This I have is some fucking ironic. The TTS do donations, by the way. You... TTS donations are on, and guess what? I'm even gonna crank them up. So if you want to do right now, is your opportunity to spam the stream with unbelievable noise. You can make it go crazy right now. I've even turned them up in volume. So there you go. I don't think, I don't know if I can base boost them. Can I? Can I? Yes, I can. I think I can. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to base boost the, f hold on. I'm going to base boost them. Hold on a second. Where is it here? Um, oh, actually, I don't know if I can. Wait, yes, I can. Hold on. This one is going to be base boost. Hold on a second. It is. Ah, shit. This one doesn't work. Wait a second. Here we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. Oh, I don't remember how to do this. Nah, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't get the base boosting working right now because I don't have a working equalizer. Okay, who cares? Anyway, at least you'll be able to hear the, the alerts. You actually think that I believe there's alpha males or that masculinity is important. Obviously, everybody who looks at me knows that I can't possibly think that. Dickless. I got my tier one, so now I need to make my Yeah! Donut. Thanks for being a stable point for my mind to decompress with while studying sociological issues. You're very welcome. Definitely, definitely stable streamer, Demon Mama. Absolutely the most what? stable around. What? 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 That? That one? Or people not being a man, if you didn't have those values Thank internalized, you. at least somewhat. This is mind wave <laughs> shit from 15 there. months ago, Whoa. where I said he shouldn't be a do, man. What way. I meant was, be an adult, stand up for what you believe, you don't be it. a weasel. You and then you guys quoted it. Ago. 
Oh Didn't you just God. do it in this conversation? Holy Wait, chat. I didn't was realize I was talking to somebody who was so. It, I mean, I thought, that, I thought I was talking to the tactical <laughs> N-word guy. I didn't realize you were going to be so. You were going to be so fragile about about there sexism. There it is, Steve. So what happens there is you actually have a lot of really weird toxic masculinity built up in you. But when people call it out, you go, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a feminist. By the way, didn't realize you were such a pussy. It's actually a really good gaslighting tactic. But thankfully, I'm not as stupid as your audience, so it's really, really odd. Okay, 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 okay. You know what, Vosh? You know what? Listen, you're right. <laughs> so that's we should the main work. Reason. No, 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 no. You're right. We should work on not <laughs> doing this kind of posturing, talking about weight classes and and, and rat stuff jam, like that. Something. Rat you're right. Jam, no, no, that's jam, bad. Jam, that's bad. That's something you definitely don't do. Tacoma Web. But you're right. You know what? In the future, we should. You do know the joke in Tacoma Web was had nothing to do with like body shaming, right? No, the joke was that you were so much of a of a lady killer. That the moment you well, are well, off the and, market, wait, and, the moment you are off the market, yeah, market it, that's, that's what I'm here for. Boy and MB, that, include, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Smart. I didn't mean to yeah. leave anything out from your very, yeah. uh, your, your proclivities. <laughs> My um, undiscerning taste. Yes. Rat jam, yeah, 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 yeah. Rat jam, I think there was something else about like bestiality in there somewhere, right? With the, anyway, I don't want to drag no, up all drama. It, no, no, I don't want to drag up all drama. It's not, I have the virility of a stallion and people ran with it, you know? No, I thought you were sending the unsolicited bestiality pictures of people. Maybe I'm misremembering. No. Oh my okay. god. Yeah, you're definitely misremembering. I don't know. Oh, shit, this one. Over the DMs again. Um, what a fucking weaselly little wire dude. Holy shit, dude. Holy fucking shit, dude. Literally lying, still lying. I mean, true, he is. This was another big fuck up. This was another huge fuck up. <laughs> oh no, the sevens. Doing two major CS assignments during this killer <laughs> that's, that's a That's a couple uh, runs from, from, from reality right there. Thank you, Speed 231. Thank you very much, Nuts. I am too toxically masculine and insecure about that. No, no, no. It's the, the, that mas that toxic masculinity leads you to posture in a really weird and like aggressive way. And I think that because, I, and I know what's going to happen after this conversation, which should probably end soon because we were never going to talk about this. What's probably going to happen is that I'm only going to think of you when chat brings me up but you're going to rail against me <laughs> for the rest of your life it'll be like one Thank of the you. dying words in your lips if your family John surrounds you with what he did it he John did it madden. john madden <laughs> what? john madden john madden john madden john madden john madden john madden ew I you, I you, I you. he did the what listen he just stole it he stole the the fake version of me He's stealing my meme. Classes and 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 stuff like that. Something. You're right. No, no, that's bad. That's bad. That's something you definitely don't do. Uh, Tacoma wept. Um, but mm -hmm. you're right. You know what? In the future, we Wait, should. You do all know the work. joke in Tacoma wept was had nothing to do with like body shaming, right? No, the joke was that you were so much of a of a, a lady killer. Thank you, that Brim. the moment you well, were well, off the and market, and, the moment you were off the meat market, Hope that's when and boy and envy. Well, that that include, mother. please. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yeah. leave anything out from your very. I'm loving it, Sama. I'm loving discerning taste. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there was something else about like bestiality in there somewhere, right? With the anyway, I don't want to drink. It's not of the virility of a stallion, and people ran with it, you know? No, I thought you were sending my the laugh, unsolicited police yachty pictures of people. Maybe I missed Oh, nice. my God. Yeah, my you're definitely you, misremembering that. I don't know. Holy I, somebody shit. will have to go over the DMs again. And thank again. you, Brim. Um, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a couple um, running from reality right there. Someone will have to go over the DMs again. So, okay. So you think that I am too toxically masculine and insecure about that. No, no, no. It's the, the that mask that toxic masculinity leads you to posture in a really weird and like <laughs> aggressive way. And I oh, think no. that because I, and mute. I know what's going to happen after this conversation, which should probably end soon because we were never going to talk politics. What's probably going to happen is that I'm only going to think of you when chat brings me up, but you're going to rail against me for the rest of your life. It'll be like one of the dying what? words in your lips if your family what? surrounds you. Six, what? Two, nine hundred sixty nine three six hundred ninety six duo decillion nine hundred. 169 and decillion 696 decillion 969 no nillion 696 no octillion 969 what's a no nillion septillion 696 i didn't even know there was such a thing as a no nillion 69 quintillion 696 quadrillion 969 trillion 696 thank you artemis billion 969 million 696969 
Mike Bad Vosh Rad 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 Mike Bad Mike Bad Vosh You are a fucking you're a YouTube guy. Once I once I figure out how bill streaming works, we'll get back in there. I like how you had to add to Twitch by the way, which you by the way did not initially want to put in there. That was a a quick save at the end, but you know, I'd say I no, have no, some. No, no, I think you're very good at. Let no, I, I want to. I want to compliment you. I think you're very good at branding and the. You got it, Gina. Your request um, is my command. You definitely done a good job. You definitely done a good job with that. Um, I don't think there's much substance to what you have to say. I don't think you know mm -hmm. very much. It's at least I think you're very you. insecure about that knowledge being exposed, which is really the reason why you Wait, and what, Destiny what are both knowledge? frightened to talk about issues and want to talk about me personally. You want to Wait, do an ad hom. About... You want to talk about. You want to bring up a clip that's not even like a thing that has anything to do with me hitting on Dude, someone. Dude, dog, you was... brought up four-year-old Discord drama and Tacoma you, Web. You started okay. off, wait, wait, you started it off, dude, by playing that clip on your stream, you little weasel rat. Don't, that, um, don't like try to pretend like, like you, you started this conversation directly, in good faith. Like, oh, like, you know what? We, we fired shots Strange. at each other, but oh, here, oh, let's, let's have a conversation. You me dickless. I said, like, I think Mike was spiteful. You know, we shouldn't do that. And then you were like, Vosh is this dickless, weasley fuck. I mean, come on. We're talking well poisoning, all right? You've got way you more well empty You well poisoned me like hand. 10 fucking you times, well including me? playing what every single I'm Destiny. Gonna... What are these weasley debate tactics? Well, you well poisoned me. Defenestrator, thank you. Snake! What the fuck is that? I don't know. You tell me. Attack. Exceptionally kind to you. If I had been, by the Somebody's way, if I had been entirely forthcoming, I wouldn't have even pretended from the onset because, and this is, and this, by I've the way, this well could be my poisoned. fault. I genuinely do think that everyone should be given the opportunity oh, to disappoint well. me personally. So the it's fact that you poisoned. responded to the criticism that I levied in my video, which was again, very, very light. I think it was pretty polite, you <laughs> know, well-meaning by raging at me for 12 minutes, calling I've me a dickless Weasley fuck, and then lying and saying that spite wasn't the reason why you donated $250 to a random opposition candidate in a city in Nebraska. I mean- Okay, you keep okay, saying you've... random when I just explained it. For the... You've been Can given does... a chance okay, to disappoint. Uh... He does look like pro-Jared. He looks like pro-Jared if pro-Jared could grow at least the, the shade of a mustache. That's true, that's yeah. true, like, true. Oh man, There's a gosh, everyone's in my well. weeping, disappointing Vouch. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, sure. Here's the thing, dude. Woo! Like, you have isolated 30, uh, yourself. You've isolated from uh, yourself from people that aren't sick of fans. You're creating something, something similar to you hear me, Major your, your parasocial you daddy. Me, Major Tom, and you hear me, I tried, because, you, you know, I have actual bridges. I can hear you, Major Tom. You don't. I can hear you, Major Tom. And you Tom. are a bigger creator on YouTube. Thank Congratulations. You. you have that community. Thank you. Uh, it's a shame it's really that you've decided that you've decided to adopt the same enemies as Destiny when the motherfucker is Dude, will that's not true. the moment he can. Wait, wait, hold on. I am proof that that is not true because Destiny has made me an enemy and Vosh has not made me an enemy. And let's be real. With my l numbers lately, I ain't just some random streamer anymore. Well, I am still just some random streamer, but I'm a 300 viewer Andy, baby. Wait, really? I didn't know Pro Jared grew facial hair. That's disturbing. Anyway, let's continue. And I think that's um, sad, dude. If if you think that I have adopted the same enemies as Destiny, the then proof you is in the our DMs. When our DMs, with. when you attacked Atlanta DSA and said that they were the reason the American socialist left is failing because they called Destiny a fascist because no, he, they called I, him a Nazi. Okay, they called True, him a Nazi. True, they did call him a Nazi. Sorry. Yeah, I'd say uh, that's a pretty bad tendency. Wait, I had a problem now, with this too. Well, say, remember? Remember again in my drama mama? I had a problem with that. Calling him a Nazi was not a good move, especially for a political organization. It just wasn't. I'm sorry. Look, I don't like him. I don't like Destiny either. But it's true. Trans when you say that, creator. when you say that white redneck, you give your blessing. Excuse me, I don't want to misquote. I, he said, I give my blessing. Wait, hold on. Do you think I defend yes. anything? Then why were you rushing to attack Atlanta DSA, dude? Why were you rushing to attack Atlanta DSA? Because he isn't a Nazi. And so he's not, what? When he called me a tanky, where were you? You didn't rush to say, oh, you know, Mike, I don't like him, but he's not a tanky, Destiny. Wait, wait. So first of all, I'm not responsible. Wait, first of all. 
First of all, I'm not. Uh, yeah, definitely uh, goddess trans Destiny's girl. dad. I don't know Pepe why. Goes. But yeah, you're rushing to his defense. His like, his, like. Uh, so what? first of all, he called you a tanky. That whole engagement oh, no. when I was barely a content creator. Second of all, it's really fucking weird that to counter it's an argument so that I'm making today, you would bring so up picky. an argument somebody else made a year ago. Second of all, or well, yeah, that's all, because you're involving yourself enough. in Destiny's personal squabbles. Like, you, I, like, why? No, why do you care? Just why do you care, dude? Because I also get called a not. Nazi by the type What does of Destiny have to do with you? Call. You're not I'm connected. I'm You're not connected, it dude. I'm it's not your it he's you. not your dad. You he's we, not you. Good? You're not connected. I'm just trying to so break your try, parasocial I'll, attachment. I'll try to, I'm trying to help you. Are you are the one who keeps you realize you're the one who keeps bringing him up in this conversation. Almost every time he's been brought up, it's been you. I'm not the one with him on my mind. You okay? brought him up because you commented on me responding to him. You got involved in this and said that. I spit on lefties who do things for spite. By the way, Mike from PA donated to this candidate. I'll talk about her later. Oh, I didn't talk about her, actually. Wait, There's no, I, I, I did, didn't though. look I into any it. reason why someone might support her other than spite. If she was a really bad candidate, I wouldn't have you supported keep her. You trying to sell this this fantasy that spite wasn't involved. I don't care. You, I, I didn't. It. You're not backing off you're, that you're point. Now, you're so now straw man. I said that. I'm going to try to finish, this, to finish oh this point. Wow, okay. thank you, Sarge. So, so, go on. I don't mind it that God. much if content creators call oh. Destiny a Nazi. Wait, hold on. Because content creators, as we should. What? There you go. We both know our frivolous Goblin, dipshits. Bob, Boglin, Me and you included. Boglin, we are all Boglin, spicy Boglin, internet drama Goblin, lords, Goblin, okay? Boblin, but the DSA Goblin, Goblin, is supposed to be an organization. Goblin, Goblin, it's supposed to be uh, Goblin, 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 something with a little bit more reputability. What would you... Okay, so can you tell me about your socialist Goblin, organizing Goblin, experience? Goblin, Goblin, tell me your socialist Goblin, organizing Goblin, experience so you can tell me why you are the judge. What does that have to do with the point I'm trying to make? Okay, go on. I mean, yeah, we'll talk about it after. We'll do the conclusion at the end. Don't worry, Paint Okay, so hold on. Don't worry. So... Um, I think that organization should be held to a slightly higher standard. Maybe, and also, TMG. in my personal experience, I get called a Nazi by a lot of people on the online left, usually because have they have I a very you a inaccurate... Nazi? No, and that has nothing to do have with what I, we're talking have... about. Okay, Thank you, Fawn. So yeah. you're talking about why, fantasy why you people keep jumping in with like, But you like, just said it was on. bad to bring up other people's arguments that have nothing to do with us. No, I'm, I'm, just, just, I'm, I'm just, specifically I'm just, oh. talking about other people on the left. You can hear, listen to the words, please. I'm arranging them in an order oh, for a purpose. Oh shit. Go ahead. I get called Thank you, a Nazi by other people online. Usually it's because they make very frivolous, very poor faith accusations based on minimal evidence. Cheeky, and the fact of the matter is, and I know this. So you say that was minimal it. evidence oh. when they did it about Destiny? I don't know if that was correct. I, mean, are you I, don't think anybody, I don't think anybody with even a passing familiarity with Destiny's content could accurately and fairly call him a Nazi. You could call him a lot of negative things, which I think would be fair, but I do not think okay, you could call him a Nazi. Okay, if you saw a video of someone, can we, can we and kindly, you, you Google them and you found out they got banned from Twitch God. for 30 days for using the F. Slur. Welcome, Lily. The other big Welcome uh, drama hell. they were in is Mike. they got departed for arguing that they gave their blessing to white redneck militia, the Modown dipshit did protesters. And what do you think people it's crazy Mike? to say that's Nazi-like? Okay, and what if people found out that they gave their blessing to white redneck militia, the Modown dipshit protesters? Like, and what if people found clips of me? There are plenty of clips online which paint a very <laughs> inaccurate picture of my beliefs. Did I not might promise lead you? Those same but types why would you deliver you safely across sticks and correcting I'm really, I'm for trying, destiny? I am desperately it doesn't make any I feel sense. like I'm explaining you still like, haven't connected something to it. a kid. You still haven't connected I, it. I lit, you're interrupting me every 10 seconds, Mike. Just you're trying on. alpha Mike posturing right now. Let me finish okay, the point. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it. hippie punch. That's what I think. It is true for. that that clip of Destiny looks, comma, and, and hello, is my wife. very bad. Hello, there hippie punch wife. There are also clips of mine my that wife. look and hippie are punch very wife. bad. But if you look at the totality of my content, I don't think anyone could reasonably call me a Nazi. Six, six, I am opposed to organizations six, six, like the DSA making snap calls six, like my that wife. based on clips like my those. Wife. Because six, I know six, how six, information six, like that six, can be six, cultivated six, six, to paint an inaccurate six, picture six, of a content six, creator. Six, six, which is why six, I can simultaneously six, believe six, that Destiny six, is bad six, on a lot of issues, you, but also six, six, that he should be treated in good faith on those issues. Because if he isn't, I set the precedent that 
I also will not be, and I deal with the consequences of that every day. Does that make sense? So you consider yourself the personal arbiter of, quote, bad faith towards creators, and you're just going around. You're not biased at all from your fandom of Destiny. You are. You're just when going around. When did I say that nah, I'm not biased? Right, when did I say okay. that I am the personal arbiter? I have an opinion, well, and I share it on my Well, you said that social organizations should be held to a higher standard, and then you intervened when oh. Destiny's community was piling on to a small... You're arguing DSA. against sharing opinions right now. You realize that, right? I You're don't arguing think against that the anime concept of calls himself a socialist Whoa. should jump in when Destiny said wow. that the Atlanta DSA doesn't do real wow. organizing. They're a bunch of they're a bunch of white college larks. Wow. They've never they defended Destiny's time. idiotic wow. position Then on that. he sent a whole bunch of a hate mob after these people, which are small little uh, socialists in Atlanta trying to organize first of all, a hostile first of all, fucking I think a hostile that you're overstating that somewhat. And of second of all, this is utterly irrelevant to what I'm saying. It absolutely is 100 percent relevant. That's the, con that's, that's the context of you jumping in with your community and blasting them. And then further, that's you said that dicks. this is sorry, why is there any evidence this is my why, community why, why when you're con when a content creator shits on a group and says they're the reason why socialists in America can't succeed. A people poop is because yeah, I do they don't like destiny. It no, a that's not what I said. On and they said he was a Nazi. Like this. No, I didn't say that. Mike, see, this is what I mean. Are you being stupid right now? I or think are you're you so being stupid to right posturing now. that you can't yeah, actually you. hear the words that I, I'm saying. I'm listening to what you're saying. You're saying that. You if, aren't listening. Uh, 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 you aren't can smart I, can I, enough to understand okay, oh anything God. that I'm saying right now, You say you're against posturing and then you just do it. No, it's this like, isn't on, posturing. Man. Anybody, no, I, I invite it. anybody who's been watching the if past five years. If you do not believe that I am a god tier streamer, point, that I do not have great potential, IQ witness what you, do you see think before that Mike you. Is listening? Do you have thou ever seen if he is listening, a stream that's a lot more worse, maximal by the way, than mine? Because that means he's not smart no, enough to keep okay, up. No, this is why you don't want to do it. Okay, so I'm trying, let me give you a Socratic method here. No, wait, 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 hold on. Let me interrogate what your argument is. Every concept You're interrupting that needs me. to be yes! explained to you. Look at those spinnies. Every concept that needs to be explained to you is minutes off my finite life. And it takes 10 Witness times as long with you as it does with any other human being finite by the minute. Um, of driving a car autonomously. Okay. okay? So, so, so I ask you, is there a final meme you want to run through? I, I mean, so basically, yes, this like is exactly all. what I expected from you. Posturing oh, that's you know baseless it, based on I'm going to set that up. This you weekend. were exposed for. Uh, I give you fire, boom. Yeah, 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 definitely. You you said I that I was the bad. God of I was fire. bad because I was an asshole who does posturing, and then you did nothing but posturing. When I asked you for one specific soundboard. instance of my bad takes, because you said that on your stream, did you not earlier? No. Nope. Oh, you didn't? No, I never criticized your oh, political positions. Okay, okay. I didn't realize you were stupid enough to believe the $25 an hour minimum wage thing, though. So maybe if I had known that at the time, I would have brought that up. But still, on the we whole, I would rather have people who believe the But you don't know what the you fuck you're talking about, man. Then you're average You don't liberal, know what you're you know? fucking talking about. I gotta check in on YouTube about. chat. YouTube and you're chat, very you liberal. You I know you've coping? convinced yourself, or at least YouTube your audience, chat, I hope you're and you have some sort of radical aesthetic, but you don't. You don't have radical politics. You've done no radical... One ad! Well, whatever. It's ad time. That's a mean to notebook. A That's the uh, Acer a Predator you could be a 500 too. powered by the Intel i7 core processor. I'll kick your ass in real life because I'm a hardcore gamer. Gaming hard. We make USAA insurance for renters who make the most of their space and money. That's why we make it easy to cover the stuff you love for as little as 33 Whoa. cents a day. USAA, what you're made of, we're made for. Yes, I did, Payne Sama. Don't you worry. You connect more to your Wi Fi than what ever is this? before. This is three ads in a row? Yeah. What the fuck? That's why we're committed to building you a safer, three. more secure Wi Fi network for every Bullshit. device in the house. <laughs> Xfinity, the future of awesome. Action. Oh, that's your last liberal. chance to save them from me. No, I mean, I, 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 I mean, back I tried to the, back good to the Twitch to politics you, but ad. you think of you think like such a fucking capitalist content creator where you think your audience, like people are going to leech off. Your, dude, I, I talk to people that are larger creators than you all the time. It's not a big deal. Okay? I know. Hmm? Hit that I saw your community like as a community of leftists. Cool, you don't have, of don't people even have trying to learn. And this I thought, you know what? I'm, awesome I'm content not all the time. going to. Well, so subscribe. You know what? I don't think it's that important of a distinction when you're trying to recruit people to the left. <laughs> but when you have content creators like you who who act like they're teaching people when they don't know shit, yeah, that becomes a problem. You know?
that becomes a problem. We haven't even gotten to sewer and, socialism yet. You know, stuff like you not knowing. Wait, important is there a take that races. I've had recently that you um you felt that I was under Welcome back, on? Renegade so Coffee. I don't know, Welcome like, to hell. Um, God, the man. woman you brought up earlier. Wait, you don't want. Wait, then how can you claim that I don't know what I'm talking about? Every time I've seen your content, you've been and when you've been in a major dispute with people on the left, like when you go when you rail against rent control or you yeah, really the, the, the mods have had 25 to do. what's your what's your position on rent control okay so it's the 25 dollar minute in the rent control what's your position on rent control mods, just asking you're doing I mean, great work now unmuting everyone who's spamming chat rent control talks about the purpose of rent control is an oh anti-gentrification measure to okay. protect so, existing incumbent <laughs> um, communities but it in and of itself Brian does not damage. solve housing crisis because there's a supply problem and a demand problem so Wait, that's my position that's, Wait, that's I've advocated for rent control in accordance with government programs to expand housing that, that, initiatives. You have yeah. time and time again railed against people for supporting rent control. No, it's there are allowed. people who ex who support exclusively rent control, which is bad who because is that? that does lead to who is that? There who? are a lot of fantasy um, people. You, 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 ah, you, you contributed to a what is that? Wait, wait, wait. You think, do you think there are people who just support rent control? I had people in, and in my chat. I remember alone, them. Just rent control Welcome and nothing back. else? Um, yes, I think that's a straw fun. man that you made just, up. Just go over the ride. No. We're riding across uh, I mean, the river sticks of cringe. If you want to believe that, then sure. But in every context where I've talked okay, about rent control, Okay, find me the rent control only leftists, and uh, uh, that would be great. What? Why? All you have to do is watch <laughs> my content me. to realize that I share your opinion on this, that rent control is fine as long as you have another initiative to address the supply problem. Okay, so... You didn't know that? No, so I guess it's just the twenty-five dollar an hour minimum uh, wage thing, huh? I know. I which mean, I, apparently you've, you've backpedaled. You've backpedaled on this, which is fine. It's just okay. Wait, what it have I backpedaled? Glad, on? Wait, you, know you I'm, not knowing my position honestly, isn't me backpedaling. Honestly, I am glad that your community got exposed just to a good argument for a change. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh man, dude, that's really effective. All you have to do is lie about a person, and when pussy, they correct pussy, you, you pussy, accuse pussy, them of pussy, backpedaling. Pussy, that's pussy, like pussy, 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 10 times in Thank DMs, you, you did lie about the reason why I argued against well, the no, DSA no, no, about because you, you said it wasn't confronting you because apparently, you actually, dude, apparently we I need to say, what do I need, what do I need, what do I need to type for Go you to say you've been Landrick. challenged? Thanks for coming by, dude, don't forget to sub. We went through my DMs. I'm know, sorry, pain. I'm not dealing with kids here, okay? I'm an adult. I, we went through your DMs on stream. That was some beta shit. If that was challenges, that was some like bottom uwu pleading face shit, okay? You might as well have showed me pictures of your bussy. Maybe next time you want to talk negative with me, actually show up and say something about mm -hmm. it rather than weekly mm -hmm. limp dicking in my fucking dms listen and then complaining on chat that i won't respond okay <laughs> listen to yourself I, again time and time again i have approached you and We're probably I, have good, we? I have tried different strategies to get you to talk about politics Wait, and educate you because i feel like it really would have been important it would really would have been important if your audience had learned about kara eastman instead of supporting some neolib ghoul just because destiny support one moment of silence do we remember do we remember when Vosh said, why don't we talk to Mike for about 10 minutes? Well, look at the time. Supporting them. Wait, I'm sorry. You do real. Wait, you could have helped Gudgel... Carrie Eastman if you cared about Omaha Mark... so much. How is Mark Gudgel a, a, a neoliberal Have you ghoul? read his fucking platform? Yes, I'm It's every single yes, we are, Pete Buttigieg Peterson. clone neoliberal Oh, uh, true, Democrat busy platform. I'm gonna meet with Fortune 500 and 1,000 CEOs. Demon Mama pulled a you know what that means? By adding it means 27 tips. gifts. It means this special debate. tax. Uh, you do wait, 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 wait. You do realize that if you're a mayor, you don't have the ability to like leverage over multinational corporations, but bringing them into your cities can be a massively beneficial. To this is why train, you're not right? a socialist, because when wait, New York, I, I just don't when think you AOC understand was how these opposed to work. when AOC was opposed to Amazon getting special tax treatment. People, yeah, liberals like York. you, attacked her. Yeah, I'll give them Wait, afterwards. Wait, no, I didn't. I supported her because New York oh, doesn't have a brain drain so now problem, you understand dipshit. why it's, it's dumb. New York. Now you understand why it's dumb no, to do that. No, you don't understand these problems. I absolutely do. Do you think that a race to the... This is why problem. you're a neoliberal, because race to the Can bottom politics doesn't work. Oh, I know. Neoliberal I know, Sergeant Race to the bottom we'll politics. You don't think that there's 500 other cities that are going to do the same thing? So I'm going to explain this to you really quickly. Part, this you don't know shit about municipal info. politics. That's why you're stupid. Earlier, now I can give you some What's info. What's a tiff? Okay? 
What's a tiff? Go Google here. it real quick. What's Hold a tiff? On. What's Hold a tiff, Fausch? Oh, What's stupid. a tiff? I'm not letting you get out of being educated on this one, Mike. This is very important if you're going to be a socialist advocate, okay? So the difference here What's a is that Amazon's entrance into AOC's district required provisions What's that would have been detrimental to the city, and New York doesn't have a problem with brain drain because it's one of the biggest cities on the planet. So you support neoliberal Omaha, politics in everywhere but New York. Chat, what the fuck is a tiff? Omaha does have a brain drain That's problem. That's where neoliberal politics yeah, will work. Demon Lords and it's, you know, you know, that's a good idea. Liberal. It's, uh, it's when you privatize when you privatize public services. It's when you focus on market-based solutions panic, rather than public services. And when you and what a typical neoliberal What's a policy would be a miserable would be pile of like fat cells privatizing oh, municipal oh, water systems. I got you. Yeah. Uh, and order, I mean, that would be bad. And by the so, way, question. I lived in a city. You're, I lived in a city where a they mayor. did that exact thing, where we had a mayor that had a platform almost identical to Mark. Now, see, I know what politics this, locally. Mark? I'm explaining something to you because you're wait, wait, dumb wait. and so, you don't know shit what, about what politics. Would you, what would you, you do are fucking the brain ignorant. Brain you don't know anything about politics. I'm trying to explain that to you. Wait, what would you do to solve the brain drain problem? Brain drain problem in Omaha out of curiosity. Okay, the brain drain problem is due to a lack of economic opportunity. And you Which don't you get solve economic opportunity. You don't solve it by Fortune 500 TIFFs and doing exactly what he was talking then, about. How me, do I know that? Because I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen with the it? city. On, Mike wanted on, just the TIFF in this debate. You solve it through sewer socialism. This is another thing you don't know what it is, probably. Just answer. How do you solve it? Social, yes, rats so you have focus 12, on 12 creating the best they have possible the most public services. Rats have the most titties in the entire fund animal education. world. Did you know that? And you provide fun an fact. opportunity for people to maximize their potentialities. You can't control everything by a top-down privatization TIF-based model where you provide oh, wait, you tax incentives. You didn't answer the question. I did. So, I tell you, you the answer is. Brain drain is. It's okay. I'll explain it to brain you. Drain, oh, brain drain. Brain drain. Sorry. All the Literally, who get this is this is why you're a bad content creator because you're a posture. What's a TIF? Mike, this is a learning you opportunity. That's you okay. don't know Hold anything on. about <laughs> politics. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I'm talking to you. Of course, Payne Sama. Okay, yes, Mike, no, we're almost here, okay? So, brain drain. You, is you, you don't like understand like anything about the municipal politics. Duty it's embarrassing. Duty You're no, it's a okay. content we're creator, almost, and there. thousands of people listen to you. Mike, we're so wait, hold on, hold on, hundreds of thousands. Oh my god. So anyway, Mike, <laughs> um, so brain drain hundreds of is thousands. when people will get college degrees in your city or state or country or whatever, they leave because there aren't so that, opportunities. So that didn't happen when Destiny <laughs> left, though. So that wasn't on. technically brain drain then. There aren't um there aren't opportunities for them to get jobs. Well, ironically, in that air though, now that I've seen Mike's video, Mike literally, Mike literally had a pulsing vein in his head. If you don't believe me, let's go back just a tiny bit. How do you go back on this stupid platform? Here we go. On creating the watch, best watch possible right public services, you fund education, when he yells, and you provide an opportunity vein. for people to maximize their potentialities. You can't control everything by a top-down privatization right TIF-based model where you oh, provide wait, you tax incentives. I did. So, I tell you, you the don't answer know what brain is. Drain is. It's okay. I'll explain it to brain you. Drain. Brain drain. Oh is when God. all the Literally, people who get degrees in your city. Literally, this is this is why you're a bad content no, creator. Because you you're a posture. What's a there TIF? It's pulsing. Mike, this is a learning opportunity. That's you okay. don't know anything about politics. It's embarrassing. I'm talking to you. Okay, Mike, no, we're almost here, okay? So, brain Mike, drain Mike, is when people you who don't get, like, understand anything about the politics. It's embarrassing. You're no, it's a content okay. creator. There, and there. thousands it's of people it's listen to you. It's literally bulging. I'm not we're lying. Hold on, it's literally hold on. bulging. Of thousands. So, Did you see that? I'm not kidding you. Did you not see that? It was fucking huge. Dude, that is not healthy. That is not. That is dangerous. Ooh, ooh, bulgy, bulgy. <laughs> Listen, listen, Mike came into this conversation. Have you seen the size of my bulge? Have you seen the size of my my bulge in vain? Anyway, Mike, um, so brain drain is when people who get college degrees in your city or state or country or whatever, they leave because there aren't so that, opportunities. That didn't happen when Destiny them. left, though. So that wasn't on. technically brain What's drain then. There aren't, um, there aren't opportunities for them to get jobs in that area because that area doesn't have like these big like technical um, job availabilities that would accompany them. Looking for bulges in all the wrong places. So how would you solve brain drain? Bulge. Okay, so I want to explain. So this, is, this is embarrassing. Wait, I'm asking you so a really direct question, man. Uh, you are so Thank you, bad Comrade at politics. Sickness. You don't even know that you're speaking neoliberal talking points. Education so first. Answer. This so is basically an Obama's platform, which is, well, if we just right. educate and provide yeah. tax incentives, that's, that'll make uh -oh. America great again.
Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing, dude. It sounds like neolibs have a solution to a problem you're not even capable of understanding. Maybe you should read up some more on the problem. I'm sure oh, that eventually yeah, yeah. You, you're the here. one who knows. You're the one who knows. You're that the one correct. who knows municipal one politics. My, you're the how would you solve brain drain? So Look, how would you solve we brain drain, Mike? Brain drain is a problem due to... I, I, I said it again. I'll slow it down for you. Hold on. Lack of economic opportunity. People leave st states like Pennsylvania Look. or Omaha right Here, now because the there's no economic opportunity. They originally right. immigrated there because of economic pro opportunity. What kind of economic opportunity? Pennsylvania, it was heavy industry. That's Wait, what that's people... not a brain drain. Heavy industry isn't a brain drain problem, Mike. We're talking about college degrees. I'm talking brain about flowing drain. of populations. We're talking about brain this drain. That's what amazing, I'm asking you. Gino. How Holy would you solve shit. that problem, Mike? I can't believe he's this fucking stupid. How I would think... you solve brain drain, Mike? Uh, you're a socialist. No wonder you're an anarcho Bidenist. You were not being you ironic. Can't that's your actual Dude, position. Looks like, uh, looks like neoliberalism beats socialism yet again. It hurts to this see. Stream I mean, this is what like, happens. Uh, the problem the of Soviet population. Union yet wait, wait, again, but the, the problem of population. When you ignore equivalent exchange of, of educated population and try to do stream, yeah, how do you solve leaving. that problem? So your solution is. You. Your solution is. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Wait, I'm asking you. I already answered the question. Oh, shit goes everywhere. You can't solve that problem. to do. Flow. You actually don't this, know. Yes, you this is, an, that this is what you thought whoa, I was kidding whoa. about the infinite regress. This is, is the infinite regress. If you ever want to get socialist answers, you can look to one neoliberal who can answer these questions, or you can look what? to a they dumb fuck the question. Like Here's the thing, Vouch. This is why you keep talking because you, you don't know anything. I do. I do, Yolg. You're a fucking dumbass. Oh, wait. I don't have the website one, but I need to make one. Uh oh. Oh, he hung up. He's actually as dumb as dumber than I thought. You're dumber than I thought! He's actually stupid! Thank you, Lobboy named Troy! Blob dance, blob dance, blob dance, blob, blob dance, dance, blob dance, seven, seven, Bosh seven. is absolutely a neo When seven, I asked him what a tip seven, was, seven, by the way, seven, he, he seven, left seven, because he's a cowardly seven, little bitch. Seven, blob dance, blob Ooh. dance, blob he's dance, a neo -lib. Blob dance, blob dance, Actual neo liberal! Blob dance, blob dance, blob dance, blob dance, blob dance. The, the thing about Vouch is, I can't believe people Yo! actually think he's a real leftist. This is cool. I got to get this Then one. he Hold pivoted on, to brain one. drain. He couldn't answer the question. <laughs> Dude, that is the fakest. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. That is a painful fake laugh. I have laughed more in the past hour than in the past year. No, we have to this see the mic spot. This may not have been productive, but your stream has been Demon Mama. You're the very UD welcome, Ada Stardust. From earlier, plus this have been wonderful. Jokerfied. How ch how the screen became true anarchy. Indeed. Hold on, I gotta get this one. Oh, thank you. NB furry gang uwu. Let me get this one in here. We got to add one more. Here we go. To add one more gift. Thank you so much, Seder. You're amazing. I got to add this one more. Every time I say it's the end, it's not. I have to add just one more. And then we'll continue. You can hear Fawn yelling in the background even. Here we go. We got to add one more here. Where does this one go? This one, it can go on here. Hold on. We will put it here in the center. No, that doesn't look good. We got to put it here. There we go. Oh, yeah, here, I'll give it to you. Here you go. I'll give it to you right now, Gina. I'm putting it in the chat right now. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I got you. I got you covered. Here we go. Here are both of them. Thank you so much, Billy Drill Kill. Let's continue. Mike from PA <laughs> acts like an actual child. Do woo. He couldn't answer a single question. Yeah. Being childish. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do got to do that. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I gotta put that here. Let me let me timestamp it real quick. I gotta put a timestamp in here. What's a timestamp? Timestamp is approximately 
Seven thirty four fifty six. Fifty four. Wait. O seven fifty four thirty six. No. O seven thirty four fifty six. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let's continue. It's bad. It's a meme. What's this? <laughs> how do I even show this? I don't know how to show. <laughs> I can't see it. How do I? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Enjoy. It says GIF enjoyers, GIFs, chatters. More! Oh no, it's gonna hit me! Oh no, it's gonna hit me! I have to ignore the sound! GIF enjoyers. Rando's being confused. GIFs, GIF enjoyers, demon mama. Chatters. More! Precisely. Yes, more! Thank you, Jin. That was amazing. He didn't know who Kerry Eastman was. He doesn't know what a TIFF is. He doesn't know about municipal politics. What's brain drain? How do you solve brain drain? Uh, what you do is you provide tax incentives for Fortune 500 companies. That solves brain drain. Yes, That's why put he jumped that on out okay of the call because he's a fucking idiot. Put that idiot. on okay, buddy. What's a TIFF? It's ta tax increment financing. It's when municipalities create these special zones where people, where uh, co corporations and businesses can fund their own operations using tax revenue. They literally take tax revenue and give it to companies to incentivize them to develop. This is something, no, this is neoliberal politics 101 at the municipal level. People like Vouch don't know shit. Vouch. What a fucking, what a fucking dummy. What an absolute dummy. And I was about to educate him about a city in Pennsylvania called Allentown. They pursued. Okay. I. <sighs> quick, quick, quick poll. Hold on. I got a quick poll. <laughs> Stream chat right now. Stream chat right now. <laughs> Stream chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the game, right? It's the thing where you have to eat with the things that stretch your mouth out. <laughs> what did you come into? Welcome, Rocky. You came into hell. Don't worry. I'll deliver you safely out the other side. Now. <laughs> Listen, I have a quick question for you. Chat, it's a poll. I have a poll for you. Is dummy... A good insult. Yes or no or amaze or the best. Bam. Is dummy a good insult? Oh, oh shit. Oh, we got the best. Oh, number three is in chat. Okay, that means that means we know who won this debate. It means Mike from PA won this debate. That's right. You heard it here on the Very Serious News Network. Demon Mama News. It is the best. Mike from PA uses only the best insults. The best comedy you've ever seen. Delivered to you via this. Well, let's continue. I hear there's a round two. Maybe he'll, maybe he had us in the first half, but maybe Vosh will come back in the second. This exact I mean, policy. right now, I'm, I think Vosh, yes, Cyborg. Everybody, everyone, go visit that link. Go visit that link, you silly geese. Go fly. And guess what? There's a round two. Oh, don't worry. I'll get you that gif. Hold on. Give me a second. I'll get that gif for you. We're going to put it on the screen because it's really funny. That's such a good gif. I'm going to grab it. Don't you worry, Elac. Elac, I'm getting this gif for us to have on stream chat. We're going to have this one. I'm adding another one because it is good. It is too good. It's too good. Gif grumps is what I'm going to call it. Or I'm going to call it more. And it will be more. Indeed. More. Actually, I think I remember what that video is from. Wait, here. I got to put it here. Where's the more? Here's the more. There we go.
here it is. We can put this one right here. Excellent. <gasps> if I flip it, she says doo-doo fart. Doo-doo fart. Here you go. I have to send this one to you. <laughs> nope, I got to add this one. Yep, I, and I have to add one more. I have to add one more. Here we go. This is how I feel about stream right now. Hold on, I'm about to add how I feel about stream right now. Oh, I'm sorry, Ziggy. It's all right, I understand. We're gonna take a break soon. One more. Here we go. Look at this one. This is how you know you're, you found the right stream. How you know you found the right stream. When, when, when you got the, the thumbs up. Here we go. There we go. <sighs> yes, it is. Don't worry. Yes. Okay, let's continue. We must continue. See that this Mark Gugel guy is proposing for Omaha. Tacker, they did a special ta Gugel? Gudgel. Isn't his name Gudgel? Tax zone. In Pennsylvania. And they gave billions of dollars in taxpayer oh money. Oh my god, and it's it so didn't good. work. Look at this. They had somebody who was basically a clone of Mark Gagel as mayor of Allentown. This oh motherfucking god, so dumbass good. knows so little Gina. about municipal politics. I am very well aware of Mark Gagel's platform, and I pinged it immediately as a neoliberal platform. But Vouch doesn't know politics. And when I explained to him that you cannot be expected it, to sol solve brain drain, the answer is it's due to economic War. opportunity. People are going to flow and leave based on economics. They're not, you can't just race to the bottom and all you're gonna do is put Omaha in bad financial position because they've deferred their tax Snips, revenue welcome. to attract welcome a back. company <laughs> and that's it. You're welcome, but he Grand doesn't Dango. know anything about it. Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. What a fucking dummy. Actual dummy. That's all he's got. Actual dummy. Actual dummy. Holy shit. Dummy. You can't You're expect dumb. people to watch You're you dumb. when you scream and constantly put the other guy down. I don't can't even understand your ranting. Trip. You gotta be fucking kidding me, right? Ooh. Vouch came in there and tried to insult me so I would get exercised. And then I made fun of him. You're being more emotional. He's talking calmly, so you're coming off better, even though he's coming off better, even though he's wrong. Okay, good point. Good point. I, oh, that's okay. Old school AJ. Thanks, buddy. I'm sorry, but this feels like this feels a little bit like cope. I'm sorry. It just does. It does. Uh, the only people uh, that win from this Oof. conversation are the right, left infighting, only further distances. Ballistic Bear. How many times no, does somebody have to reach out Listen, to Vouch? The only people who won from this, the only people who won from this debate is the, is the imps. The imps won from this debate, for sure, because it delivered us this moment. Mike is being super dishonest. Voice chest stream is way more honest in the presentation of the issues between both parties. Yeah. Sorry for my poor grandma. I think that's fair, honestly. But we'll talk about that. Don't worry. It gets even worse. Don't worry. How many We're times does somebody done. have to reach out to Vouch? Right now, we are swirling in a, in a patch of calm in the middle of the sticks. But we're not done yet. Because it's about to be rough, rough waters. But don't worry. Stay with me. I'll keep you safe. The boat will not overturn. Stick with me. How many times? He's a fucking little rat. Vouch is a neoliberal. Do we think that's true? I don't think that's true. It was a horribly accurate. inefficient I know, debate. I that's the debate he wanted. To I understand if you don't like Vosh, but it is completely ridiculous to claim that he's a neoliberal. To have. That's the that's debate ridiculous. he wanted to have. That's the debate he wanted to have. 
Rats. Well, if you're ever wondering, why doesn't Hassan talk to Vouch? Remember this. Mike, the problem I saw with that discussion is you were centered on politics. If Vouch was focused on sociological concept, there was a painful interaction to watch because you both stream rolled over one another nonstop in two different directions. What sociological thing was he saying? Hey, blue strings. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that every leftist I know doesn't work with Vouch. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. We are all era needing the candy and the candy is gifts. <laughs> yes, it is. And here comes some more. <laughs> oh, Crime Tango. Thank you, Crime Tango. Holy shit. For the incredibly generous tier one, 10 tier one subs. Yeah. There's audio. By the way, Grime Dango, there's a version of that gif with audio that's distorted and it goes <laughs> I've seen it before. I'll try and find it after this. But we got to continue. But we've encountered a moment of danger. You see, chat, here we are drifting in a sea of unbelievable cacophony of gifts. But among the cacophony of gifts, something was done that we have to listen to real quick. So we're gonna rewind just a second, and I want you to listen closely to what we just heard. Ready? Listen closely. It was a closely. horribly inefficient cringe debate. That's the debate he wanted to have. That's the debate he wanted to have. That's the debate he wanted to have. Well, if you're ever wondering, why doesn't Hassan talk to Vouch? Remember this. Hassan doesn't talk to anybody. Oh, Mike, the problem I saw with that discussion is you were centered on politics and Vouch was Thank you, focused Grand on Dango. sociological concept. There was a painful interaction to watch because you both stream rolled over one another nonstop <laughs> in two different directions. What sociological thing was he saying? Oh, koala. <laughs> hey, blue strings. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that Listen. every leftist I know doesn't work with Vouch. Hear that? <sighs> we'll talk about that after, TMG. We'll talk about that. Ooh, damn. Dude, I just got to say, if you want to be sure... that you're coping. That's the way to show it. How's that, how's that taste? And unfortunately, this part <clears throat> right here lines up with other things that Mike has said in the past about other creators. If Mike doesn't like a creator, Mike wants that creator destroyed from the left. And this is not the first time I've heard him say this. And I don't like that. I don't like it. Even if you don't like another creator, unless you have a very good reason, wanting to drive someone out is a very drastic measure. And specifically saying you are going to pressure every single person that you know not to associate with someone is very weird behavior, okay? That is very weird. Valish is a neolib. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Ne Valish never wanted to build bridges. That's fair. All Castrix. I can tell you is he's just a, debate, a, he's a destiny clone. You know I would. Of course I would. Have I ever chickened out from a debate? Ever? No. I have not. And I would discuss with Mike from PA. And I would tell him my problems, the things I disagree with with him if he wanted to. And I'm sure he would come up with some other bullshit and whatever, but that's okay. I would talk with him. Because here's the thing. We'll talk about this after. We need to finish the debate first. We need to get across the river and then I'll give you my takes. He's the same I'll give you the takes guy. afterwards. Those He's are the, the reward same after guy, the madness. Dude. We must sail through the madness. He was raised Onward. by Destiny Online from Beverly fucking Hills. He's the same guy. Cross the Honestly, sticks. you guys would have should have gotten a moderator because this is a there. huge waste of time. You came off, you came off really poorly. Okay, fair enough. If you Samoski think I came probably, off really poorly, I don't give a shit. Yes, that doo doo fart is a gif. 
it shimmers ever so slightly. You went on politics logic alone, but you debase yourself with childish insults. You could have owned him, but you need to calm down instead of getting worked up. He was the calmer one in this one. Who cares? Who cares if he crazy makes? He's crazy making. It's a abuser thing. You know, when he sexually harasses people, oh he probably God. does crazy making. This is, this is literally, wait a minute. This is literally word for word what I was accused of by destiny. Word for word. What the fuck? This is weird. Is this like, is this like, uh, uh, is this like, is this like when you accidentally become the thing that you hate? On them too. Yeah, and yes, he did. Oh, by the way, um, Grime Dango, one thing we missed in the madness earlier was that he alleged that Vosh sent un, un, um, unsolicited bestiality pictures to someone, which that never happened. Not even close. That is quite a fucking allegation to drop in a conversation. And yes, we'll, we'll get to my takes at the end, but that was a claim that was made. I'm glad to see the vein has he, gone he, down. He insulted me. He brought up the Bad Bunny clip, which was, we were hanging out. I wanted her to turn off her stream because we were about to have dinner with Twitch staff and they didn't want to be on there. And it felt awkward because I was new to Twitch. It was a month in. And that that's what they went, that's what they go to. That's what they go to. This is a motherfucker who sexually harassed people. Oh, and had to apologize for it. True, Gina, this is a dude thank who said you. the N-word openly. This is this is this is that guy. Twisted Gengar, I don't think Mike is a problem. I, I think Mike is a problem mostly mike mostly causes his own problems in this like most what of the problems that mike causes man. is for himself it's obvious you knew each other and it was supposed to be funny god dude no it wasn't dude no it wasn't we watched that we watched that that was not funny she explicitly says in other things that you constantly annoy her. I'm sorry. I don't know what the rest of your relationship is, but that was not like she explicitly states that that is not funny to her. And Vouch talking about beta males and alpha males was cringe as fuck. Holy water. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. His That's out of line. That was out I mean, of line. I apologize. The idea of brain drain. I you apologize. can't just solve brain drain. Brain drain is a dis discussion of something that's happening. Young people leaving Omaha are leaving because of the, the economics of Omaha. No longer support them. And you can't fix that by having a tiff for a Fortune 100 company. The real purpose of that, by the way, I never got to explain why it's bad, is so that Mark Gagel could be hired as a government relations expert and one of those Grand companies Dango, he gives them a tax de ass. deferred deal to. That's why it's bad. Because Mark Gagel is not really a leftist. Dude, who is? As a longtime Vosh viewer, he regularly postures an alpha beta male rhetoric. Well, he said I was too toxic. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. Holy shit. Guggle. Like, Omaha can't solve it. More guggle. What is the solution to brain drain? The solution is to build robust public services, recognize that some people are gonna relocate, populations are gonna flow for where economic <laughs> opportunity is. Not and you need yet, to have Berman a national hands. program We're to still recognize riding that, the you know River what? Six. Pittsburgh and Omaha we just aren't saw gonna what, be as big wait, as they just are confirmed, because- We just not, confirmed that Mike it, Mike from PA is, is promising live on stream, um, uh, live on stream that he will tell everyone to disassociate from Vosh. And there's a second call. It will begin shortly. That's what I was trying to explain to him, but he cut it off because he doesn't understand politics. The beta male was just another subconscious destiny meme. This is what parasocial relations do to you. Wow. Fucking idiot. 
He said you were going to asshole Here a demo we and we're for sure going to call him a pedophile, which you didn't. Vash is kind of jackass. Savvy because I like Vash a lot. I, I'm not going to call him. Why would I call him that shit? Dude, I didn't you accused him? Okay. He's acting like he's like, well, why would I ever call him? <gasps> why would I ever call him a pedophile? Dude, you literally unsubstantiated accused him of sending unsolicited bestiality pics. What the fuck? come in there to be personal That's, i can't how is that to how is that substantially different how is that substantially different from calling somebody a pedophile how is that substantially different dan what makes him tick and his sycophancy of destiny and when the the atlanta dsa conversation he tried to pretend like it had something to do with him can a Vouch fan explain to me how that is not parasocialism in his brain? Parasocialism? That's what we're fighting for, chat. Parasocialism. Well, I called him fat. It's where after everyone called me a believes face, so. everyone believes that the government is their friend. Face. And the and more they the think the government thing. is their friend, so that's both. Those are all the more socialism he, it is. He started it. And then he also said when he the government is everyone's friend, like me. then you get so, paracommunism. I mean, by the way, a lot of women like a bold nose. Dumb fucks like you only have utopic solutions to problems. What was my- Wait, I'm sorry, what? What was that? I, what was- What was that about the- Nose? What? What? A utopic solution. It is. It is, Elac. This one's gonna be golden. Not a fan of the personal attacks, but he really wish he had some substance. He has no substance. And my hair does kind of look like shit right now. Ooh. You're mispronouncing his name? Ooh. What's yeah, you should. Again? Grime Dango, you should stream into the server. What about the challenging thing? What does he expect for you to challenge this to a boxing fight or something? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. By the way, there's a hype train going on, chat. Go ahead and throw some money in the uh, tin true chat we have our own type of of uh we have our own type of hype hype train going on what kind of robust social program so we need to have a recognition that there's going to be population uh adjustment i don't know how so, one I have of no the things idea. that was really exciting about bernie sanders green new deal was that it had programs for people to move so when people lost jobs due to for example uh, fossil fuels industry closing down uh, you would have jobs that would pay help uh, uh, programs that would assist in relocation and job training and some of it is you have to accept that Omaha TTS is just is not going to be as important it's loud too in America in 2025 than it was in 1900 things have changed and it's not a mayor's job to try to fight those forces with fucking neolib policy that end up just nose. shoveling money into the pockets of the rich tts loud tts what is a tit what is a tit this whole solidarity with content creators even if they are fascist is was weird as fuck what are vosh's actual class allegiances the content creator what? Class what is that what is that since when was there solidarity with content creators that are fascists what C citation needed what the fuck is going on? That's what the actual fuck. That's a good point, Kamul. That's grasso. Thank you, Metallica. I appreciate that. I'm so. I, I mean, I'm sad. I'm sad about it because ultimately, I think Vouch could have learned something. No, thank God. I'm not ashamed. Double what do I have to be ashamed of? I've never made takes like this. That's true. True, Grime Dango. It does have some parallels. Oh no, they're copying us. Shit. They're co oh fuck. I'll give my point of view on all of this at the end. Don't down worry. On this we'll get there. Hardcore. Don't worry. I'll deliver my take. He's gonna double down on this hardcore. And Woo. you know, Glenn Greenwald called him a blob, so that was pretty funny. Your answer is to just let Omaha die? No. We all know I said no sewer socialism. Has a if you want me to parasocialist. create a platform for running for Omaha mayor Thank you. to explain Pants socialism, you that's an Thank absurdity. You, boy. Suck you jammies.
Thank you, ya boy Shimoy. Now, wait a second. I've considered something else. What if a parasocialist is somebody who parachutes in and found socialism? I don't know. I mean, I Grime Dango. Unfortunately, I think he. I think he might. Like Glenn Greenwald is in that circle of the uh, class reductionist people, um, like Red Scare, Peter Coffin, uh, Angie Speaks, um, Kelly Zahos, uh, uh, what's his name, Adolf Reed, and I and Mike from PA recently had the whole class reductionism drama it's and and by the way just so you know glenn greenwald literally argued that trump is a socialist glenn greenwald argued that tucker carlson is a socialist G glenn greenwald just wrote an article about how the transes are t are stealing our lost lesbian sisters i'm not kidding you i am not exaggerating this it's fucked I only watch Vasquez. He's pretty good when I it mean, comes to LGBT I should say, stuff. he didn't literally say lost lesbian sisters, but he cited the same statistics that TERFs do and made the same argument. ...and annoying the shit out of conservatives. I agree with a lot of his stuff. He just gets a a big of bad rap compared to a lot of... Uh, no, nah, the bad rap is deserved. <gasps> we got two more gifts? We'll... Oh my it's god. It's literally the mayor's job to address brain drain. My point was... Yep, the this proposed one's going policies on. don't solve brain drain. The proposed policies don't work. All right, we're getting this one on. And we're going to get this one in. Solve brain drain with tax incentives. Omega lol, I'm a socialist, by the way. All right, here we go. Ah, yes, perfect. Indeed, indeed. Here we go. Where did it, where'd it go? Funny part was when he came up to me playing piano at MLG without knowing that I was the mod he disliked back then. It was fucking gold. Desi was part of the 2GD mod ideologues. I don't know what the hell that means. Holy fuck. Imagine having to explain socialism to a supposed socialist content creator when they de defeat defend neoliberalism. Yep. Did I? Yep. At least Vouch didn't start screaming because he kept. Oh, well, there you go. They've got their thing. I yelled at him. I yelled at him, chat. Explain sewer socialism. Sewer socialism is a movement uh, that started in the Midwest where socialist candidates. Um, it's actually there's got a pretty good description of it um, in Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin. It's called Milwaukee sewer socialism. How um, Wisconsin became America's most socialist state. And what they did is they provided high quality, robust public services. So they made their city attractive for people to live in. So you had high quality, they did public works projects like sewers, public housing. Big fan of Vash and he convinced me to vote Biden and I really liked. That is sewer socialism. It's actually one of the most interesting things. Yeah, but and it's what a does shame that, that Vash didn't want to learn. What does that have anything to do? Informed me a million times. You had correct arguments, but the optics of the presentation through Vosh viewers are that's that was the whole entire goal of his. He's not a he's not a socialist, he's not a leftist. Like and I and I hate to say it, but like it is what it is, man. He's DMing me again. Oh okay, what? Ooh, ooh. Okay. <clears throat> I got you, I got you. DM again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sure, what? Hey, can I clarify something? Okay, what do you want? So, wait, I got a, a person in my chat. You can never trust these chatters, you know. Oh, by the way, I heard that you've been, like, clenching your fists saying you'll make sure the left never works with me. <laughs> Good luck, not spiteful. Uh, not mad. Um, no, no, I mean, I just, I mean, you defended, like, literal neoliberal politics and you don't understand <laughs> wait, why so that's let, bad. Wait, let's talk, right, right, again, I know you don't know what neoliberalism oh, or any of this means, God. but I actually have to ask you really oh, wait, quickly. Wait, 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 you think that so, wait, tax financing true. Fortune 100 companies is God. socialism? Wait, what, wait, financing? What do you think happened? 
happens when a mayor of a city. Oh my God! See, this is the thing. Okay, this is the thing that's embarrassing, and I don't want to clown you. But when you talk about experience, welcome. Wait, Mike, we would love to have you. You realize Marcus specifically said that he didn't want to offer any tax breaks to those Fortune 500 companies, right? That he would find other ways to incentivize them setting up shop in Omaha. This one I got. Well, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? I mean, he has no well, experience in politics. Right? If you were more familiar with politics, you could probably think of other ways to handle that. But this isn't why I came here. Holy so shit! Is it true? <laughs> Embarrassing. Really Go so ahead. Is it true that you said Omaha isn't a relevant city? Wrong. And that people should move elsewhere. They should be given the means to move elsewhere. Wrong. I said that we because I'm from Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and we have a deindustrialization. Mm -hmm. There is a transfer that happens in our economy. That's why Bernie Sanders' Green New Deal, a candidate you should look into and read, he had programs to help people relocate when and if their industries like fossil fuel industries were closed down. Obviously, some of those jobs that were created, there were direct subsidies. There's also there a reflection no of the an, an understanding there is that no these whoosh. specific city focused is not the way you implement socialism politics is go, we can't have any college educated people leave Omaha. And by the way, the proposed solution, so wait, talking to we're, Fortune we're moving... 500 companies doesn't solve it. So we're, we're moving off the point a little bit here. So as a mayor, you're saying that you shouldn't attempt to... Um, redress any of the economic imbalance I I that's the, causing I, I people to leave the and you screen. should just Don't allow you worry, people I'll to leave. On the screen. Like you should try to facilitate that Voosh process. Okay, so this is a, this is a homework assignment for you, Bosch. Well, go I'm, look I'm up asking sewer you a question. socialism. Go, go look up sewer socialism. Wait, well, you're so really funny bad. To me. You're lacking in so much knowledge that this it's is really you funny won't let to me. me finish because I have to you teach you. To I need you. I need you to be. Your position would allow middle America to die. You need to go in the chair of learning because you don't know what sewer socialism is. So you didn't I, know. I, I, you didn't know. Are you so capable of answering yes or no? You're so because angry with me. Because that's not okay? how you do oh politics. You need a sippy. You, you need a nappy small. time. Are you you tired? Do, should I come back Thank later? I think you're the one tired. Are you cozy right you're now? You're the one who hung up. Is your you're neck the one that's properly tired. supported? I think that you, Baba. <laughs> Is empty, and that's why you had to go refill. Dude, and you, you can't. You can't. You have to come up with your own so jokes. Anyway, talking to so you, you're, you're about, saying that oh people should God. just be allowed to flow out of these cities and towards like coastal cities. You have to make up what? your own jokes. You can't just try this and is, turn it around. To like to to. This is actually revitalize. embarrassing to talk to you. Actually, you actually can't answer. You actually, it's funny. Your position is the neoliberal one. No, it you actually think that people not. should just move it out of middle America and go live in mega cities. Whenever I talk, you start talking. Oh, I, I, so I have a homework assignment for you. Bad go look up can't sewer. Answer the you say, there you go. I started talking. He actually can't answer. You dude, he started the talking. You Ironically. started talking when I started talking. You so did wait, it again. Answer the question. So Stop answer talking. The question, Shut the fuck How up. How would you prevent people from leaving Middle America? You can't. Wait, is well, that in your so socialism? Far, you so think far, you can... this has been. Uh, I'll tell you, Pain Sama. So far, this has been pain prevent people from leaving pain. one region to the other this is soviet no. but it's style been fun pain okay, hold on. Wait, I'm sorry. what are you wait, talking wait, sorry, about sorry, sorry, sorry. this is bafflingly stupid all right hold on so i forgot you had 30 iq so the what i actually meant and any reasonable wait, which, person okay, would know what i meant what would you do to prevent the drain of resources and labor from middle stupid. america you're towards stupid. coastal you're dummy. america it depends uh, it depends what you're talking Let's get about get us a craig so do you, do you want from all these a municipal communities to just die uh, I think some communities are going to shrink, which they already have. And neoliberalism is what made them shrink. Working class Mike over here. Don't revitalize your city. Just have everyone what? move to Seattle. Okay, so <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're actually moving. dumb as fuck. Because I'm I've moving. tried to say this eight times. I'll say it again. Look up sewer socialism. That's wait, why, Mil that's why so I'm answering answer. the question. Vouch, you're just pointing me to like a Wikipedia stupid. page. <laughs> no, no. Answer the question. Holy shit, did he really get... What the fuck? Style, command okay, and control. Wait, sorry. What are you wait, talking I'm sorry, about? Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is bafflingly stupid. All right. Hold on, so I forgot you had 30 IQ. So the what I actually meant, and any reasonable wait, wait, person would okay, know what I meant, what would you do to prevent the drain of resources and labor from middle America towards coastal America? It depends. What's this uh, one? It depends what you're talking check about. Out. So do you, you want all these communities to just die? Uh, I think some communities are going to shrink, which they already have. And neoliberalism is what made them shrink. Working class Mike over here. Don't revitalize your city. I can't just put have the everyone there. It's too, it's too basic. To okay, so Dude, the, you have destiny. You're position. actually just dumb move. as fuck. Because I've tried to say this eight times. I'll say it again. Look up sewer socialism. 
That's why I'm answering answer. the question, Vouch. You're you just stupid. keep pointing me to like you're a Wikipedia stupid. page. No, by the way, because I know how stupid you you're are. That if I actually go ahead fuck. and like read it out loud, it wouldn't you're actually answer any of the fuck. questions. You're dumb as fuck. So you're you actually fuck. don't have an answer. I you am, just want every these time someone answers. To die. Every time someone pro, answers, this is pro a... working class <laughs> over here. Just move. Just move Vouch, out of Omaha. Do you want, do you want me to give an move answer, or is you just gonna posture like a fucking worthless move rat? Move to a mega city and pay three thousand for rent for a single bedroom apartment. I'm looking up okay, sewer socials, Vouch, but that's nothing Vouch, to do with what we're talking yes, about. Yes, it right absolutely now, does. It doesn't. Wait, then answer the question. How would you prevent that drain of resources and labor? It depends what you're trying to accomplish. You can't answer. Some people, you just have have to, to, some people are going to move. Neoliberalism no, doesn't want to stop that, and neither does Mark Gagel. Stop me tough right, questions. Go right, look at Wikipedia, nuts. bro. I'll Leave try the and call. That I don't no know. One... Is that you right now? Damn. Don't worry. Thank you, Payne Sama. I got to admit, you are dumber than I thought. I actually thought you were smarter than this. You are dumber than I thought. Okay, so anyway, for any people in Vouch's chat that are listening, please, please look up Sewer Socialism. He doesn't have an answer. It's a movement that's revitalizing. I understand. Wait, is your politics so stupid? Okay, I'm just going to keep talking. He can't give an answer. Sewer Socialism is a very important very important movement. Once we clear the screen, that way that people can see. Revitalizing cities by providing public by public development. So something like Omaha. They Thank have a you. problem with You're amazing. housing quality for their black and brown community. One of the things mm -hmm. that a sewer socialist would do would be focusing on building high quality public housing. They would be How? focusing on, on by, How? by spending the money to do it by taxing, what money? By taxing people. By what taxing money? People. This, by, ta okay. by taxing people. You know, ironically, seen... this part of the debate is a massive fail on Mike's part. What Mike doesn't realize is that he's advocating for taxing the poorest people in the town. He doesn't realize this. This was this part. He doesn't realize he's advocating for taxing the poorest people. It's really fucked. The Omaha by, city by, budget. You're by, very educated taxing, on that city, taxing, so I expect you taxing have taxing people. Uh, also, well, wait, wait, also how, wait, socialism are, can't be completely how done. How do they afford? To okay, tax so I'm those just keep, I'm just gonna keep talking because you have nothing wait, important wait, to say. Wait, wait, wait. So anyway. Magic money, Mike. Wait, taxing who? <laughs> the, they don't I have think the even, money. I think even your community Spoony they don't have the money. that you are now arguing a Joe Manchin level of an argument. They don't he have actually, the money. He doesn't know. He just gets confused and he calls you a neolib because he doesn't know. It's like you can brain tax is trying to the, figure out. There is absolutely an ability to tax, Spoony including laugh. nationalizing public services that have been privatized, take them back into uh -huh. municipal control, which has been very successful. Yeah, uh -huh. there is, there is right. a large history. In the municipal, oh my municipal God. services aren't you ask exactly giant money makers. You questions, but you don't know the answers to them. Wait, how do you how Sorry, do you get we'll be, the tax base have a good necessary night, Rock, to fund all you, these okay, infrastructure this is, this programs? Is, this is actually really important because one of the things that you can do and has been done successfully by a lot of cities is you annex outlying areas. This is a uh, so a lot of cities are gerrymandered where the suburbs where a lot of the higher income people of cities <laughs> live is not part of the Someone. actual urban core. So what you do is you hollowed out the tax base. One of the things you do is you annex outlying areas. I'm happy to teach you a municipal course. No, wait, like. how do you get the money to I just implement? explained it, you're stupid. Just by annexing you dead an areas? No, there is, wait, do you think Omaha has no out wealthy outlying suburbs? Do you seriously think that un un uh, unincorporated areas surrounding um, Omaha if have enough of a tax base? They're the wealthy suburbs. This is true. Uh, 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 chat, here's what I would like you to do. Look up any major municipalities, city limits wait, right now. Do you, can, wait, can you show me a major wealthy suburban area that's outside of the city tax limit of Omaha that isn't incorporated under any other city? <laughs> you would get rid of that city. You would, you would annex. That's POV. what annex means. Mike's you would couch take, after you the debate. Just annex <laughs> you outlying <laughs> territories. You mean annex another city? I mean annex the change where the money is coming from. Because you have wealthier... Uh, See, um, you have no idea why you're so, what you're oh talking God. about. You actually know so little about the geography you just of America. This is embarrassing. Your neighbors. This has worked before. How would they this annex is, another I'm city? I'm going to explain it to you, Vouch, but you're, you're actually embarrassingly stupid. And you know Wait, so you, little about municipal power. I forgot you that you have five IQ. Thirty minutes. You don't Holy know. Holy shit! I just I'm trying to talk, and you keep interrupting. Vosh, after the Damn, so we'll your argument is that in order oh to generate God. the tax rev revenue necessary to upgrade the infrastructure in Omaha, what they which by the way doesn't even fix brain drain. What they should do is annex neighboring cities to get their tax. They're base. not cities. They're outlying suburbs. They were created outlying for flight. white what flight. Do you, think do you know what white flight in? is? What is white flight? 
I don't wait. Just answer. What the is question. white flight? You asked me you you what brain answer. drain was. What was white flight? Vouch, what was white, white Vouch, what was white flight? What was white flight? You do realize what was that white flight? Need money, right? White flight. Vouch, what is this white is flight? This is the dumbest part. Okay, what is white I, flight? so you don't have an answer and you're what just going to ask I, I, I do. No, no, no. Every time to. I talk, I talked about sewer socialism. I talked about annexing So can you point suburbs. me to an area in um, Omaha that's suburban that hasn't been annexed? You do realize that suburbs are an economic drain on cities, right? There's a video series that I can show you. Yes, they're agreeing with me. They're productive. saying that oh states, cities God. lose because of the creation of suburbs I have to put because that one they on lose there. their tax base. The annexation of suburbs will decrease the city's wrong. revenue. Art, wrong. Art, you yeah, doesn't know. You're stupid. All right, that was good. You're Have actually fun. dumber Don't than I thought. Neoliberal Mike just moved You're to the coastal cities. You're dumber than I thought. He's dumber than I thought. Holy shit. I was about to explain municipal tax, but here's the thing about Val. She knows so little about cities. He thinks that suburbs lose money in their tax base. Val, she's dumber than I thought! Wait. So basically one of the things you could do to answer the question is cities right now. I want to show you a city. Let's show you a major metropolitan area. Uh, Detroit's probably not the best one. What's the, what's, what's one, what's one that's really good? Uh, Birmingham City Limits. Can't spell. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Fortuna, how you so doing? So do you see, uh, uh, hey, Fortuna, how you the doing? Birmingham you uh, City the stream Limits layout? chat? Do you see the Birmingham City Limits? Yes, I know. Yes. Wait, so Vosh is correct on this point, by the way. Vosh is correct, by the way, in my opinion. As far as I can tell, Vosh is absolutely correct on this. And that is that every I have seen numerous... Now, okay, I'm not a tax expert, nor am I a city planner. Yeah? I am neither of those things. However, from my understanding, suburbs are very tax inefficient. And the reason for that is because they are spread the fuck out. Yes, I've actually watched that video before um, Vosh recommended it, by the way. The video you're mentioning, the um, Echo Gecko, I've watched a whole bunch of Echo's vi Echo Gecko's videos like before Vosh even recommended it. I was really happy to hear him recommend it. The problem is, is that suburbs are low density wide area so it's a bunch of people spread over a huge area with lots of roads lots of sewer lots of electricity lots of internet lots of infrastructure spread over a huge area for very few people which means that the costs skyrocket to upkeep suburbs even though people in the suburbs are richer and get taxed higher the cost is super fast like it, it, the cost raises super fast so yeah it's not as simple as mike is making it out to be yeah linkar is a good a good person as far as i can tell anyway let's continue right now you see all these little communities that are outside of birmingham these are well the wealthy white people went by the way, he's dumber than I thought. He's actually dumber than I thought. This is just a random local news. So what page you would do is you it. would annex these outlying you can suburbs. You see it behind Vout Vush over here. And that's where the wealthy white people live, the wealthy suburbanites. And they use their tax dollars for local community schools full of white kids. That's what White Flight did. So what you would do is you would do one one of the things that people have done There's is they've more, done municipal yes. tax districts. Did I? What's this one? And the reason oh, why he I wouldn't let me talk us. is because He's he cute, knows he I know the answer to these He's questions. Cute, That's why I he kept jumping in to interrupt me. Why was he interrupting? There's not another call. Why was he interrupting? I, I, I honestly, I feel like I'm losing my mind. I just Why? want to hear what he has to say. I kept answering the question. 
Yes, Law Boy. I, I that is the that is one of the big ones. There's a number of issues here. He he kept asking me about like okay, so municipal tax district. Uh it's okay. Uh, Don't worry, Pansama. We're ending um, it now soon. Don't worry, we're going to the calm soon. Don't worry. Typically everyone, they have okay, so county city guess what, guess what everyone? We have reached the other shore. You have been delivered safely to the underworld. The Discord link? Wait, dis which Discord link? Which Discord link? You need the, the one for the... For my Discord link? There it is. There's the one for my Discord. Yeah. It's the discord.gg forward slash demon mama. If that's the one you need. I can send you whatever else you need. Everyone, we have safely made it to the other side. And I want you to take a moment with me. No, shh, ptarmigan, ptarmigan. Through the cacophony of memes, you have heard the sound of sand on the shore. And now it is all right. Just sit with me for a minute here, okay? And then we'll do my takes, okay? Listen, listen. Here we go. Ready? You're totally fine, Pain Sama. You have safely lived across the river Styx. We have arrived safely in Hades. Well, lived by a manner of speaking. Your soul survived. Your body may not have, but your soul did. And it has been a journey, has it not? Now I have to show you something. So I'm gonna bring something up real quick, okay? I'm gonna show you an image that was made for us. Okay. Here we go. And I'm gonna show you how good it is, okay? Because Gina made this just for us. All right, Gina made this for us. It's all right, he tried. Look, look everyone, look at what Gina made us. Look, feast your eyes upon its wonder. Look at that shit. Look at how good that is. Look at how good it is. Isn't this amazing? A hell of a journal, doo-doo fart. Incredible. And we survived. Good work, everyone. I couldn't have made it without you. Pussy, pussy, pussy. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get there. Oh, that's a good one. That cowboy is a good one. So that was an interesting, that was an interesting ride, was it not? I had a good time. Hey, thank you, Piftel Cakes. Thank you so much. I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Broke, I don't know why the dono noise. I, I think that's genuinely um, on Streamlabs side. Oh, you made it, Randar. You're alive. It's okay. I don't know why it keeps breaking. Streamlabs has been having issues. I think they need to update their little thing.
Yeah, I might have to give Stream Elements a try. Streamlabs has a lot of good tools. Um, so, let's give my take, huh? Are you all ready for the take? You saw the madness. I do, Fortuna. I just got it today. It arrived today. And I will play it shortly. I will play it shortly. Um, are you ready for the take? Okay. Here's the take. Okay. I have a couple of takes. First of all, let's just be completely honest. Good night, Gina. Thank you so much for coming by. Let's just be completely honest and upfront. F don't you worry. I got all the comments saved. Don't you worry. I got all the comments saved. I got a lot of stuff to talk about. So first off, this debate was not a debate. This was blood sports. Okay. Riley. <laughs> Good to see you. Happy to have you here. Um, this was not a debate. This was blood sports. Let's be honest about that. I think it's okay to call it what it is. Now, blood sports can be fun, but this, and I think this was pretty fun. This was particularly bloody blood sports. Now, as far as I can tell, from all the evidence presented, Mike pretty solidly shot first. Mike went off on about the dickless coward rat fuck ass from a hole in the ground. He went pretty fucking hard. And Vosh decided to fire back. Was it at all sad? It was pathetic. There were moments that were truly pathetic. There were moments that were truly pathetic. And let me talk about the things that bothered me about this conversation. Because most of this is just insults back and forth, okay? And insults back and forth are one thing. Because, you know, it gets spi it gets spicy sometimes. And you, you insult all kinds of stuff. And whatever. And people say stupid shit. There were a couple of things that really, really, really did piss me off. Um, the first one, and I'm going to go in order of least to most, okay? So the least, th the thing that pissed me off the least was the way that Mike engages in unironic, um, yes, I do paint some, and I'll explain that. Uh, the least, the thing that pissed me off the least was how Mike engages in toxic masculinity. Thank you, Piffle Cakes, and congratulations, Fortuna! Welcome. New imp. Thank you very much. Um, so Mike's toxic masculinity, the thing that I was doing earlier, where he's like, you have a small dick. I'm going to kick your ass if you show up in person. Think about sewer socialism. I'll kick your ass with sewer socialism. That shit was really fucking cringe. And I find it, like truly embarrassing and frustrating because I think it's like one of the most pervasively embarrassing things um, in in online politics. So that was the minimal, minimum one. Then the second thing that really pissed me off. The second thing that pissed me off was unironically bringing up multiple allegations that are very, very severe allegations. Uh, saying that you sent somebody bestiality porn un, un, <laughs> at all, but let alone um, unsolicited, is really fucked. That's a really fucked thing to, to drop in a public live stream with thousands upon thousands of viewers about somebody. That is a really fucked thing. And I think that People shouldn't do that. I think that's a very ridiculous allegation. And to be fair, he did walk back on it, but nonetheless, nonetheless. Um, it sucks. And I really don't like that. I really hate that shit. I hate it when people can't just, oh, absolutely not, Pain Sama. 
No, I do not. I do not believe that. That That is not my takeaway from this conversation. I do not believe there was any good faith in this conversation. Now, to be fair, I don't really think there was good faith on Vosh's part either. But I don't really care about whether this conversation was in good faith because I think this was a blood sports fight. And those are not in good faith. Those are about hitting one another. So, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree, Seth Harris. And then there is number three. The most, the thing that most pissed me off and that I consider to be pretty fucking severe. Okay? And that is the part where Mike from PA went back to his stream chat and said, I am going to do everything in my power to ensure that other leftists do not work with Vosh. And I'm not going to lie. That is really fucking cringe. Not only is that pathetic, especially for a guy who shot first, that is like one of the most spineless and weaselly things I can think of. I'm going to tell all my friends to not work with you. I'm going to undermine whatever you might be doing because I had a I had an insult fight with you. That is pathetic. Now, if if Vosh had said that he wanted to to hurt Mike from PA's career or something along those lines, I would understand it. But to my knowledge, that is not the case at all. So I think it's pretty fucked that he would not only, not, he didn't even just say that Vosh is useless. He said, I am going to do everything in my power to ensure that any leftists that I know do not work with Vosh. And that is sus as fuck. Hey, thank you, Ziggy Richards. Thank you so much. I am here for you, comrade. Vahush. Vahush. That's a good one. Thank you so much. Very sus. But um honestly, that was the that was the thing that really pushed this debate. Everything else was blood sports. It was a it was dissing each other. It was do I think there's malintent with that? Yes. Absolutely. I'm sorry, but I I would say that trying to ruin somebody's life or, or saying that you're going to try and ruin someone's livelihood and stunt their political efficacy is something that you should reserve for actual enemies. And it makes me not trust people. I'm going to be completely honest with you because here's the thing. I have some things that I don't like about Mike from PA's positions, largely his positions on class reductionism. Um which I think were very troubling, but I made my video on it, and that was that. And you know that. I've said this, those of you who've watched me for a while have heard me say this on many streams where I said, hey, I made my video on Mike from PA. I don't have anything else to say about him. There you go. You can go watch the drama mama about the class reductionism, which was pretty blatant and pissed me off. But this makes me tr not trust Mike from PA because what it sounds like to me is that if you personally piss him off, and it doesn't seem to be very hard to piss him off, he will try to, behind closed doors, use a whisper network to ruin your, can to ruin your, uh, to pull, pull influence and pull favors from friends to ruin your career. And I don't trust someone like that at all, at all. So that's my take. My take is the one thing that we all can learn from this, the one takeaway from this entire mess of a debate, is that Mike from PA, if he doesn't like somebody, not only will he drop, not only will he dump a bunch of stupid, weird, toxic masculinity bullshit on them, but he'll also make up completely false allegations about them that are very severe, and he will use his influence in the space to try and ruin you. That's really fucking weird. He's not a politician. It's embar That's what's most embarrassing about that. 
That's what's most embarrassing. He's not actually a politician. And you can't, listen, I'm not going to say you can't succeed as a politician when you're this petty, but that level of pettiness seriously affects people's ability to work with you. It really does. Don't worry, I have I have a whole bunch of questions to go over. So those are that is my takeaway from this debate. This debate was hilarious to watch. It was absolutely ridiculous. Cringe as fuck. And then there's one other thing. One last takeaway from this. And again, I don't have any personal grudge against Mike. I don't like Mike's position on class reductionism a lot. I really don't. I don't trust it. I do not trust the fact that Mike is willing to, based on personal disagreements, try and use his influence to destroy people's careers. I think that's very toxic and untrustworthy. But those are my things I don't trust. The, the biggest criticism besides those is that Mike isn't funny. Mike isn't funny. He's, in fact, painfully unfunny. That was the biggest, that was the most blatant thing. In Besides the, the, the weird, petty, I'm going to ruin your career bullshit, which is basically kind of sounds like I'm going to call the manager of Twitch on you. Um, He's not funny. That wasn't funny. Vosh was mean. Mike was mean. Vosh was mean. They were both really mean. But Vosh was funny. And Mike was really not funny. Like, painfully unfunny. In fact, I feel like Mike kind of took laughs away from me at times. He said, you're, du you're dumb. You're fat. You are stupid. You're stupid. You're fat. You're dumb. You're stupid. Uh, and then he copied Vosh's jokes and tried to get them back at him. Ugh. Vosh's insults were great. It was like when when there was a thing when Mike was like, what do you think this is? What do you think this is? And then Vosh is just like, embarrassing. This is embarrassing. That was really fucking funny. You're dumb and have a small bussy. The soy pick was really funny. That was a great moment from Vosh. Yeah, you're so fat you'd be in super heavyweight. That was so cringe. It sounds like schoolyard insults. And the, the thing is that Mike... Mike talks mad shit, mad shit to about a lot of people. He, t he tells people, I'm, I'm the left, I'm the heel of the left or whatever, but he really can't take it. He can, he can, and he can't dish it either. He gets really fucking mad and he loses his cool. If you want to be a heel of the left, you have to be able to take the hits and dish them. 